All right, let's get that bot muted. Duty of Honor 2, uh, everybody. All right, good evening, everyone. Welcome to the very first ever Trial by Blood, a top-level double elimination 32 fighter duel tournament. Tonight, we have the very best of the very best fighters in North America. They will all be going head-to-head -head in the first to five rounds to start and first to seven rounds in the finals. With a $400 grand prize on the line, expect to see the pinnacle of skill expression in Chivalry 2. My name is Montesoir, and I'm joined tonight by the endlessly talented Beard Bandit. Hey, how's it going, Monty? Thank you guys so much for inviting me. It's a pleasure to be here. It is a pleasure to have you, Beard Bandit. Are you excited for tonight's fights? Oh my god, I am incredibly hyped. We have some of the absolute best duelists in the game here, and they are ready and raring to go and <laughs> eager can, to prove themselves. You can see them starting to line up here right in the middle of the map. <laughs> yep, sure are. You are right. Everyone is excited. Oh, here we go. There we are. Uh, all right. Well, hey, before we uh, get started, let's just break down the rules of the event. Each fighter tonight has chosen two loadouts for the entire tournament. At any point in their fight, they can switch between the two, but they cannot make any alterations to those loadouts submitted. Fighters who have lost their match will then be heading off to compete in the loser's bracket for an opportunity to fight once again in the semifinals and grand finale. Third place tonight wins $100, second place wins $200, and the first place grand prize goes home with a whopping $400. Big thanks Ooh. to Torn. I know, $400 for the Born first. Snackaroos. Uh, that is nothing to balk at. Big thanks to Torn Banner Studios for sponsoring this event. And none of this would be possible without the effort from the Duel Masters of North America. Thank you, Duel Masters, for creating this event and turning it into the premier duel tournament of Chivalry 2. Uh, so, hey, Beard Bandit, you're actually competing tonight, isn't that right? Yeah, that is true. So, uh, I was given the luxury and the great opportunity by the Duel Master of, uh, of NA. I was originally just going to participate, but they reached out and uh, they wanted me to cast as well. And here we are. So I get to do uh, the pleasures of both. So, I'll, I'll be fighting here shortly, but the matches that I am not fighting in, I will be up here with you in the caster's couch and we'll be... Uh, calling the fights as we see them. I can't wait. I think we're actually going to be following your fight first right off the bat. And with that, let's just take a look at the bracket together. Yeah. Let's pull this up. I have it here on stream. So here we go. Here is the bracket for the event today, everybody. We're going to be... The, the way this is going down is four uh, fights will be happening at the same time. Us on the caster's couch, we're only going to be watching one at a time in this first round. Um, so take a look here. We've got all of these strong fighters. Beard Bandit will be up first against Truthaholic, and that'll be the stream we will be the fight we will be streaming. But uh, let's just let's just go down the list. I suppose we got yeah, Quasi. Absolutely. If you fought Quasi before, you know he's one of the strongest. He takes that Dane axe. He's probably going to be rocking a Messer today as well. Get ready for an intense match. He's going to be fighting Doom too. Uh, Gerber Day, one of the Duel Masters of North America and organizers of the event, will be fighting Soder Dave. Soder Dave, a one-handed user, unlike any other. Uh, he's pretty strong, so I, you know, I don't, I, I think that one's going to be a toss-up. I don't have any predictions there. Could go either way. Either I think way. so. I think so. Uh, WV Rock and Roll. I am not familiar with this fighter. Have you ever fought WV Rock and Roll, Beard Bandit? No, I have not, but I would not be, I would be remiss to say that there would not be a chance for a couple dark horses to come through the tournament and take it under our noses. So, uh, I, that would be pretty damn exciting. I would love that. You can't count them out. <laughs> not count those guys out. And then a cloud, uh, cloud double eye. He's pretty strong. I fought him a couple of times. Best of luck to him. Of course, my favorite for the fourth fight is going to be Beard Bandit TTV. You might have heard of him. <laughs> he's a strong fighter, most yeah, versatile. He's done, okay. yeah, he's done okay. Most versatile fighter <laughs> in Chivalry 2. This guy, he uh, when the game first came out, spent a lot of time leveling up every weapon, every class, and has some experience in everything. So we're going to see some really good fights from Beard Bandit. But hey, Troopaholic, a very strong longsword fighter. So get ready. Cannot count him out he is an excellent fighter he can give me a run for my money any day so don't count him out either uh all right well those will be the first brackets we're going to be getting started in the uh, next couple of minutes here so um yeah beard bandit how have you been preparing for today have you been practicing a lot yeah, so I took today, earlier part of the day, when I wasn't helping uh, organize a little bit of the uh, behind-the-scenes stuff, I went to the dual turn, uh, the dual, the dual yard, I should say, and uh, seeing a lot of the really, really great fighters that are going to appear later tonight and uh, fighting a bunch of them. And uh, trust me, 
It is going to be tight. There are a lot of players that I have known since release of the game that are considerably better than they were when they when the game came out. And uh, I'm really, really excited to fight a couple of them. Truth, I know he's a good guy. Uh, we're both Marines, actually. He was, uh, he no was in a way. similar job than I was. Yeah, I didn't know this until recently. So uh, he is uh, going to be a really, really tough opponent, but I'm looking forward to fighting him. Hell yeah, that is exciting. That is absolutely exciting. And you know, I, I completely agree. This tournament has brought out the competitive nature all over the communities. Every duel, every uh, uh, clan community, the community at large, we have seen dual servers populated every day leading up to this event. People have been practicing pretty much nonstop. And I think we are going to see just really the very best that Chivalry 2 has to offer here tonight. Absolutely. I think that they're all ready to go and ready to prove themselves. And I think this is uh, basically the best opportunity in a high stakes environment like this. So quite exciting. Yeah, and with uh, with so much money on the line. <laughs> and of course. Hell the good thing yeah. about this is that I, uh, I think that everybody's here, not only just for the money, but the opportunity to play with some really, really great players to, to have fun and enjoy themselves. And I think that's gonna be the main draw for a lot of our uh, duelists here, even if they don't catch, you know, the, the semifinals or the finals, a lot of them are going to be getting a lot of invaluable experience and a really, really uh, enjoyable time uh, fighting some really, really excellent fighters. This might be the first time they fought some of the strongest fighters, indeed. And, uh, you know, uh, as someone who's put in almost 800 hours into the game now, there is nothing more exciting than having your heart pump against an equal. You just go back and forth for two minutes in a counter fest, desperately trying to get hit on each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is Looks the like best way to play. I am needed inside of the ring, so I will be back shortly. All right, Beard Bandit, good luck to you, my man. We will right. uh, we will be rooting for you here on the Caster's Couch. <laughs> All right, brother, I'll catch you later. All right, adios. Okay, everybody. Welcome, welcome, one and all, to the Trial by Blood. Here we go. We won't be reading the Twitch chat too often today. We're going to be focusing, of course, on commentating the matches for you. Um, but let me just quickly uh, uh, scroll on up and see what y'all have been talking about. Hey, uh, hello, Trivenge. No, this is uh, this was an invite-only tournament that was organized for uh, about two months past. Um, check out the Reddit post. It should be hot on Reddit. Go check it out. We have the link for the Discord where you can hop in and join all future tournaments. We'll be hosting a lot more. There were The goal is to have them all be cash prizes like this. So it's going to be a bit more professionalized and a bit more um, formalized than perhaps other tournaments you might have gone to or seen around. Uh, X closer. Yes, this is sword fighting game. Sword fighting game indeed. Uh, yeah, Municipalis. We actually, so obviously, uh, you might know that Torn Banner has sponsored this event. They generously donated five hundred dollars to the uh, to the prize pool. Um, they also worked with us on coordinating, of course, the time limit, <laughs> and we have a few mods here tonight as well. <laughs> Let me back up from the uh, those naysayers, literally in the center. <laughs> So uh, let's just keep cat catching up with chat as the referees get organized here and figure out where people are going to go. Let's go BE. All right, Big Bert. We definitely have some BE fighters representing. Uh, I think you were going to be one of the fighters, Big Bert. Next time, my friend. Next time. Better than Mord Howe. I certainly think so. Rosalius, Beard Bandit. What a good guy, huh? In the Marines. Great fella. He, well... Uh, I think he's not active anymore, but hey, great fella, and you know, we're of course going to be impartial here for the derainder, for the remainder of the tournament, but I think it's fair to say, at least for my co-caster, I am, I am rooting that he has a good fight. <laughs> yeah, Trivenge, well hey, next time, my friend, next time, make sure you join that Discord so you can sign up for all future events. Uh, the host should be in the king's chair. That would be great. But we're trying to provide you a bird's eye view of each fight here, so we can get uh, we can get as many of those great action sequences as possible. Uh, Glitchy, I am actually not competing tonight. I decided to sit this one out, um, you know, and uh, just sort of focus on commenting for everybody. <laughs> Swag is on for sure. Uh, the Discord is the Trial by Bandit. Go check out. Um, Trial, trial by blood. Go check out uh, the Reddit post of the uh, image for this event that I posted, and the Discord link will be there. It looks like our first fighter, uh, Trufaholic, unfortunately, uh, was not there. He didn't show up. Oh no, he's right here. He's right. He's right there. 
All right. So I guess I guess he was just a little bit late. Let's make sure we get our POV of our first fight here. And here we begin. The duels have started. Okay. Beard Bandit taking the Double Dane Axe loadout that he is so fond of. Beard is uh, notoriously good at uh, using those Dane Axe throws when his opponent whiffs. His opponent, Troopaholic, here using the Long Sword. So he, uh, Beard Bandit's going to have to watch out for those fast accelerated attacks. Even with the Dane Axe, with its fast accelerations. It's, oh, 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 and a kick. Well, excellent. Beard Bandit has the lead here. Though his opponent playing Knight means he, uh, his opponent, Troopaholic, doesn't have to uh, watch as carefully as Beard Bandit. Beard Bandit can only take three light hits from that longsword. One more, and there we go. Good first round to Truthaholic. That is one to zero so far. Uh, so here we go. Yes, Beard Bandit does have to absolutely watch out for those uh, those light sword attacks. I see he switched to Knight. That is a smart move. Knight is going to be able to take a lot more damage from the longsword, and if he plays carefully, he's going to be able to uh, regain some of his health mid-fight, enough that uh, it will take two extra light attacks from that longsword to kill. So, uh, switching to Battle Axe was a smart move, and he's been practicing a lot with the Dane Axe, so I suppose the Battle Axe is just the slower version, something that he might be able to use effectively here. Gotta watch out for that longsword follow-up, though. Troopaholic is ready for it. Here we go. Oh, an excellent drag, but it whiffed. My goodness. Troopaholic able to punish that. But Beard Bandit really is leaning into the drags here. We're going to see if he can get around Troopaholic's defense. We will see. We will see. Beard Bandit on the ropes, but he's smartly taking that time, letting his health regenerate so that the longsword won't be able to take him out in one light hit. That is the way to go. That is the way to go. Good job switching tonight. That was very smart. And he's got the stamina drain, and there we go. Excellent, excellent. One to one. Great job tying it up, Beard Bandit. Excellent work. Excellent work. <laughs> of course, going to go get a bandage now. Got to make sure he's at full health for the next fight. <laughs> Here we are. Here we are. I wonder if we'll see Troopaholic switch loadouts or if he's going to be sticking with the longsword. The long, yep, he's sticking with the longsword. Here we go. Longsword is obviously a very strong weapon, but not quite as advantaged as it was against the Vanguard, against the uh, Knight here. All right, so Beard Bandit's going to go for the Stamina Drain again. Um, the Battle Axe has a much larger Stamina Drain than the Longsword, just by the nature of the extra damage it does. As Knights, they both have the same Stamina Pool, so unless Troopaholic here is able to counter each one of Beard Bandit's drags, as well as his accelerations, Troopaholic is going to lose his weapon. And it does look like that Troop is having a bit of a difficult time countering here. Beard Bandit mixing up those accelerations with drags expertly. And there we go. Once again, that stamina negation. Very important. Excellent, excellent play by Beard Bandit here. Playing carefully, making sure his opponent's stamina goes down, and then taking him out once it does. That battle axe is strong, so if uh, if Troopaholic loses his weapon, that is pretty much it for Troop. No. All right, so that is two to one. Here we go. Still anyone's game. It looks like Troopaholic is going to stick with the long sword. I am not sure if he brought another loadout to this event tonight, but we'll see. We'll see. If I were him, I would try to take out Blunt or perhaps a, uh, a slower weapon himself no. if he's having a hard time stealing Beard Bandit's initiative here. All right, Beard Bandit right off the bat with an excellent drag. Got Troopaholic right to start. Troof just trying to get around Beard's excellent defense while maintaining his own. Gonna have a tough time. Oh, but he did read that kick. <laughs> oh, but it wasn't enough. You know, if uh, Troof had, instead of fainted there, a, if he had just attacked regularly, he probably would have landed a, a, a hit on Beard Bandit. Okay, that is uh, three to Beard Bandit to uh, Truth's one, I believe. This is going to be first to five for the first uh, couple rounds here. First to five. Then it'll be first to seven in the Grand Championships. All right, so Truthaholic sticking sticking to his guns, doubling down with the Longsword Loadout. So we'll see. He hasn't had much success with the stamina negation so far. Beard Bandit going with a cheeky special, and oh man, that is a ton of damage. He probably only needs one light attack to take out Troopaholic here, so Troop really has to play carefully. Make sure his stamina does not go down. 
Beard Bandit tried to throw his weapon. Beard knows he's up. He knows he can get away with some more risky moves. But this was not smart on Beard Bandit's part. Now Beard Bandit has the uh, has the stamina has, has the stamina disadvantage using a one-hander against the longsword. Um, and the longsword is fast enough that it can keep up with a falchion here pretty well. So we'll see. Uh, there we go. Yep, it's uh, it's a fight of speed that Truvaholic is more experienced in, but Beard Bandit got that kick at the end. Excellent job. Holy crap, Beard Bandit. <laughs> Great work. I think this is going to be match point, I believe. I might have lost track there. I might have lost count, but the referees got it. <laughs> wow, excellent kick. Excellent kick, even after that cheeky throw. <laughs> little bit of a little bit of a champion's flourish there. But um, yeah, excellent work. Excellent work by Beard Bandit. He's got he's to heal up all the way up just a little bit. <laughs> okay, last one. Game point, unless Trufaholic here can... Unless he can pull it out. Let's see. So he's playing carefully. Going to try and catch Beard Bandit in a uh, longer swing here. I'm surprised Truth isn't uh, gambling more, isn't trying to attack outside of his initiative with accelerations for the longsword. That would be the way to go here. Oh, oh, excellent attempt to punish. If only he would just attack a little bit sooner. That longsword stabbed 50 damage pretty fast. It might go well, we'll see. Uh, if you are, if anyone in chat is curious about the brackets, go check out the Reddit post I posted today. The brackets are there. I can post the link for you in a moment as well after this fight. All right, Beard Bandit on the ropes, low health. He's he's very smartly regaining his stamina and his health. Trufaholic should have pushed up there. That was a mistake on Trufaholic's part. You do not want to let your opponent regain health if you are in the advantage. You want to focus on just getting a jab or a kick in, which will prevent that health regeneration. But perhaps more importantly, Beard Bandit now also has the stamina advantage once again. But still, that weapon went down with that stamina advantage. Truth got it. But it seems that uh, Beard Bandit's just as good with the Falchion as he is with the Battle Axe, so we will see. This should be an exciting fight. Going with those drags, and he lost his weapon. Here comes Truth to punish him in. Beard Bandit was able to hit and get his Falchion back. Excellent work, Beard Bandit. All right, Trufaholic, and he comboed to get the win against Trufaholic. Excellent, excellent work, everyone. Excellent work. Here, I everyone, I will uh, post the bracket link for you here. Here you are. Go check it out. <laughs> After a double disarm, managed to pull the victory there that was absolutely incredible i i honestly thought when he threw that weapon that that one round that he would lose but beard bandit beard bandit is good he knows exactly he knows exactly what to do and how to fight Oof, what a fucking tough fight that was <laughs> excellent job beard bandit excellent job oh, yeah all right, that, looks, was a, that was a great fight from Truth, though. Well, respect to him, absolutely. He put me on my back quite a few times. They were pretty, pretty close. Absolutely. When you threw that weapon, I thought, oh, man, what, what is Beard Over. Bandit thinking? What is he thinking here? That was I a said huge the same mistake. I myself. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, we pulled that back far enough that it was able to, to, to work out at the end there. But I'm getting my Danax plays all mixed up now. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. All right. who, are we, who are we going to spectate now, Monty? So the What's next, the next one is going to be Eruption versus Rico. Um, all right. Unless there's still a fight going on. I don't think so. I think there might be. I believe be. Cloud and uh, Rock and Roll are fighting currently. Let's go check them out for, for the last match here. So Rock and Roll, I see, is one H user. And so Cloud decided to take out his sword. That's going to be strong. You know, he's clearly winning already. The ah, oh, there we go. I, I don't know if that's game point, but excellent, excellent uh, kill by I'm Cloud not sure, here. Yeah, but he's doing quite well. Cloud is actually an excellent fighter. I think so. I think so. I've had some. I've had some strong, strong showings from him. Oh, mm -hmm. all right. We are going to go head on back. Oh, is this an RDMer? Ah, we have an RDMer. Oh my goodness. All right. That's okay. We've got people we, to take care of that, so that is not why be a for much longer. That's right. That is why we have TBS and official mods here. Um, uh, he's still in, so I'm just going to vote kick him myself. I can't, I can't vote even him. Spectate, I yeah. can't. It's yeah, one that you cannot do from spectate. But I see that is a bummer. To take care of that, I'll, we see Paradoxogen in the chat there. I'm sure somebody from TBS can take care of that. I hope so. At least, at least it wasn't during an active fight. Thank the Lord, eh? <laughs> all right, all right. So it looks like they're just getting that handled. We've got Eruption. Are we just waiting on his opponent? 
So while we're kind of waiting here, let me vamp a little bit. What do you think about the battle axe, Monty, in terms of weapon mashups? That's what I was using against the knight there. Do you think it's a viable weapon? Do you think it's uh, a relatively good what it does? Very clearly is. Uh, Trupaholic is no mean fighter with that longsword. He is solid. And uh, you had that stamina advantage with the battle axe. You were keeping up that solid defense, mixing up in those accelerations and drags. So he didn't know when to counter or when to just parry. Uh, oh. <laughs> the game, my game crashed, everybody. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it for Monty, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, he'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> same time, same place. <laughs> uh, indie games, huh? Indie games. <laughs> <laughs> It's all right. Things will smooth out. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure. Here we go. I was going to say is, man, I, I, I've been really liking that battle axe more and more recently. It feels like a uh, much better version of the mall sometimes. It has that same range disadvantage, but the stamina drops. damage is quite high because the base damage is quite high. It's one of those weapons that I think can do both really well. And I like weapons that can do both. And by both, I mean drags and axles weapons that can do not only drags but also axles we can be uh, so slow or fast i think are uh, very very good at adapting to a lot of different kind of players play styles allows you to mix up like doing a quick axel uh getting a quick hit in and then going for an extremely long drag some people don't really know how to handle that i completely agree that is absolutely the way to go accelerate enough so that your opponent has to counter to be able to maintain their stamina and when you know that they're going to have to try and counter that is when you throw out that drag so weapons that have that versatility such as the messer the um the two-handed hammer the dane axe the battle axe i mean hell even the great sword if you properly use that crouch overhead acceleration uh any weapon that can be lightning fast and slow as a sloth that is the way to go absolutely all right here we are really so agreed. i'm watching eruption if he will take his opponent rico um, Where are they? They're on Agatha's side. The fight has begun. I see, I see. I see. Eruption taking the longsword, a solid, a solid matchup against the one-hander, but his opponent Rico. Oh, <laughs> there we go. His opponent Rico taking the mace or the morning star. Solid one-handed blunt. I think he only needs three light overheads to take him out. Maybe less than that. Trying so, to cycle over here to Rico. Oh, I know. It's it's a shame you can't just pick him. <laughs> yeah, there we go. I got him. All right, we're all Excellent. good. Let me know before we start next time who we're going to be taking, so I can uh, do that before the fight starts. It's not your fault, obviously. Just I did post it in the Discord, but I'll send you another. Gotcha. Uh, I gotcha, will send gotcha. you another. There you go, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. All right, so here we're starting again the round, the second round now. Next round has begun. Eruption expertly maintaining his distance, using that, that footwork very well, the extra range the longsword is going to provide him to just combo and combo, and Eruption just cannot keep up. <laughs> or, sorry, Rico cannot just keep up with Eruption's combos there. Excellent Those longsword stabs are some of some of the toughest to deal with in the game. I mean, that, that weapon is, is, is extremely quick for being a two-handed weapon. It's uh, very, very dangerous. I remember the heyday of the longsword on release. The, you know, everybody was a longsword knight, not only because it's the default weapon, but it's just so good for duels. It can do everything well. Uh, its drags aren't quite as strong as some of the other slower weapons, but that speed uh, that speed is so hard to deal with, almost as hard as to deal with as those one-handers. So, you know, I think that's what that's what had that supremacy in duels for so long. Eruption wow. just coming out the gate here. Look at these uh, the jab kill, sending Rico flying. So oh I think gosh. this is like a matchup of aggressive versus aggressive. We're seeing a quick, quick amount of uh, longsword stabs here from Eruption, but Rico is trying to close the distance and getting a lot of attacks like kicks and jabs, but but Eruption is just is just able to back away, use his range and stab away, and, and it's just hitting every time. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Eruption just on my screen uh, uh, died. <laughs> I don't know if he um, if he I think disconnected. He may switch classes, maybe. Is I know that still... Rico just said he wanted to. I so saw that. Might be a class swap here from Rico, possibly. Um, uh, yes, Rico. I'll answer his question. Yes, you may. Uh, let's see. Where is Eruption? I don't know. I think he might have. I think he might have disconnected by accident. <laughs> I saw that happen. Well, hell, my he game just crashed. <laughs> he thought he won. He was done. He didn't want to go to the next round. He didn't need to bother. I mean, he's already won the tournament. He's beat Rico, so he's proved himself. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Respect, man. Respect. Much, much respect indeed. Um, so we'll have to be waiting for eruption here uh, until That's he fun. gets back. Let's uh, let's head on over to the fight just on the other way with Cody and Eagletron, eh? 
sure. I see these guys fighting it out right now. Indeed. Cody Indeed. No, uh, what an excellent Messer Knight. Uh, he's been improving quite a bit since I've been fighting him. And I, he asked me more than a couple times for some tips and tricks. And man, he has really taken a lot of advice to heart and become a much better player than he was. So it's encouraging to see a lot of players that I've known for a while, like, you know, significantly improving. Oh. Uh, absolutely. I think this tournament has really brought out the best in everyone here. And we have a mirror matchup between Cody and Eagletron with these two Messers. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Cody already on the uh, on the advantage here, knocking that weapon out right off the bat. So we'll see if he can repeat that. But um, they're both at equal health, so it could really be anyone's game. Yeah, this is a very, very even fight and a mirror match to bat. All right, weapon out for Eagletron. Wow. Oh, goodness. Ah. Great, great stamina management from Cody. You can see that Eagletron was actually able to dodge away shortly for uh, to be able to reset his parry and get his uh, Morningstar out to avoid the punish off of kick, but he was already so low stamina that once Cody was able to come in with that heavy attack, it drained him immediately. Yeah, and you know, as you say, I've been, I've been playing with Cody since some of his first days first days in the uh, in the game and he really has he's really probably improved more than anyone I've seen in such a short amount of time he uh, he got committed to learning and he has he's been able to compete with the very best now despite only playing a fraction of the time um, yeah it looks like so it looks like our our first Ooh. opponent for eruption of Rico uh, he can't get back into the server we're gonna have to kick a spectator here <laughs> uh, that's a quite unfortunate <laughs> I'll leave we'll leave that up to the uh, referees of course yeah um, all right, so once We're again, to cast the axe and as it comes. Exactly, exactly. Oh, Eletron going for some jabs there. I guess he's having a hard time keeping up with Cody's counters, so trying to mix in those interference attacks to uh, to even the playing field a little bit. But ooh, he's oh, oh <laughs> Cody, excellent. no. Wow, just a flurry of attacks, Beard Bandit. I don't, I, I don't think Eletron was able to keep up with that at all. Poor guy. Yeah, absolutely not. And uh, some people might be confused about the... Uh, this, we're saying that we're, we have a mirror match here. It looks like Eagletron has a different weapon, but that is just a different skin for the Messer. They are using the same weapon, if anybody would have been confused by that. This is exactly a, a mirror match. Yes, it is, exactly. I know that, yes, they do appear to have different weapons. Just a skin. Oh, he hadn't spawned for me, but there we go. <laughs> there he is. Here we Ninja are. Poof. Ninja poop indeed. All right, he got a jab in, not quite a trade for an overhead from Cody, oh. but there we go. Got around to Cody's parry. Axel from Eagle. Cody really excellently mixing up these drags with accelerations. That is the way to go. You always yeah. want to, you always want to make your opponent believe it will be, it will be one attack and then throw out a different one. Look at Eagle's health. He is a smidgen away. He is, uh, he could have been breathed on and died there. <laughs> Cody knows still going for that drag with honor. <laughs> that is true <Absolutely>. chivalry. <laughs> he could have chivalry indeed. Could have gotten that kick kill. Him. Yep, yep. Yeah. <laughs> and hey, I, 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 I am not proud to say, but I probably would have myself. <laughs> oh, uh, every opportunity. When I have somebody low enough that I can jab or kick them to death, I am going to make the app the opportunity known. And <laughs> it's gonna of happen. course, of course, this is a tournament. You must bring your best all right back to uh, eruption and rico eruption finally all made right. it back it looks like uh, rico has switched to a long sword but that is eruption's main and eruption pulled it out right right off the bat there all right excellent job from eruption there are you watching eruption or uh, yeah watching... i'm watching i'm watching eruption all right, the, uh... so swap over to rico right <laughs> Rico, indeed. There we go. God damn it. I fucked it up again. <laughs> Wish there was a way to go. I do backwards. too. Okay. It's not a perfect system, but we're, we're making it work. We're making it work, my friend. Uh, except I cannot find Rico. Cannot find eruption. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to. I think they might be having some problems there with the connection, possibly. Um, oh, it looks like they aren't in the lobby any longer. Yeah. Yeah, something must have happened. Well, if... Unfortunate for them. If I crashed, they probably crashed as well. A um, couple problems today with some of the contestants, unfortunately. Well, hey, you can plan for every contingency, but ten minutes into the battle, it all goes foobar. Isn't that right? Exactly. That is <laughs> the most truth you're ever going to get. 
All right. Well, until we get them back, back to Cody No Cody. and uh, yeah. Eagle Chen. Let's see. <laughs> Some great Messer Knight fights here anyway. It's Surely. not going to complain too much, right? Oh, one I, of, the they look one so of my good. favorite things about uh, uh, watching sword fights is just the really, really awesome sounds that Messer and Great Sword fights go through. It, it's awesome. Oh, the sound design of this game is absolutely incredible. They really Top put notch. in a lot of work. 100%. Right, so it looks like equal health here, but Cody should have the stamina advantage. Oh, and he got Ooh, around his parry. Drag. Fantastic. Oh, and there Cody goes the leg. Now. He's only got one leg to stand on now. <laughs> <laughs> Cody No with these excellent, absolutely excellent drags. I think that might be his victory there. I um, so. I think he's doing a really excellent job today. I'm seeing a great performance from Cody No over the past few days, and it's just been getting better and better. I'm excited to see uh, how far he can make it into this tournament. I totally agree. For a while now, for the past couple of months, we've just had sort of the same names. Um, sort of just the same names rocking the top of the leaderboards. And this tournament has really brought out the skill in lots of different fighters. So we're seeing we're seeing some top tier players sort of sort of be born. <laughs> Rise Absolutely. from the ashes of the fight. Um, so let's head over to Adrian while we wait. I was just about to say, he just uh, used that two-handed hammer to great effect against Jack 2 there. The two-handed hammer is just one of those weapons that is extremely good at doing both again it's got that extremely and faster than you would ever think it could be extremely quick axles and then some amazing drags one of the best two-handed hammer players i've ever seen is a uh, quasi who comes out with some insane ridiculous 360 swings to oh, make it the, look like an axel and the then come swing out as a through drag. 360s absolutely 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 nearly <laughs> nearly impossible to read so i guess i guess adrian just won his match so we're on well, to we cinema <laughs> Cinemork, one of the most unique players in the game. His style has spread far and wide now, but when he the game is the main one, like that yeah. has that outfit, and nobody else did it before him. <laughs> he looks like a like a circus clown, but he, he really fights, does. It's perfect. He fights with the strength of ten circus clowns. Ten circus clowns, indeed. He can spin. He can make <laughs> his weapon do things I didn't think was possible with a weapon. <laughs> yeah, truly, absolutely. truly. So I call these Cinemork jacks. I know, I know. Go Gorgeous. Look how he's looking at the ground to make his horizontals oh. appear as overheads. <laughs> Just a simple feint took out his opponent. God damn you see that, that 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 turn around, look back, and then came back with a dolphin dive stab. I mean, I, it, you really can't make this up. I mean, he's just one of the most unique players in the game. Truly, I, I, I don't know how he doesn't get dizzy while doing all of these swings and <laughs> mix-ups. I think really. he plays in a gyrosphere. I'm pretty sure he's just rotating constantly. Yeah, his chair is coming with him the whole time. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. He's plugged into the Matrix, man. 100%, man. <laughs> All right, here we go. So he, oh, wow, look at that. That is his That is his back through. It's, it, every move of his is just an incredible dance. A dance yes. of blades here. Love, Love Cannon. Cannon not rolling over, though, giving him a hit. Indeed, indeed. Doing doing his best to keep up with Cinemark's wacky style. The thing yeah, with Cinemark... It's hard to read. Yeah, he, off, he does these drags a bit too often, so if Love Cannon just focused on the strength of his sword... Steal that initiative, gamble a few more times. Cinemark here would be down. I mean, only and with a shield, he needs to be jabbing. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Well, speaking of jab, Cinemark punish it. Fifteen, fifteen damage on a jab. Oh, oh, great toe drag. Excellent work. I don't even know. I, was that a horizontal or an overhead? I could not tell. Uh, you can't. You can't tell with Cinemark. He makes. He makes. Uh, he makes his overheads look like underhands. They don't even have underhands in this game, guys. So. No, but <laughs> that'll but, tell but, you. But yeah, don't tell that to Cinemark. He 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 said, you don't. You're not putting 240 in this game. Well, I'm bringing it with me. <laughs> what was that? What was that? Look A at him. A quick disarm, and he wins. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, it looks like it looks like a non-ref coming out to call him out. <laughs> Unsportsmanlike conduct. I think that deserves a DQ right there. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, here absolutely. we go. He swaps to longsword, so this is going to be a little bit more of an even fight here. I'd say so. Players. I'd say so. Let's find out. Here we go. So uh, the Messer, of course, is going to have the stamina advantage here against the longsword. Oh, but he's not even going to need it if he can just keep dragging like that. Wow, wow. Love Cannon pulling out those drags as well. With the longsword, it's a shame that didn't connect, but that was that yeah. would have been a really impressive, really impressive it drag. It was quite impressive. And there's the stamina drain. Yeah, you got to be careful. You got to be careful when fighting a stronger weapon like that. You do have to remember that mess. The way that stamina damage in this game works 
is that it goes off of the base damage of the weapon. So the highest base damage weapons, like the Great Sword, the Messer, the Battle Axe, those kind of weapons do a really, really great job of draining somebody's stamina quickly on heavy attacks. All right, here we go. I, I, I guess they hadn't really begun their fight yet. This is going pretty long here. Yeah. See how this goes. Oh, an excellent heavy stab. Oh, and oh, Cinemark almost dead. On. A jab is all Love Cannon needs to do. If he can just catch, if he can just catch Cinemark here oh. off. That's a great like bit it. of footwork from Cinemark, though. Well, that Messer range is deceptively long. Absolutely. Oh, oh. and another drag. Excellent work. Excellent work by Cinemark. All right, is that his victory? Let's see. So he's telling me we're moving on to the next part of round one. Okay, sounds good. Let's see what next matches we're going to be having here, Monty. All right, so let's take a look. Ah, we've got... All right. So round round one is over, huh? Yeah, look at that. Excellent. I believe so. Um, all right, so let's pull up the bracket here gonna be having well you're gonna be fighting you're gonna be fighting beer bandits so we'll be watching you and cloud <laughs> okay so i have to head over there now then sure absolutely man gonna absolutely i'm gonna come to you all right well i will be right back chat let's go ahead and hit this good luck to beard bandit everybody let's see how he does huh if we can find him once he spawns in <laughs> all right here we go Right, almost there. We're gonna get there. There we go. All right, here we go. Beard Bandit versus Cloud I I. Let's see how it goes. Boop, boop. Uh, yes, Bones. Beard Bandit is the other commentator. He uh, he was asked to commentate last minute, um, and so we decided to allow him to, of course, continue to participate. But. Um, but uh yeah he's also commentating with me and uh you know we're gonna stay impartial here in the commentator's couch but he has already had some excellent fights i guess they're just waiting for these fights to finish up before beer bandit gets in so we're gonna watch swag mountains drop toe hold wow excellent drag i just caught the uh, tail end of by drop toe hold there excellent work that's what we were talking about before with that two-handed hammer not only does it have those whip fast accelerations that can come out almost instantly but you can really drag it long drag it far to make it very difficult to fight all right let's see here oh we've i believe got... that uh, we are still in round one so i'm gonna go ahead and hop back in here and, uh... oh excellent then we'll be on steezy and rayon uh, all right they are they are fighting here in the back oh let's excellent drag by rayon oh wow you can almost see that that uh around the back there uh great sword drag almost landed but he over dragged it a little bit too much it, you know, he is taking a ton of risks with these, and Steezy, I'm surprised he's not doing more jabs or more gambles here with that one-handed weapon. Something I've noticed from his fighting style pretty often. Oh, but Rayon just whipping these drags around! Yeah, you see the way he's kind of creating space for himself by constantly attacking at range and just making sure that if Steezy wants to come in, he's either gonna have to counter or have to... Uh, take a hit on the way in. He's got like a, a shield of swings, if you will. It's absolutely a shield of swings, almost like a helicopter's blade, keeping everything away from it. <laughs> you want to learn some tech here, Monty? I just found out that if you uh, put your cursor over the person you want to see and then right click, it goes to them and locks on. Wow, Beard Bandit coming in with the clutch <laughs> tech. Holy Let's shit. Let's go. <laughs> Let's fucking go, man. Let's fucking go. God damn. All right, I'll watch Rayon. You can take Steezy. Sure, no Let's problem. do it, my friend. Let's fucking do oh, it. Much better. Let's do this. <laughs> much better. That makes a lot of sense. That's great that's just perfect <laughs> <laughs> well it's the first tournament of the trial by blood and we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna be having <laughs> some some technical difficulties all right so steezy's still coming in doing his best to deal with this uh the shield of this whirlwind shield blade and i yeah. really like that term that's that's good a, a shield of strikes here but yeah that's all he needs to do if he can just catch rayon off on one of these long swings yeah, there yeah. you go. Yep, yeah, that, that, as, as you say it. That yeah, absolutely. That one that one hand can be darn difficult to deal with, especially with a, such a slow weapon like the great sword. Absolutely. When you're playing against one-handers with the great sword, it is imperative that you are constantly putting yourself at range. And he was doing a good job of that with the shield of strikes there, but 
I think he might need to focus a little bit more on that. If he really, really focuses on exploiting his range advantage here, he could put himself in a much better position. Completely agree. Completely agree. He let Steezy get just a little bit too close there the last round. So we'll see. We'll see how he does now. But Steezy, yep, Steezy's getting wise to Rayon's style. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. wow. Just a flurry. An absolutely great combo from Steezy. A nice little three-piece meal there. I just... I just that That is a perfect artificial combo. I, I feel like I'm watching Mortal Kombat and he just Hadouken Rayon right out, right out of the field there. Can be Monty, tough do you to want to explain what a artificial combo is to the listeners here? Oh, absolutely. Uh, if anyone hasn't checked out my 10 Secret Techniques video, I describe an artificial combo as a string of individual actions that you can put together to make a combination. So games like Mortal Kombat, other traditional fighting games do up, up, down, down, shoot a fireball. That uh, that is just a that is not an artificial combo. That's a that is a that is a button impress whatever. But in oh, games man. like Smash Brothers and Chivalry, Mordhouse, oh. CMW, you have attack. You have overhead attack, horizontal attack, you have kick, you have jab. These are all individual actions. Stringing them together, such as a jab to kick, now that is an artificial combo. And so what we saw from uh, from Steezy there was a was an accelerated horizontal to a kick, or no, I think it was a combo, then to a kick, and then to that third attack, which was just uh, just too tough for Ian to deal with. And I guess Steezy must have won his match. So good yeah, fight. I believe that that match is over, and it was an excellent job of explaining what that does. And, and he explained it as well using his own attacks to uh, very, very well done show uh, show how those combos come into play. Indeed, indeed. All right, so are we just getting ready for the next round? Does that mean you're participating, Beard Bandit? I believe so. I'm going to wait on the ref's call before I move over, just so we don't have any empty space you know, filled in the casting here. But Sounds I good. I believe we're moving on to round two shortly here. And I will be fighting... Cloud. Cloud indeed, my man. All right, so I'm going to use that tech you taught me. Let me find <laughs> you. <laughs> Look at all these strong fighters here. And in the spectator's up. box as well. Truly excellent. I see uh, I see. we have Paradoxogen holding the turkey. The turkey of takedowns. <laughs> the turkey. The honorary turkey of the tournament. The honorary Whoever turkey wins gets tournament. to eat it. Yeah, that's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. The whole thing to themselves, too. <laughs> indeed. Indeed. Uh, next up, Pinger. I'm going to get this up here. Okay, after wave two, we're going to have a short break, apparently. So I guess this is just... We're just going to take a second here. So far, we've had some excellent fights all around. All around from everybody. I've been really impressed. Uh, let's let's actually go to the bracket so we can see who's won overall. And, let's go ahead and uh, try the bracket ourselves. Yeah, let's, let's see. Let's see what's going on here. So, I'm just going to reload this page, just in case. Alright, so... Uh, here we go. Quasi... Quasi beat Doom out. Uh, good, good effort, Doom. Quasi's one of the very best, you know, can't feel bad about that. Of course, Beard Bandit and Truth. Adrian, yep, so no, no big upsets yet. Um... Oh, it looks like some of these might not have been updated. I'm unsure. It looks like all they the say they were disqualified. I, think, I don't know if the scores are correct, but it seems like people have moved up or moved on uh, yeah. to the next round. I they they might okay. have for speed to disqualify them, but the the ones who have moved on have won. So we're going to see Ziggy Lotta versus Wildcard Mask. That's going to be an interesting fight. That's yeah. one we should absolutely watch. Um, if we get the opportunity to, that is definitely going to be a good fight. Wildcard Mask has a very, very interesting play style. He does a lot of things that most people don't really even know what they are. Like he has a, uh, I'll call it a sprint tech that he likes to do that allows him to do a sprint attack very quickly uh, at the start of a round, and it uh, can be very, very disorienting for people who don't know what he's doing. They call it the Artorius Leap, I believe, after a, a Dark Souls uh, villain. Um, yeah, he, so Wildcard, he is just truly an expert at exploiting this game. No one is as good as Wildcard at finding the glitches. <laughs> truly, truly. He is, truly, he, though. Yeah, uh, we have a lot of unique fighters here tonight. People like Cinemark Ray on Wildcard, who can really just find their own play style, separate from what's meta, separate from what's even that efficient, but something that works perfectly for them. And Wildcard truly, truly, uh, represents that. So I guess we have one of the best things about this game is that opportunity that be the ability to be able to express yourself through whatever play style you'd like in this game and there's so many options so many weapons they all do different things they're all good in certain scenarios 
So being able to do that is just one of the best things about this game, is being able to make a unique play style. Because you can, you can point somebody out in the crowd that you fought multiple times and been like, you know what, I know that guy, I know how he fights, I know what he does. And uh, it's a really, really good way to things fresh is fighting all these opponents with such wildly different play styles. It looks like we do have some fights going on here. We've got Shin and Ryan Tuek here on Mason's side. Um, so I guess that is still... I, I You know, it's not... The, the bracket's no longer accurate. People must have uh, not hopped in, and uh, we must have some replacement fighters hopping in now. Well, that's Possibly, fine. Yeah. I, I, think, fine. I think that must be what the delay is about. So uh, if you want to hop on over to Shin's perspective here with me, I'm not sure yeah. what the score is quite yet. I am watching him currently. Shin is another player that I've known since release. One of one of the best players in the game. He hasn't played in a little while, but I've been seeing him coming back more and more now since the arena update. And uh, man, you cannot cannot underestimate Shin. He has some of the best uh, tech in the game. Just some really really good uh, mechanics. He knows how to you know do a lot of really really cool moves, and uh, he's, he's got great defense. So. He can uh, he can be really really oppressive when he fights. Truly, truly indeed. Uh, you know he used to ha he used to do this uh, specific exploit I like to call the <laughs> shin bop. You remember this? <laughs> yes, where you were able to hit the ground and then uh, yeah. throw out a repost as if you had just blocked an attack. Oh, oh the 360 oh. and the laugh right after too. I mean, 360 he get any more overhead acceleration. Than that. What the hell? Oh, and of course right the into, emote. <laughs> yeah, right into the laugh emote. You cannot get any more. More chivalry than that. <laughs> Excellent move by Shin. Shin TTV. Go check out his Twitch, everybody. <laughs> Excellent He's displaying it. Yeah. Right. And he's a great guy, too. Just a really, really cool dude. Yeah, absolutely. Lots of good duels over the time. I I'm spectating Shin, by the way, if you want to take okay, on his Okay, yeah, I'll go ahead and take Ryan, then. He's using Messer and Dane, which is a very, very popular combo. I I've seen... That's what I've seen Quasi been practicing with for the past few days, so I expect yeah. we'll see a lot more like that. People have been starting to figure out that the Bane Axe is, is a lot better than most people take credit for. It is uh, an extremely devastating weapon. Yeah, you know, that's the thing. I don't think we should be, <laughs> just as a community in general, applying tiers to weapons. Because it, it just takes one one good fighter to find out how to use it well. You know exactly. Houdini? Have you fought Houdini before? He uses the Glaive. Yeah, he's the glaive, quite a good an fighter. Excellent example of the Glaive, a weapon that a lot of people sleep on. They don't think it's that strong. And Houdini can fight the best fighters and win with his unique playstyle. Yeah, and I think a lot of this game is playstyle matchup. I mean, the ability to, uh, you know, look at what your opponent is doing, download that information and kind of apply and exploit the weaknesses of their playstyle is is uh, very, very important. I think that's what separates one of the best players from good players from best players, I should say. I completely agree. I completely agree. You have to be able to change your own style to match your opponents and on the fly. And, and perhaps multiple times in each fight. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, Shin just... looking very dominant here. Ryan was able to get a couple strikes in, but he's just getting so many stabs off of the pull axe and, and really, really making its range, uh, using the range well. Just getting around that parry window of his opponent, truly. I mean, he, he, he makes it look easy. <laughs> he certainly does. Ryan Tuek is no pushover. I fought him several times myself. And uh, Shin here really just pulling it out. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, here we go. Good luck to Shin. Good luck to Ryan. Let's see if Ryan can pull something deep down and uh, take a round here. Start adapting that play style to, to whatever Shin is taking here. Wow, an excellent drag right off the bat. Oh, and that was an attack cancel to faint. I have not seen too many of those. That is incredible. Wow. 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 Just I, unable. Uh, uh, Ryan Tuak, unfortunately, unable to keep up with Shin's feints here. Yeah, uh, <laughs> just a flurry of attacks. And, and sometimes, uh, and the thing is, the pole axe is a very rarely used weapon. You don't see it very often, right? I'm not a big fan of it. It's not a bad weapon, but you don't get to see it very often. So most people don't really know how to play around it. And I think Shin is kind of utilizing that by uh, exploiting the uh, kind of unknown uh, animations and, and, and making it kind of difficult to read. That is that is absolutely true. If you aren't used to fighting a specific weapon, you haven't memorized its animations, its speed, its range, and its damage, then you're going to be disadvantaged against that. And I don't see that weapon too often, so good on Shin for taking something unique, and uh, he won his round with it, apparently. So I'm yeah, heading over to, to Weaponized unique, Funk though. and Daedalus for the tail end of their match. All I'll, right, uh, I see I will, those guys here. I'll take over Daedalus. I'll, I'll, uh, I will spectate this uh, Weaponized Funk, rather. Okay. All right. All right so I'll we take data We got a mirror matchup again. Two longsword knights. This this could be interesting. Yeah, when uh, yeah. 
Oh, please. Go ahead. Well, when the game first came out, uh, God King and I would just do longsword battles, sometimes upwards of four or five minutes, countering each other, keeping our stamina up. <laughs> so uh, we'll see. We'll see if that happens here. But it uh, looks like Daedalus is on the lead against Weaponized. But Weaponized... Uh, yeah, oh, yeah, there we go. A drag. Man, you know, that's what I was just about to say is uh, Daedalus, I know him very well. Uh, he's an excellent fighter. But uh, he is well known for his drags. I mean, he's real. I think this is his first game in the genre, and I was extremely impressed by when I saw him running Messer, running a uh, Maul, and he was dragging like I'll, I haven't even seen a lot of players at, uh, at, at you know very high levels doing. It was extremely impressive. So the fact that he's able to work in drags on a longsword is is uh, quite impressive. It's something I struggle with myself at about 800 hours in game. I, I actually did not know this was his first game in the genre. That is really impressive. Right, yeah. I mean, you, you have to be impressed by the, the uh, quick gaining of skill by a lot of these fighters. A lot of fighters in this tournament, I mean, not not everybody is a chivalry or, or melee slasher veteran. No, absolutely not. I mean, of course, we have players like Quasi who have several thousand hours in the game. But uh, we do, as you say, have some first-time genre players. I think uh, Cody No is an example of one as well. So, uh, I'd love to see that. That means the community so is growing. Right. Absolutely. Oh, <laughs> what the the excellent finish. pommel hit. Oh man, <laughs> what a special. Excellently, what a show as well. Yeah, that what a, a, a great finish by Daedalus right there. God damn, good work, my man. <laughs> <laughs> he he's actually one of the best footwork uh, users I have seen that I fight against. Well, he used to play in third person. He switched to first, so I see. Uh, oh. I see. Yeah, I see. He's he's challenging himself for it, seeing That's how good. well he can do. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's see who is next. Let's pull up the bracket here and let's see if it's been updated. He would make a wonderful field commander, but you probably hear that from all the squires. All right. Who did Daedalus swap in for? That is a good... 93 feet. He must have swapped 93. in 93 feet. That was the fight with Shin, I believe. I think somebody might have swapped in for 93 for Shin. He I'm not sure who he would have fought. Oh, uh, yeah, I think that's what I'm saying. I think uh, Shin is on the bracket. Daedalus was swapping in for 93 feet, I believe. Okay. Uh, so Marduk is about to take on Varu, who... He's in ring D, right? Yeah, so so, Mar so Varu must be uh, filling in for Jip Jap. So, um, I guess that yeah. we, we can take a look at that fight. I don't know what's going on, on the other side. So, yeah, let's take a look at... Uh, Varu and Marduk. I'll take Marduk's perspective. Sure, I'll take Varu. I Marduk. think he's subbing in for the other guy. For Jip Jap, yeah. Yes, uh, for Jip Jap. All right, Marduk, here we go. Coming in with that long sword against that two handed hammer. Oh, what a drag wow. to an acceleration. That right there, that is an excellent combo. If you're watching, you haven't tried it out. <laughs> oh, damn. Uh, that's just great mix ups. Oh really Woo. great mix ups. Wow, that, yeah, that that's making me sweat, and I'm not even in the ring. <laughs> 100%. I mean, you cannot underestimate that two handed hammer. It's a really, really good good weapon i mean it's so deceptively fast and against the knight it can be devastating truly truly that blunt damage you cannot ignore it i Again. i do i do hope marduk has a, a loadout to take other than knight against this oh yeah <laughs> extremely dominant performance from varu here he's able to just do his mix-ups just correctly enough to break marduk's guard and then get around his parry with some excellent footwork and swing manipulation so that's just textbook, textbook good plays. Yeah, I mean, just side dodging his Marduk stab like that to stab with a two-handed hammer to get the kill. What? Very impressive. Very skilled move right here. Hey, Monty, so, if, so somebody is asking, uh, can somebody explain what a drag to acceleration is? Do you think you can oh, explain that for somebody? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. It's pretty simple. Uh, in this game, you can manipulate your swing by looking into an attack or looking away from it. If you look into the direction it's moving, this is what we call an acceleration. Let's say your attack is an overhead attack. It's going to come from the top looking down. You look down, it will accelerate, it will land faster. You look up, it will land slower. That's all. It's about changing the distance your attack has to land on your opponent. 
So when you drag, you are moving away from the direction. When you accelerate, you are moving your camera in the direction. That's all. It's very simple. But Just it's moving your cursor to where you, if either you want to elongate your swing or make it quicker. That's the, you know, axles are quick and drags are long. And that's just a good way to mess up the timing. Most people would say, oh, you know, why does, why does dragging and acceleration matter in a game like this where you have held parry? But there is a good reason for it. Absolutely. Counters. Exactly. Counters are the bread and butter of the high level play. You are going to lose your stamina very quickly if you don't counter pretty much every attack. Um, and as you can hear here, one of one or both of the opponents are uh, breathing heavily. And well, oh. hey, excellent combo by Marduk. If you lose yep. your stamina in this game, that's going to be essentially a free hit by your opponent. And as we've yes. seen multiple times today already, a free wit. So yep. you have to be very careful there. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, sorry to plug my stuff, but uh, a lot of people <laughs> do find my guides useful. Check me out on YouTube, the 10 Tenets of Chivalry 2, the 10 Secret Techniques of Chivalry 2. It, it goes into everything you need to know for fights like this, including Absolutely. swing manipulation. Monty's got some of the best YouTube content for this game, teaching people the game, so I absolutely recommend that if you're trying to make sure that you can get better at the game, that's one of the best resources you can use. All right, here we go. Mardek once again coming in. Oh, <laughs> with the accelerated oh. horizontal. That was fantastic. Great hit on Tavaru here. I think Varu is going to play a little bit more carefully, make sure he doesn't run out of stamina. Marduk yeah. really turtling up, really getting ready. Yeah, I believe I that's really a big playstyle thing for Marduk. I've fought him quite a bit, and he has a very, very, it's not a bad thing, but he has a very standard playstyle. He likes to be cautious. He doesn't like to make a lot of gambles. He likes to just kind of sit back and go for the, you know, attack to block, attack to block, attack to block. I, I completely agree. And well, as as we're seeing now, when Marduk is playing at his best, Varu is having a hard time keeping up and a kick. And there's kill. the kick. God yep. damn, Marduk. A little mean, a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a BM as far as, uh, as, as a fight goes, but excellent work. Hey, whatever you can do to win is what I say. Absolutely. I mean, <laughs> the, the thing is, the kick is just like, if you see somebody is low, and you know you have the opportunity to either jab them or kick them. I mean, you, you almost always want to do it because otherwise they're going to regenerate. Even if you don't kill them in that one strike, you're stopping their regeneration. Regeneration yeah. is pretty yeah. quick. And sometimes with certain weapons like the longsword, if you, if you let the enemy regenerate, they actually won't go down in one swing. It'll yeah. take two light swings. Absolutely. So when you're fighting a knight versus knight, you have to prevent that regeneration. 100%. Exactly. 100%. So very smart move by Mardak. Uh, it's not impossible for his opponent to counter that if he's quick enough and careful, but he will take that damage. So if you're low enough, you just need to get out of that fighting area. Use your range to just kind of make some distance because you see those kicks and jabs coming in. If you block and you're at low enough health, you're either going to get stunned or get killed by the five damage. So it's just not worth the effort. Marduk now mixing in his drags and accelerations as well. Very Ooh. smart plays here. Oh! Wow. <laughs> Some excellent combos. I think Varu kind of went for a gamble there, and uh, he was able to just kind of combo off of the hit that he got. So what people understand how initiative works in this game is that if you land a strike on somebody, you have the, you have the initiative still. Mm -hmm. You can still go for a combo, right? So if, some, if you hit, land a hit on somebody, and then they try to attack you, unless you go for a heavy attack, that light attack you do is going to go and hit them again because you have initiative. So respecting initiative in this game is very important for uh, making sure that you're not making mistakes and getting hit in between your attacks. Absolutely. And, you know, we've seen Marduk playing to his weapon strengths expertly in the past couple of fights. He's actually attacked after Varu has because Varu is setting up a drag or perhaps he's heavy attacking. Oh! <laughs> wow, what a, what a slash there. I mean, those are the best kind of kills in this game. I love being able to spectate and cast stuff like that because you see somebody drag a heavy hit out there yeah. and then the head explodes. Oh, and, and it, the body just, just falls back into an angel position. Just damn. <laughs> just yeah, look on. at him just laying down there. Yeah. Like, oh, he's just taking a load off. Poor bastard. Woo, that was tough. That was tough. Yeah. So Marduk has been expertly attacking, but not, not yet. Oh. Those drags are getting at me. Marduk's not attacking soon enough. If if he can time his ex, his uh, initiative steals here with that longsword, that's how he's been beating Varu before. So let's see if he can pull it out again. Mm -hmm. Varu coming well, in with those long drags. Excellent work of his uh, mix-ups. That's what I'm axles. talking about. So Marduk attacks second here, right? But because Varu is doing a... Oh! <laughs> well, well, there we go. Again. Excellent drag. Excellent drag. I don't know if that's his victory. We'll see. I'm unsure. Are we I, in the round two right now? Are we still I think, working on round one? I think one? we're in... We must be... Well, gosh. If uh, 
No, Marduk would be fighting oh, Shin T T V, so this must still right, be the yeah. first round. This must still it's be still the first, the first round. round for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So not over yet. Good luck to both opponents. Marduk really has to be a bit more careful. I think I think he's uh, waiting a little bit too long. He has to be a bit bolder with these. Yeah, there we go. Just like that. Mm -hmm. And he gets another hit off too. Exactly. Perfect. All right, here we are. Marduk playing. There we go. Once again. <laughs> wow. That, that's what we're talking about. That is that is the initiative steal. A lot of people call this gambling. Marduk is attacking after his opponent attacks, but because he has a faster weapon, because he's accelerating, he's landing those hits. That's how we go. Good work on Marduk. Could you explain why they call it a gamble, Monty? What, uh, what's the reason for that? So a lot a lot of people believe. Uh, well, I, I don't personally like the term gamble. For me, a gamble is... Uh, it just has a, a negative connotation. So certainly. I, that's totally understandable. And it's talking about your opponent's intent, which you can never truly know 100%, right? So to me, a gamble is if you're throwing out of an, an attack and you really don't know it's going to work. If you don't know it's going to land uh, and you're just you're just sort of button mashing, hoping hoping to get a hit in. Um, so I call this an initiative steal because what Marduk is doing, he has a very high probability rate of landing these attacks because his weapon is much faster than his opponent's. Right. Um, but uh, yeah, people call it a gamble because he is just throwing it out. So we've got Fat Prep versus Ziggy Lada and Quasi versus Soder Dave. Um, what do you say we do Quasi and Soder Dave, huh? This sure, is going to yeah, be an exciting match. Quasi and Soder Dave. Two very skilled. I just, I'm not too sure about Fat Pratt. Um, so we'll see. But uh, here we go. So Quasi taking out the Messer against the one-handed and the Vanguard. Uh, if if you are using a Messer, you can fight one-handed pretty pretty effectively if you make sure to use that repost. Just as he does there. I mean, <laughs> yep. he's just an excellent fighter. Soder Dave is no no shrug off either, though. I mean, he's one of the best one-handed sword fighters I've played. Like, one of the best. I players. he he might be the best one-handed sword. I, I know it used to be King Azatlan, but they nerfed his uh, they nerfed his exploit. <laughs> his counter exploit. Yeah, Indeed. he's a little bit struggle. He's struggling a little bit more now. Uh, I'll but, follow uh, Quasi if you want to follow Soder. Yeah, I've got Dave on my uh, screen here. Perfect. Perfect. Still waiting to see when this next matchup is going to be for me, but we'll keep casting this until that point. Until, until they let us know, absolutely. <laughs> Thank God for the refs so we don't have to pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> we, just, we just get to bring the hot action to you all. <laughs> What's going on, GB? Oh, hey, Garden Boat. This is uh, the head tournament organizer, everybody. Welcome, Garden Boat. Thank you for putting this on tonight, Garden Boat. Absolutely, it's an honor to be able to. Um, just giving you a small update that Cryptic will be starting his first match in a winner's round two as his opponent has not showed and is going to unfortunately have to be disqualified due to a lack of replacements. I see, uh, that's a shame. Fortunate. Understandable, understandable. So yep. we're, we are still in round one, is that correct? We are, yeah, we are finishing the very end of round one. We've had one match go a little bit out of order and winner's round two is starting in one corner, but uh, they're going to finish the match and then just hold off. Yeah, I see. Winners too. Um, so we'll be moving into losers round one very soon. Uh, I see. So we're going to let Quasi and Sitter Dave finish their round then, and then we're going to go to losers round yes, one? Exactly. Okay. Exactly that. That. Yep. I, and th that will be happening in the server as well, Garden Boat? Hello! Yes. Okay, excellent. Yep. Thank you. As far as I know, it'll all be here. All right, sounds good. Sounds good. Hey, right. it's been it's been running pretty smoothly so far, so good job, my friend. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. All right. I'll see you guys uh, have fun casting. Thank you for your work, and I'll see you around. Of yeah, course. TV. Adios, my man. All right. So, Quasi coming back in. He's already taken some damage. I believe Soder's still at full health, so Quasi's going to have to be a bit careful here. Oh, yeah. gosh. And if... if a... Go ahead. Uh, if, if Soder brings out these jabs, he can take Quasi out. But he lost his weapon, so we'll see. Very tight here. Now he's got a weapon that's not specifically really very suited towards fighting vanguards, but he can oh. make it work. <laughs> Quasi, he certainly can. Quasi is pretty fond of the gamble, and as you saw, he just tried to combo there, but Soder Dave is too quick on the draw. You gotta be careful. You gotta be careful. Tough to deal, sorry, sorry, tough no, to no, do uh, initiative stealing when you're fighting a, a very, very good one headed sword or, or footman player. They just know how to dive, he is especially Dave, knows how to dive in and out of range. Use his dodge buff. Uh, for those who aren't aware, he is playing Man at Arms, a subclass of footmen that gives you 10% uh, extra move speed using one-handed weapon alongside a very, very large 50% dash cooldown, which allows him to really, really get in and out of fights quickly. 
uh, he usually uses his footwork really well with a lot of spacing, a lot of dodging, but I haven't seen too much from Soto Day of this fight so far. Uh, it could just be Quasi is, is working so well to stay within his range that he is unable to disengage. Oh, there we go. And an excellent gamble, uh, as an initiative steal on Soda Dave's part as Quasi goes for a heavy attack. Oh, wow. What an excellent combo from Quasi. But Dave's able to kind of break up the momentum that he had with a shield toss there. Excellent work from Dave to kind of stop that momentum. Interesting. I mean, if, if Dave had in instead decided to attack instead of shield throw, he would have got the kill there. And unfortunately, isn't able to follow up. Oh, but oh, with a special! Wow! With that, a special right in the crouching damn, head of Quasi. That comes <laughs> out. That comes out lightning fast. How do you? How do you counter that? Wow! That wow! Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable! Excellent play from Dave. Woo! You can see he, he is no slouch, and you cannot count him out. No, certainly. And you know, I think I think. Uh, Messer can fight these weapons, but I do think uh, Quasi here is at a disadvantage. I hope he brought with him a knight I think class. He swapped to knight yes, right knight here. Messer. Yeah. Here we go. So His he has frog knight, the default knight, the strongest <laughs> of knight the customization. Strongest knight. That's so funny. He he does. He only plays Vanguard. He has no customization on his knight. That's great. He's got the Messer. <laughs> yes. So so if Quasi has to switch to his uh, one hander here, he could actually be a. Uh, a, a better loadout, one could say, than the uh, the, the one hand. Though, except he's using blunt, so it, that that does sort of negate any advantage Quasi might have as knight. Thankfully, yeah. the footman doesn't have any extra stamina, so they're they're working on the same uh, working with the same stats here. Same stamina pool. Yeah, same stamina pool, and probably same it hits to kill because of the blunt. Because of the blunt damage, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And Quasi oh. using his sword, which is oh. still a really strong option, but oh my god, the flurry of attacks from Quasi. That was devastating. Absolutely devastating. One after the other. He actually also crouch dodged Soder Dave's jab. That yeah. that could not have been timed better. That was incredible. Crouch dodge the jab, follow up with a combo, and then get just another attack around Soder Dave's parry window. You know, that was and incredible. this is why I love watching Quasi fight more than I like watching anybody fight because he's so adaptable. He's so he's so able to understand the situation he is in and make adjustments on the fly to his playstyle to be able to compensate for whatever disadvantage he had. You really just can't beat, uh, a, I don't know, probably over a decade of experience playing the genre. You know, yeah. thousands of hours in CMW and Mordhau. Quasi is probably the most experienced genre player in this tournament tonight. I would wager he is absolutely the most experienced player in the game that we have here in the tournament. I mean, if for those unaware, he was a Chivalry Medieval Warfare, the first game of veteran. He played competitively and uh, he played for the best Wow, what a dodge uh, <laughs> that was. I have to interrupt because that was insane. But he was a Tempest player for uh, for uh, for Chivalry Medieval Warfare, and uh, that was the best North American at the time. So, I mean, it goes to show you. He knows what he's doing. This isn't his first rodeo. Oh, oh. <laughs> My goodness, just these accelerated repost overheads from the Messer. That is how you fight these one-handers. It is so strong. It does the same amount of damage as a light overhead from a greatsword. And with the repost, it can come out whip fast. Mm -hmm. A very smart move, very smart class change by Quasi here to get a little bit of extra health. Um, you like to see those kinds of uh, adjustments on the fly. And I think, again, Quasi is just the man to go for for that. Yeah, and I guess uh, I guess Soda Dave doesn't have his alternative. He's just sticking. I don't even see a shield on him. He's just sticking with that sword. <laughs> He's got it on his back. He, he tends to t he tends to keep the shield on his back, which is an interesting play considering you do get a l relatively large stamina negation from the shield. You do, and it does extra jab damage. Of course, we've already seen Soda also throw it out pretty effectively. So, yeah, I I think I think it's a mistake to keep that on your back. There's going to be no archer. Oh! <laughs> And he gets hit by the whirlwind. <laughs> what a shame. You gotta be careful there, Soda. You gotta be careful. Can't let yourself get backed up into that corner. Can I get you to answer another question for me, Monty? Somebody in chat has been asking, and I get this question a lot from newer players. Uh, why are higher level players not kicking so much? What's the reason for not kicking? So kicks are, uh, they're a, a bit of a cost-benefit analysis. They're a little bit too risky to take most of the time. If you are a top player, you're not always going to be able to uh, attack into the kick and land a hit. A lot of the times, the kicker will be able to block in time for you not to be able to punish them. But it will cost them extra stamina, and it will give you initiative, which is something that you never really want to be giving to your opponent. 
Uh, it's it's simply too hard to land against a, an experienced player who's able to read it coming out, and uh, it can be too costly if you're watching your stamina, which is much more important, much more Absolutely. important in these higher fights than trying to break a block. What do you think is a safe way to initiate a kick? What option do you think would be the best time to go for a kick? Well, if you don't know, you can actually feint a repost <laughs> into a kick. I know, of course, you know, Beard Bandit. <laughs> no, I know. Yes. Uh, so if you if you repost your attack, you can feint uh, you can feint into you know another type of attack, a jab, but also a kick. So your opponent is watching your attack, waiting for that feint, perhaps that heavy or drag. And if you instead kick, well, boom, you've just landed one. So Excellent. try that out. Yep. A repost feint into kick. So Soder, wow, Soder with wow. the drag on the sword to decap Quasi. Impressive. Rarely seen. Rarely seen, absolutely. Absolutely. And he has actually really used specials effectively here today. That's not, is that his win? Did Soder beat is, Quasi here? Is that actually what just happened? What's wow. The, what's the score looking like here? Wow. Th that That's a bit of an upset for me. That is, that is absolutely an upset for me. I mean, to be fair, Soder Dave is no slouch again. He is not. No, he's no, a really, the fight's really still going on. Fight's still going okay, on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't imagine that it would have been over already. I mean, this has been really, really back and forth. I'd love to know the score right now. Same. I, I wish they were typing it in chat. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. But we will we will find out. Let's see, maybe we can get the bracket updated. I think Dave is swapping to another class here. Let's Interesting. See he, Interesting. he may go for... I've seen him play uh, Glaive uh, before, and he's pretty Glaive, good with that. Glaive, huh? Interesting. No, but it looks like he's just swapped to get his shield. Ah, okay. Well, I, I I do hope he continues to use that shield. He'll be he'll be more advantaged with it. I know it. You know, once you lose the shield, you are stunned a little bit. But if you can time it right with the stamina as well as with its health, you can get a throw in for some free damage. Yep, absolutely. And it's one of the only uh, thrown objects that will stun on hit, which is a uh, very invaluable to have. That's actually a super good way to mix up and uh, stop somebody from doing something to fight. Absolutely. And as as we've seen from Captain Agatha, truly the people's hero, you can pick it up after it connects with your opponent. So you can just really Captain America throw that shield over and over again. All right, here we go. Next round beginning. So no, he's going to use the shield this time, which I'm yeah. glad he is. I am too, I am too. I think it was a mistake for him not to before. Mm -hmm. So Quasi, not going for every counter that he can smartly, is never going to be able to counter every sword attack. But yeah. just using those reposts to make sure he always has initiative safely. That is the way to go. Fainting, if Soder Dave gambled a bit more here, if he tried to steal the initiative, he would be landing some attacks against Quasi, as we just saw. As you just saw, exactly. A lot of counters here from Quasi. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised to see he's able to keep this up for so long. I find it very oh. difficult to oof, big kick from Dave, and he's going to get some very, very big, aggressive jabs and kicks in. But there's a shield that's gone. And, but but he didn't punish. exactly. There was no punish, and he still has his weapon. So overall, overall worth it. So Soda Dave going for more kicks, I think, is a mistake. If you've already landed one, it's going to be a lot harder to land another. But we'll see. What's Quasi's health at right now? I can imagine Quasi is low. probably quite low. Probably one stab from the sword can take Quasi out. We'll see. It'll be it, oh. close to it, if not. Oh, my oh, goodness. Punish Whoa. the jab. Oh, <laughs> okay. Here we go. This is anybody's fight here now. This anybody's fight close. indeed. Oh. oh, I think he's got it though. There wow. Excellent comeback from Quasi. Excellent Just holding challenge. the line, keeping his defense strong, and making sure that he took the right and safe move to disarm Dave. Absolutely, absolutely. I, you don't need to be doing anything too fancy against that one hand. If you can maintain that defense, that is all you need to do. 100%. So I guess the fight is still continuing. It must be close if it's not over yet. <laughs> I cannot imagine that this is anything but like 3-3-4-4. Three, three, four, four, something, something like extremely that. Extremely close. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, looks like he might have won. Yeah, so Quasi must have been victorious there. Congratulations, Quasi. That was, that was absolutely excellent. All right, I need to go ahead and hop into Ring B is what Chubb is telling me, so I will be back. All right, good luck to Beer Band. We will be following you for your fight, man, so uh, right. make it entertaining for all of us, eh? Sure, I'll try. <laughs> I, I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will pull it out. All right, everybody, let's... So It's Jub is the referee. That's where we will be having Beard Bandit's fight. I think he is fighting Cloud, too. Let's just take a quick look at the bracket before the fight begins. Yes, Cloud 2 versus Beard Bandit. And then if Beard Bandit wins, he'll be going up against Quasi. That will be a fight to behold indeed. All right, here we are. 
as they get loaded in here. Beard Bandit going out with the Double Dane loadout against the Longsword. So his opponent here, Cloud2, might have might have the advantage. The Longsword, we've said many times before, against a uh, against the Vanguard, you only need three light attacks to win here. It's a very fast weapon, and not even having to heavy to kill your opponent easily is a big advantage. But Beard Bandit getting right out the bat with a hit with the drag. That's excellent. The Dane Axe is also a very powerful weapon. It only needs one heavy overhead and one light overhead to kill a knight. So that's what we see Beard Bandit going for. And wow, excellent job. Just his opponent Cloud2 not countering nearly enough. Beard Bandit landing heavy attacks and getting that weapon uh, disabled from his opponent. That was perfect. An excellent move. Excellent move. Uh, the chat is telling me it's pronounced Cloud. You got it. So Beard Bandit versus Cloud. Let's go. A great, a exactly, Derp Config. Great commitment to the stamina drain. Here we go. So Beard Bandit is going to continue to do that. If Cloud has any chance here, he needs to start countering those Danax accelerations. They can be very difficult to do so. The Danax has some of the best accelerations in the game. It can come out so fast that it's nearly impossible to counter. Luckily, the Longsword is fast enough. He can but Cloud does have to take those risks. Beard Bandit's, of course, going to be trying to mix up drags here, trying to get around the parry window by Cloud. And Cloud is trying to do some initiative stealing here. There we go. Excellent work by Cloud, taking Beard's initiative away from him. Oh, and you see, you can see, you can see that they're both doing this combo feint pair and a crouch dodge from Cloud. A blink if you miss it moment. Excellent move by Cloud, but still. Beard going for the throw, not quite connecting. Now Beard only has one more weapon. If, if Cloud can maintain that stamina negation, Beard is at a huge disadvantage here. Oh, same side feint to the victory. Excellent work. Excellent work. Beard Bandit is a tough opponent. Cloud already doing some incredible moves. That crouch dodge was amazing. So glad we caught that on camera. We'll have to uh, we'll have to edit this video down, get that slowed down for a nice clip. That was really, really excellent. So Cloud switching to a blunt weapon, the Warhammer, not necessarily advised here. The Vanguard does not take any extra damage against Blunt. I don't know what he's thinking. He must just have more experience with the Warhammer, hoping its speed will be able to beat out uh, Beard Bandit's Dane Axes. But Beard Bandit's Dane Axes are strong. So we'll see. And he goes for the throw, connects. That is absolutely a ballistic missile. Cla <laughs> and gets the jab kill. That was actually a Dane Axe throw to the head. Poor, poor Cloud. Excellent work on Beard Bandit. He has, he has absolutely, absolutely been uh, practicing those throws to such a degree that he, he really, he's really, um, he's really become an expert in throwing. Uh, one, one of Beard Bandit's more unique skills. He really can just read and punish his opponent on their whiffs with a throw. And with this Dane Axe, I believe it does 150 damage on a, oh, on a uh, headshot throw. So the most powerful attack you can do in a single button press in this game. Um, at least at range like that. So <laughs> here we go. Cloud going in for the special. Clearly playing a bit more carefully here. Scared of Beard Bandit's excellent moves. And Cloud losing his preferred weapon right away. His stamina's already gone. How did that even happen? Uh, unfortunately, throwing your weapon does cost some stamina. It must have been that shield throw. He was just not prepared to take <laughs> to counter Beard's attacks. And Beard coming in with the faint drags. Wow. Excellent work by Beard Bandit. Good showing by Cloud so far. But he absolutely needs to work more on those counters. Beard is going to disarm him every time unless he gets those counters going yeah derp config that was a crazy fast disarm uh it must have been cloud not holding his block plus throwing that weapon or rather he was holding his block too long throwing that weapon and not countering enough weapon throws do cost stamina so it was a risky move um i i don't i, I also i see he switched back to the long sword that is that is what i would advise that is absolutely the better loadout for this matchup here so we'll see how this goes. All right, good luck, fighters. Yeah, special attack also costs stamina. That probably was it as well, yes. If that doesn't connect with flesh, that's going to be more stamina than it's worth. All right, here we go. Switching the longsword, getting some excellent counters in. Oh, and he just... Oh, my God! 
that double date axe 360 flip throw. That was incredible. Beard Bandit really putting on a show for everyone here tonight. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. He well, a double yeet indeed. That was amazing. That was amazing. Good yeah, look at him. He's pra he's he is clearly practiced this incredible 360 throw. Wow. Wow, I, I I have no words, but wow, amazing job by Beard Bandit. That that is hard for anyone to deal with, and Cloud trying to throw as well. But he he should have just stuck to the uh, to the flurry of stabs, to the faster attacks. That would have that would have worked against Beard Bandit, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, <laughs> god damn, that was that was truly an incredible moment by Beard Bandit. I I wish we had a uh, a rewind slow down feature here on stream. That would be excellent. <laughs> All right, one more. Cloud can pull it back. They're only four to zero from Beard to Cloud, but I believe in Cloud. He's got this. If he can just if he can just punish Beard on those throws, he can get he can get many hits in pretty easily. Yeah, replay system would be hype indeed, Luck Lucid. <laughs> hype indeed. All right, here we go. Oh, nope. He already won, I guess. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. Great fight by Beard and Cloud. Excellent work, guys. That was that was incredible. And and honestly, just a uh, excellent move. And what a way to end the fight, Beard Bandit, with that double Dane throw. God damn. All right, here we go. We're going to move on to Eagletron and Jack 2's fight here as we wait for right, Beard to Monty, come back. Beard, wow, everyone, I swear to God, everyone and their mother freaked out at that incredible, <laughs> incredible 360 flip fucking double Dane throw. My my God, man, truly, truly going to be a, probably my highlight moment from the tournament here today. I don't know I if we're going to see. Dane, man. I well, Not just the double Dane. Not just the, the double toss, Dane. Don't be so baby. modest. Not just the moss, the, the tossed beard bandit. You flipped in the air. You flipped in the air and tossed that Dane axe, man. That was oh, that man. was a move that will go down in the Hall of Fame of Chivalry 2. I swear. Thank I, you for the amp and Monty. Appreciate whoo, you, brother. Uh, beard Bandit, I have not seen anything quite like that. That was uh, amazing. And for it to be the last uh, fight of that round, of that match, that was just... Respect to Cloud, though. No, he put up a great fight, so no disrespect at all. We're just having fun. Truly, truly. And, you know, if he had just stuck with those longsword stabs, he would have punished you for that double throw. He did instead yeah. He instead tried to throw himself, which unfortunately was a mistake there. <laughs> respect for the, for the toss attempts, though. You of know? course. Yeah, if absolutely. anyone can respect it, I'm sure you can. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the throw, like, proponent, the main uh, advocator. <laughs> Seriously. Wow, like, good. I, am, that was, I cannot just... get over that. That was just amazing. <laughs> what oh, what an incredible win, buddy. Holy Who shit. Who are we going to be spectating now, my friend? Jack 2 and um, Eagletron for All right, who are you going to take? I'm friend? on Jack 2 at the moment. All right, so I'll we'll take, take Eagle Eagletron. Then. So we, we got some BE in chat representing. Good luck to both fighters. We'll see how it goes. Byzantine Empire. Mm -hmm. One of the larger and more active clans in the game. Some good mm -hmm. folks over there. We've had lots of good clan battles and uh, lots of good duel sessions with them. Absolutely. All right. Oh, and Jack, uh, uh, Eagle Tron. Oh, <laughs> damn. Wow. That was a uh, that devastating was acceleration. So Jack 2 trying to get these crouch uh, heavy stabs on Eagle Tron, but Eagle Tron just playing it safe, taking initiative when he has it, and not, not going too far for anything crazy, anything sort of out of the blue. And that, if your opponent is doing all of these wild moves, that will be the stronger playstyle. Absolutely, absolutely. So hopefully Jack 2 here can adapt to that fighting style, play a little more carefully, use those crazy moves as a mix-up. You know, don't don't rely on them for every attack you do. Make sure don't that they're want more that special. That's to be the norm. Exactly. You you don't want your opponent to expect it. You want those to be the unexpected attacks. You know, a, a good perspective I have uh, that I think would suit these fighters well is every counter and every repost is an attack. Don't think that your attack has to be a feint. Every time you do what may, you might consider a defensive action, that is an attack. Just follow through with that and try to just have those occasional mix-ups that will land. That's all you need. I absolutely agree. Sometimes those defensive actions can turn into offensive actions if they do the right the right input and your exactly. opponent makes a mistake. Exactly. Especially if your opponent is fond of gambling or stealing initiative. If all you're absolutely. doing is reposting, you will win really easily. 
<laughs> Jack to throwing his longsword. You know what, man? <laughs> you gotta send your shot. You miss 100 percent of the shots you don't take, right? I guess. Oh, but so. a quick little stab. I guess, but oh. now he's got nothing. So hit him with a hit him with a special. Oh, oh he's got throwing knives. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, man? <laughs> I like it. I like it. Not, not an optimal way to play, surely, but <laughs> <laughs> quite entertaining. Yeah, very good. Very good showing by Jack there. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent stuff from Jack there. I mean, you, <laughs> you know, I, I, uh, I, uh, I'm remiss to talk about my own matches, but uh, I mean, if you're unarmed, you're not always you're not always in a bad position. I mean, you you are in a bad position, but you can take it back. Like at the, at the end of one of our fights against Truth, I had a I had a I had been disarmed both my weapons, and then I yes. had been able to just back away to get a, an unarmed special to to interrupt him and then pick up my weapon again. Which, uh, which absolutely, fight. we everyone in chat was absolutely thrilled when we saw you come back from that uh, from that double disarm. That that, yeah. that is tough and an exciting That's a tough moment. Place sure, to be. exactly. I'm sure I'm sure your heart was pounding. <laughs> Dude, I was sweating big time. It's a swamp right now. Uh, I bet, I bet. This is a lot of pressure, and good on you, Beard Bandit, for maintaining the casting as well as, uh, as well as uh, fighting tonight. So let's see. It's I think we pleasure. might, I think we might be in a break right now. Um, let me, Possibly. yeah, let me double check the bracket here. What's going on? So let's switch to the bracket. Let's see who had just fought. We just watched. I believe we're going to losers one now. Losers right? one, I believe so. Um, so, uh, I, I are they in the server? That's he said. That's where they were happening. Yes. Yeah, so, yep. So Jack just lost. Okay. So we're okay. going to be having the first losers match. I guess that will be Gerber and Truth, Jack two and Rico, Steezy and Love Cannon, Cloud and Jip Jap believe so all right so we let's see let's i think they i think they might be taking a break here so let's decide on who we want to watch fight we saw true fight you um we saw jack and rico fight we saw steezy and love can and we, so hey we've all pretty much seen everyone fight i say we stick with uh uh what what Cody is telling me right now is the final fight before the break is Funk versus Fat Brat. So whenever they, I see Funk is on the field right now. I think Brat is probably getting prepped. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, I misread the bracket. Yep. Okay, Fat versus Weaponized Funk. All right, here we go. All right, I'll take Weaponized Funk if you want to take Fat Brat. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. We're through the hard part. Indeed, Garden Boat. Indeed. Great work, yo. Great work, done. He's in my chat. So I just want to thank once again the lead organizer of the Duel Masters of North America Garden Boat. He was the one that this is his brainchild. It was all a group effort, but he really was the driving force behind the event tonight. So everybody, thank Garden Boat. Make sure you send him a uh, thank you note on Discord at some point. Shout out to GB, man. You're the man. All right, so Weaponized Funk fighting Fat Pratt. Fat Pratt going here with a two-handed hammer. Excellent drag. So Blunt is the way to go. Um, yeah. They've sort of, they both only need three light attacks to win here. So taking Vanguard isn't too much of a disadvantage. And in this matchup, probably an advantage because of that stamina drain. That stamina the extra buff stamina. is quite big. Exactly. You know, extra 20 stamina can make or break a fight. That's enough to survive another couple uh, blocks and repost. You can already hear Weaponized Funk is low on stamina. So if Fat Pratt mm. just keeps up his defense, keeps up those flurry of attacks, doesn't faint as often, but focuses more on those accelerations, Weaponized yeah. Funk's uh, weapon will go down. Oh, oh but, but a low kick. kick. Oh, oh, and he was going to follow up with a special. Oh, oh double acceleration. Quick axles. Yeah. So, so what, what happened there? A blinker, you miss a moment. Fat Pratt actually hit the ground with that first acceleration, uh, speeding up his recovery. So he was able to attack from neutral and accelerate again before uh, Weaponized Funk could recover. So Absolutely. Weaponized Funk did have the time to block there, but I think he went for an attack instead, which unfortunately was the mistake. Yeah, um, yeah that, that was a good fight. That was a good fight. So it's something to keep in mind. If you do hit the terrain, uh, viewers, that will speed up your recovery. So 100%. Uh, crouching, looking down, always give that a shot if you think uh, you're going to whiff or if, uh, if you want to get out another attack really quickly. All right, so Weaponized Funk, right off the bat, doing lots of risky moves, expending a bunch of stamina, already low. You can start to hear her character, his character, who's a woman, run out of stamina. But an excellent double hit. That's got to be that's gotta be most of his health, isn't that right? Yeah, he's at a quarter right now. He's at where his regen would put him, but he's even lower now oh. because of the jab and an excellent stab. From was that, that was the Some same side stab, huh? Same, same side faint right there. 
believe so. Yeah, hard yeah, people, to read. Those 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 uh, long swords, same side, uh, you know, stab paints are, are are incredibly difficult to read sometimes. Indeed, indeed. Whew, well, excellent, excellent fight so far. Uh, that's that's one to one, I believe, um, by the two of them. I, I believe so. Yeah. Okay. We're, we'll we'll keep track. We'll try to. We'll try our best to do <laughs> yeah, as well. Yeah. Forgive us, chat. We gotta we'll do, do ourselves. <laughs> yeah. We're running the show here. Yeah, we're running the show. No time for math. <laughs> I don't know how to count past five. Yeah, it's goddamn right. There are only three <laughs> fingers on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. So, Weaponized Funk already doing lots of feints and heavies. If he doesn't watch his stamina, he's going to wow. run out again. Great hit. Great stab drag on Fat Pratt there. But he, if Fat Pratt just needs to watch his defense, and he could take this fight back really quickly. Absolutely. He's going for these drags. Fat, I guess Fat Pratt doesn't quite realize that Weaponized Funk's stamina is so low. All he yeah. needs to do is repost. Oh! An excellent, excellent Axel from Funk. I think you're correct, though, about what you're saying. I think... Uh, Fat Pratt is doing a lot of great drags, and while they're good drags, he needs to mix in the axles. And the two-handed hammer is so well suited to those axles that he's really, really missing out on uh, the effect that he could be having with those. Those stamina, is one, his stamina advantage, naturally from being a vanguard, but two, just the amount of pressure he can put on with those light attacks because it is much more difficult to counter an axle than it is to counter a drag. You can see a drag coming from a while away, but an axle, unless you're prepared for it and you have a little bit of foresight, there's really no way to counter them. I completely agree. And, uh, you know, perhaps if you're not too experienced with a weapon, you don't realize those accelerations are so fast, but he really is relying too much. Well, there we go. Excellent. Well, there's the axle. Yeah. Excellent repost acceleration. Not. Oh, oh another. No. Wow. Oh, man. Here we here go. Comes a special. He's going to drain his stamina quite yeah, hard. Yeah, Fat Pratt is a big disadvantage here. Weaponized Function just keep up a flurry of attacks as quickly as he can. Get that stamina mm -hmm. down, and Fat Pratt is dead here. Oh, oh excellent but an excellent drag, drag lands. Oh! And an Excel! Wow. Wow. Kind of gambles that last hit there and is to get punished for it. Wow. Excellent. Excellent drag. Excellent Axel. That was incredible. That right there is a is a tried and true artificial combo, just like we were talking about before. You throw out Ooh. a drag, then you immediately follow it up with an acceleration. That will throw off many players. Mm -hmm. Excellent work. Excellent fight. Uh, so far, so that's two for two, isn't that right? <laughs> I, I already lost it is count. Even, yeah, <laughs> even. We've, already, we've already forgotten. <laughs> yeah, we've already forgotten. I believe it's two to two. <laughs> I think it's. I think chat should be should be counting. It yeah, I don't count know for us, chat, chat. Please let us know. Fault, <laughs> yeah, come on, we have to. We're keeping an entertaining show for you. We can't count. Yeah. Oh wow! Oh, wow. That what was a, a drag. Wow. Drag that's acceleration. The, that's the mix up you want. Yep, exactly. Beautiful, beautiful example right there. But also that first drag, that was a that was a drag around the world, 100%. Yeah, absolutely, wow. So right there, you see, even though Weaponized Funk attacked pretty much immediately, oh, another one of those just round the world drags. So and even now though, these drags are coming in. Yeah, well, finally, finally. So uh, even though Weaponized Funk attacked at the same time that kick came out, Fat Pratt had enough time to get a block in. But uh, that's still going to be, in, an, in everything being equal, a disadvantaged state for the kicker. Because the kicker just expended stamina and gave his opponent the opportunity to gain stamina by attacking. Um, so uh, kicks are, are risky, but we've already seen a few land here. So it is a risk you want to take sometimes. Sometimes you need to get that in for the mix-up. Even if a kick you know isn't going to land, sometimes you can throw it into a combo and then quickly block after to make sure you're not punished for it if they're not expecting it. Like, I, I seem to... Uh, Land a lot of uh, jab to kick combos. That artificial combo seems to work pretty well. Oh, it's so solid. If people get jabbed, it just totally throws off their momentum, and they just want to block so they don't get hit again, even though they've only taken just a little bit of damage. So that's a big mistake a lot of players make. Wow! Wow! wow. A jump. Not even a dodge. He comes back with a like jump. A, yeah. <laughs> he jumps over the swing and then comes back over his back like an anime character and slashes him down. Absolutely. Honestly. That was a samurai move right there. Well, all we need is katana <laughs> skin and then boom. <laughs> It'll be perfect, honestly. Wow! Oh, taking out the roses for his felled opponent. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All the love in the air. It's beautiful. Yeah. Open eyes, love. Weaponized love. Great work by Weaponized Funk there. That was a really great move. So, chat, what's the score here? <laughs> <laughs> you guys have been keeping track. Yeah, of come on, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Oh, Weaponized Funk trying to do one of those Cinemorph drags. He's yeah, clearly been practicing. It's one of those drags that, like, it looks almost like an overhead the way that they drag it above. Indeed. Oh, and there we go. Another. Wow. wow. Like, it's a quick flurry of attacks. Just three attacks all landed right in front of each other, and that is how devastating that 2H hammer can be. Truly an equalizer of the classes here. 
So now we are four Pratt, three Funk, I believe. Four Cody? Pratt, three Funk. Is that right? Co Cody said three, three, and then I think Pratt just went, took a round. So I believe it's four, three in favor of Pratt. All right, four, three in favor of Pratt. Weaponized Funk's going to have to pull it out here. Play a bit more carefully. All right, here we go. <laughs> Great job by the refs here tonight. Yeah, excellent job. So glad we have that unlimited timer. We're not having to reset every time like uh, I was doing with my tournaments, man. That was a pain in the ass. 100%. <laughs> so Big shout out to Thank you again, to TBS, yeah. for, for helping us out with this tournament. It's really, really uh, indicative of you guys, you know, caring about the duels community. And that's that's all we want. So we really, really appreciate that. Oh, again, another with the drag acceleration combo. That's been getting weaponized funk uh, pretty much every round so far here. Oh, and the gamble. An, a, a initiative steal by that accelerated horizontal beautiful move so fat prats mm -hmm. hey, there we go wow and we now we are up. match point four holy four. shit four this to is a four very close match i was not expecting this to be so close not that i was expecting anybody in particular to take it but man it's been tooth and nail back and forth every round so who do you, who do you have all your fights. money on here uh you know i would have said weaponized funk i don't know fat prat too well but he has been pulling it out here today that it's right. i think it's anyone's game honestly i, I was fighting I, I a little bit confident. earlier and man, those drags that he has at the two-handed hammer are excellent. It I, is I, I, as we said, I call them around the world drags that he really 100%. did. <laughs> yeah. like really, a trotter. yeah, exactly. Really dragged it as far as possible, as far as that weapon will allow, and still connecting. A difficult mm -hmm. maneuver. Even even Cinemorph sometimes misses when fighting against me. And look at that, still still connecting with those drags. Really, yeah. really great. Really, really control. excellent. But. Funk able to keep his defense up. I mean, they're both uh, they're both being uh, having some solid defense here. Yeah, but his stamina is very low. You can already hear his character uh, panting. Oh, but a nice little toe stab there. <laughs> probably less damage. I think that's probably going to do 35 damage. So not too much against Fat Pratt. Gonna do. Oh, gonna have to do a bit more. Whoops. Another toe drag there. I think that's gonna oh, be it. Yeah. The drag to end the fight. Wow. Yeah, I saw that one happening. He wow. missed that drag, and then that was enough for Weaponized Funk to take advantage of that and uh, exploit his opponent's recovery phase there. Excellent, Excellent. job, both fighters. I mean, what an amazing fight. So, uh, Excellent fight. Shouts out to both of them. Oh, God, I hope I hope we see a lot more fights like that. Five to four. That is the only way it should be in the tournament tonight. Absolutely. So now we are at a break. Uh, Cody informs me we're going to be on break time. How long is this break going to be lasting, Cody, so we can tell the viewers at home? Absolutely. Let's check out everyone's excellent customization while we wait. We'll just Yo, gonna... Yeah, we got to get a lineup here. Yeah. Of really, really, really nice customization for everybody. Some sexy customization for everyone on display. <laughs> wow. Somebody's Truly getting incredible. Down. Yeah. Oh, man. Getting Look at all this it. fancy armors, fancy weapons. Wow. Look at that. Just gorgeous, everybody. Everyone really bringing out their drip for the day. Yeah, yeah Critic's let's... got one of my favorite uh, loadouts. He's had this for a while. I, had, I ended up having to steal mostly the same loadout as him. I picked a different Herald but man. That, that uh, Agatha, like, Lion's Head Knight skin, I think, is super underrated. People were using the full plate for the first, like, months of release, and now everybody's like, okay, wait, well, that skin's actually kind of clean. The shoulders, <laughs> yeah. the shoulders Oh, are look gorgeous. how good they look. Those lion, those golden lions on the pauldrons. Absolutely. Absolutely great. Absolutely. Well, hey, I am going to just take a quick bathroom break myself. We'll be back in no more than a minute. Alrighty. Uh, Beard Bandit will take care of everyone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll make sure everybody's good. I'm babysitting. Don't worry about it. Hope everybody in the chat's doing well. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. Uh, man, this has been a, such an, a blast to cast if I can uh, afford myself a little bit of rhyming there. So. <laughs> It's been an awesome event so far. So many good performances from so many so so fantastic uh, of a lineup of fighters that we have here. So I mean, man, it, it's been amazing. I want to I want to go ahead and get a little zoom in in here of uh, Swag Mountains, one of our uh, earliest players, one of my most uh, uh, enjoyed fighting against rivals, a, a great longsword player, uh, getting his uh, warm ups in on the uh, <laughs> the tackles here. <laughs> it's been great. A lot of people like that plated knight skin. What do you guys think in the chat here? Can we get a uh, number one for the full plate knight uh, over the number two for the lion's head, uh, the lion's head knight? What do we, what do we think um, is the better option in chat here? Lion's head knight versus what is that beard bandit? The full plate knight. At number oh one. gosh. Well, personally, I am a painted dreadnought fan, but I think that lion's is, head knight is the way to go between those yeah, two. For sure. 
that painted dread you know it's not as pretty as the golden one but you just get a few you get a bit more customization a bit more options yeah, it's a little bit more personalized absolutely yeah. and uh swag is summarily executed for his crimes against the uh, sandbag target <laughs> indeed my chat is also going with lion's head knight it seems excellent guy Ex excellent taste uh, everyone a decent spread here a lot of people still like the full plate knight full plate knight huh well, he looks good. Yeah. Hey, look I at this. To... Do you know how yeah. War Beast is? How are they crossing their arms? Is that just an idol animation? I've never seen that before. Crossing their arms. It yeah, looks you like see he's this? Just holding his fist up for me. To me like on my screen. Arm. To me on my screen, they're actually just like crossing their arms in a in a chill, calm, uh, waiting position. Oh, now he is. Now yeah, he is. He's in the second. You said it. What is this? I've never seen this before. I have never seen that idol animation before. <laughs> so good. That's really interesting. Wow. Very cool. We're that, all that, learning something new. Yeah. Hey, even even the most experienced players of this game always got something new to learn every day. That's so true. So true. <laughs> Checking out so, uh, some of this drip. I see that a lot of the uh, all the mods and all the refs have taken the uh, referee uniform. Excellent job, yeah. everyone. Uh, most of them have been taking. Uh, Archer with the checkered white and black, and then a couple of them I remember seeing having the uh, the arm or, or the, the light shield on the arm holster kind mm -hmm. of deal. But that is perfect. Uh, I love that. That light shield on the arm looks so good. That is just that is such a that is a great little uniform right there. <laughs> Absolutely. Hello. Hey, Hello. Garden Bow. Great fight so far, huh? What a I night. know it's been amazing to watch. It's been amazing, um, amazing. We are taking a short break right now, and we're about to reconvene and start, um, I would say, Winner's Round 2, but we already actually have two of the matches of Winner's Round 2 done due to some uh, snafu in the scheduling. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to be going and finishing up Winner's Round 2 in just a second. Uh, it looks like our first matches are going to be Quasi versus Solder Dave. Adrian versus Cody now. You mean Quasi versus Beard? Oh, oh, oh that's right. Well, that, one, that was one of the ones that was played. Right? I believe. Right. Oh, so that, that one's done. I see. So Adrian, Cody, yeah. no. Gotcha. So Adrian, Cody, no. It corrupted. Cryptic, Steezy, and Sidamort, Kion's better. I believe will be the first four matches that we'll watch. I All right. See. How long is this break going to be so we can let the viewers at home know? Uh, probably only another two, three minutes. All righty. Okay, cool. everyone, we'll make sure you get your snacks. Guys. Yeah, get your snacks in, get your PB break, get all you got to get done now. <laughs> uh, pe people in my chat were lamenting that I didn't have a bottle for the uh, stream today. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you even a gamer? Uh, no, I mean, apparently really, yeah. I'm not a gamer, Beard Bandit. I don't game, yeah. <laughs> uh, <amazing. laughs> Woo. Unreasonable. Indeed, <laughs> indeed. Thanks for that I'll, update, uh, GB. Yeah, no problem. I'll hop back in in a little bit, let you know when we're starting rolling. Absolutely. Obvious. All right. Thank yeah, you. I get, yeah, thank you, Garden Boat. Thank yeah, you. No problem. Appreciate All right, so it. let's let's talk predictions, Beard Bandit. Of course, we're impartial here, but uh, let's let's course, see who we who we think just from our experience has the best has the best advantage. So Adrian versus Cody. No, that is an interesting matchup. Yeah, I I, I think um, I mean if we're going just for straight up like who's gonna win, I have a feeling it's gonna be Adrian. I mean he's just one of the one of the absolutely best players in the game. He's one of he's one of the uh, players that I've seen from the beginning of the game uh, really really improve more than anybody else that I've seen. And he's just so excellent. He has a really really great great sword play. But you can't count Cody out though. I mean he's I agree. also been improving quite a bit. So if I were to if I had to put money down, I would say Adrian. But I you know you know you, you can't you can never say never. And I think that Cody might be able to pull something out here that might make put adrian on his toes i'm actually going to go with cody no i think of course adrian one of the strongest fighters in the game for a long time after release on on the top top three with beard bandit at, or with a uh, god king absolutely uh but cody no he has gotten really good really good if he's playing at his best if he has got that solid defense he's also got those drags that i know adrian can fall for so mm -hmm. I, th I think it's going to be an interesting fight. We will see. We will see. Either way, I think it's going to be a great fight to watch. So I'm excited for that one. Of and then course. out of uh, Ick and Eruption, who do you think is going to take the cake there? You know, I haven't fought Eruption too much, but uh, from what I've seen, he's actually been he he did really well in that first fight. Um, I was <laughs> yeah. I was pretty surprised. Was that it was close to a five to zero? Isn't that right? I believe yeah. He won four to one. Four to one, right? I think it should be five to one, but yes, essentially five to one, right? Of course, yes. Uh, yeah, and you know, Ick, very strong fighter. Unfortunately, doesn't have the best ping in Central. He's a Western yeah, player. I, I feel so bad for those Western players. It's really unfortunate. They, I, I, I live in New York City, right? 
I play on East servers, I get two ping, one ping. I don't get any ping at all because I'm right <laughs> next to the server. I play central, I still get like 8, 10 ping. Dang. West guys, they're always <laughs> at 50 plus ping. And unfortunately, in a game like this, ping matters and really badly. And it honestly, in some situations, it feels honestly worse to fight a, uh, somebody with over 50 ping when you don't have a ping disadvantage. Sometimes it feels like the counter window is a little bit tighter for you and you have to be a little bit more on your toes because things will slip by that you would normally would not have thought would slip by because of the ping difference. So. You ha you, if, if you have a high ping, you have to counter perfectly. You, you have no leeway. You have no extra time to throw that counter out. You have to throw it out not only at the last second, so you're watching for those feints or heavies or drags, but you also have to uh, you also have to actually input it earlier than you would have to if you had a lower ping, unfortunately. Absolutely. Um, I think it kind of works both ways as well, though. The person who's on the on the who's got normal ping on the receiving end of somebody on higher ping has sometimes I, I've noticed this myself. I don't know if you've noticed this yourself, Monty, but I noticed it's a little bit more difficult sometimes to fight pair with players with higher ping. So I I've, I fought a, with a little bit of high ping uh, occasionally, and it seems that my attack, my drags seem to last a bit longer because they are they're visually being input sooner, but the actual attack is coming out later, at least from my perspective. Um, What's going on, GB? We are hey, about GB. to go ahead and start. I know the break was a little short, but uh, we're just going to try to move right along. All right, wonderful. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and spectate Cody, No, and Adrian. So thank you for the heads up. All right, awesome stuff. All right, here we go. We've Cody also got Steezy and Cryptic here on the side. Another I know, I, I know. That... I, I wish that we could watch it as well. Me honestly. too. I, I wish we could be in both places at the same time. But, you know, we've already been here for an hour and a half, and we're not quite through the tournament yet. So no, <laughs> we indeed. Gotta get this going. Of course, indeed, indeed. So uh, we'll, we'll try to pick the matches that we think will be the most exciting. Um, but uh, we'll be floating around as, as it comes around. And that's not to say that the other matches are unexciting. It's just that we have to make a choice. Right. Unfortunately, you have you have four. You have to choose one. It's just the best. It's the best. Uh, the best of the worst decisions, right? What are you gonna do? What are you going to do? So We're just I, waiting on Adrian. It looks like here. I see is Cody he now already late? prepped ready to go using his classic night uh, Messer loadout, rocking a, what I believe is an axe on his hip there. What do you think about the axe, Monty? Yeah, I think that's probably one of the strongest one-handed weapons oh. next to the sword. Oh, you, you've you done some nasty things with that damn axe. When you were taking <laughs> just any axe with you, you you really have those axes down, Beard Bandit. I remember one day in a dual yard, you brought a, a fucking hatchet as an archer, and you beat me like four <laughs> times in a row with that loadout. <laughs> Dude, those things, you never underestimate the archer who's in duels, man, because that, if they know, like, if they're doing that intentionally, yeah. they're doing it for a reason something's wrong like they're, they know what they're about to do and I, you know i think it's kind of fun and i wish more people would do this. I, this the reason i play archer in duels is because i have uh the champion scout loadout and i think it looks real drippy i think it's real real nice looking oh, it looks the so other thing good. you is, earned it too yeah you earned <laughs> it it took me so long but <laughs> the other reason that's just just a uh, hell of archers and to but um what i was going to say is is that it, it, it makes you play perfectly. If you are playing a melee archer, you're running skirmisher, right? Mm -hmm. And you're running axe and light shield. If you take one hit from a heavy overhead on a great sword, you're dead. <laughs> you take two hits from like any normal weapon, even a long sword, you're dead. You don't have any health. You have 90 health and 50 stamina. So the yeah, second you the don't counter, well. exactly. the second you don't, the second you don't block a hit and you get hit. You are dead. So if you see somebody who's rocking the archer drip and he's he's murking people, like he is playing at a, at, a, at another level of, of 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 play. It has to be. All right. Otherwise looks like Adrian's finally here. So I'll I'll take over Cody Nose perspective if you take Adrian's. Sure. Sure. Absolutely. Go. First round of the fight. First so fight. Adrian going with that two-handed hammer. Uh, good choice against the knight here. Obviously. Yeah. A great equalizer here. So you know I think Adrian at the moment is going to be advantaged even just because of that. As we said before, that stamina advantage is going to going to do wonders. Absolutely. And Adrian yeah, going a quick with... axle right off the rip too. I mean. Yep. Got got Cody No with that damage. So Cody No's really gotta gotta pull it out here. Oh, oh an excellent, excellent drag. Cody's gotta be super low now. He whips, but he's able to recover. Yeah, one light hit on Cody No is gonna take him out. So he's gotta play very defensively. But he's also gotta start doing some damage here, or uh, or Adrian's uh, just gonna uh, Adrian just... kinda just feeding attacks here though. And uh Cody's gonna try and regenerate and get some count some uh, counters in to regenerate stamina here. I think he's kind of back at a neutral point here. Oh Adrian hits the floor. Missed the drag yeah, he hit the floor there, I thought. Excellent. 
Oh, yep. So that was. See how he, oh, whoa. Oh. Wow. Well, Axel to drag, you know, just the opposite of that combo we were talking about. But just mixing up the speeds of your attack like that. Excellent 100%. job by Adrian. Excellent stuff there. I mean, Adrian's very good at that. He's a, well, you know, very, very experienced player. So he knows how to make his moves count where they need to. Yeah, 100%. 100%. That two-handed hammer is dangerous. <laughs> it, you know, it, 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 with Cody's regeneration, he was able to take an extra light hit. So he's just got to be very careful there. If he can keep that defense strong enough for long enough, he'll be able to. Uh, he'll be able to pull it out a little bit. Absolutely. Right. I wonder if he's ever going to rip that Dane axe out and try and give a toss or two. I don't think Adrian's particularly known for tossing his weapons, but I wonder if he's going to try and pick that, considering he has it on his back there. Dane Axe is an interesting choice. I know he's been practicing with the Messer a lot, but Dane and uh, Dane and Two-Handed Hammer, I have not seen that too much. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, oh, oh great Axel from Adrian. He's, he's not even lost any health. I know. Yeah, it was a perfect match on Adrian's part. Cleaning up the battlefield. Good job, Adrian. He's uh, <laughs> he's doing a good job keeping the streets clean. <laughs> indeed, indeed. No littering in here. <laughs> All right, so that's two to zero, Adrian. Here we go. Correct. All right. And uh, wow, Cody misses a quick stab, but I think they both did. Cody, Cody, going for these risky moves. He's fainting a lot, a jumping even, but no, that doesn't cost stamina. Right. A a Cody, I think, is going for a desperate hit, but he really needs to focus a bit more on his defense here. He's got to make sure he maintains that stamina against this larger weapon. Okay, well, I guess this, uh, I guess this Vanguard advantage here. That, I, I mean, uh, what, almost what thought that 360 would have yeah. would have hit, but he, I think he just missed the end of the the damage phase there. He doesn't need to do those 360s, but I guess he's trying to do a bit of a, a bit of a champion's flourish here. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh! Oh! oh if Cody had just heavy. followed through with a regular attack, that would have landed. They both fainted, so. and Adrian was able to accelerate. I don't. Was that a heavy at the end? It was a heavy at the mm -hmm. end. Yeah, I heard. Mm -hmm. I heard Adrian grunting, and that delay was quite quite enough to, to take uh, Cody out there. Take Cody out. So that's three to zero. Cody's got two more chances here to to pull it back. Right. Let's see if Cody can uh, pull that dark horse moment here and uh, do his best to bring this back. I think so he he's switched a to longsword. Yeah, he yeah, might no. he might be choking up. Adrian is a strong opponent. It can you know if you if you fear exactly if you fear your opponent, you're not going to play at your best. You got to remember mm -hmm. that they bleed, right? And if they bleed, yeah. they can die. Precisely. Everybody is killable. So Even he switched the best to the players in the game can die. You know? And they will. They will. Uh, they Cody, Cody switching to the longsword. Interesting move. He's going to do less stamina negation. Oh! oh <laughs> Brutal. I mean, I, that's one of the things I love about this game is just the brutality. I mean, you saw that <laughs> heavy attack. It lands, and it felt like you got hit by a freight truck. You know oh, I mean? and the blood spatter as as the as the blunt connects with that armor. And just the sickening beautiful. crunch of metal as the guy falls down. I mean, it is excellent. So here we are, Adrian 4-0, and I don't even think Adrian's taken a hit in the last three fights. Oh, I don't think so either. I don't think so either. Uh, look, I, you know, I, I do believe in Cody. I think he can pull it around. He's going to have to really try hard here. I'd really like to see Cody at least take a round. Mm. That would be nice. Let's see. Let's see. Got to gotta utilize that long sword stab more. It can be very difficult to read, and it does a ton of damage, especially against the Vanguard here. Absolutely. All right, so Cody already losing the stamina fight. If if he doesn't start countering a bit more, he is going to be disarmed. Oh, oh but a quick very overhead. good. Yeah, so I, I think Adrian there was trying to steal Cody's initiative, but Cody just reposted and was able to land a hit. So if he focuses and on that defense more, oh, oh, bummer. An opportunity that, for both of them to get a hit there. Yeah, and they both just had a range. Oh, wow, he catches him in the air with a special. Wow. Excellent. Wow, what what a special drag, I guess. That was excellent. You don't you do not the see tracking. that too often. Yeah, I mean, yes, the exactly. Tracking on a special is <laughs> in, in, in incredibly <laughs> difficult. So props to Adrian there. Oh, oh my god. Wow, wow. another drag oh. around the world. All right, that's oh. 5 to 0 to Adrian. Congratulations, wow. Adrian. <laughs> excellent drag from Adrian. Good, a good effort from Cody. I think he's going to take this loss in stride and try his best to improve for the next time we're not going to see the end of him no he's still in the losers bracket isn't that right he's got exactly he's got another so. opportunity to come back and win in the finals i i exactly. i wouldn't uh i wouldn't uh, uh give up hope on C cody no quite yet i think he's gonna can't count him out yeah count exactly him out. i think we're gonna see some excellent fights here would you like to go to cryptic and steezy yeah, these guys are still going at it, and I mean, this looks like it's already shaping up to be quite a fight. Steezy quite low, Cryptic slashing out with the Messer here. 
And uh, Steezy using the mace to try and uh, get some quick hits in. That's a, like that's a good matchup, a but oh, he's got no weapon. Oh! 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 <laughs> the selection here. I, I, yeah. I, I think the selection here is kind of, I'm sorry. Uh, the selection here is kind of good for Steezy. Uh, I saw he had the mace, and then the second he pulled out his other weapon, it was a Morning Star. So against the yeah, knight, he's, he's smart. got functionally the same weapon, and that's going to be a real, real good idea, idea for him to run those. Uh, I, he, 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 and he had to submit that before this tournament started, so he he knew he was going to be fighting knights this time. He must have he must have a sword loadout and then a I, I, blunt you know, loadout. I've been seeing a lot of Steezy playing, uh, you know, footman, men at arms, and I would not be surprised if his second loadout was sword. sword. Was <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. He probably is short sword, sword, mace, grand mace. So I guess that I mean, was Cryptic's win. Yeah. Okay. I believe they won here, yeah. All right, so let's head on over to Swag Mountains and Sidomark. Another excellent oh, fight. Oh, wow, man. Yeah. All these great fights in this. Oh, look at the 360! Oh, He's so God great. Damn, man, watching these two fight is like a beautiful, graceful dance. It's just great. Swag Mountain, I, excellent defense, great accelerations, and the Sidomore kind of the opposite. I mean, he's got a great defense, but he focuses on those wild drags. So, yeah, an he's, interesting he's focusing matchup. on being a, uh, oh, an offensive that was specialist. That acceleration right there. Damn. Oh, wow, man. Yeah. Excellent, excellent job. Clearly, I mean, clearly yeah. mixing up his attacks well. Yeah, Swag is one of the only longsword players that I like. <laughs> and I say that as a, as a known longsword hater. But man, he knows he's been using that thing since the beta. I've been fighting him for a, quite a long time, and he is still an excellent, excellent fighter. He's consistent. A long time I guess in the beta, that we would go into dual servers, and they would be completely full with him at like twenty kills and no deaths. <laughs> yeah, there was there was a certain point where when I was fighting him, he'd make me take out the longsword just to be able to keep up with those attacks. Yeah. <laughs> he's a tough, tough opponent. But I guess that was Sidomork's win, so excellent work on Sidomork's part here. Just catching the ends of these duels, but man, I wish we could have caught those fights. I mean, it must, it must have been a great back and forth from those two guys. I totally I'm agree. I'm not sure who we're gonna have I to... think it must have been Sidomork's win there, right? We're gonna have, yeah, Sidomork's, Sidomork's win. We're gonna have some excellent fights next round. So we've got Ziglada and not Wildcard Mask. I don't think he's... Playing. I believe somebody said that his computer got bricked or he's having some kind of What, uh, what the, the absolute worst time for it. So I think it's Daedalus. Yeah. yeah. So let's, let, why don't we watch that fight? I'll take Daedalus if you want to take Ziggy Lotto. All right. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take Ziggy here. Ziggy known for his range play. He's sticking with the great sword. He's been talking to me a while about wanting to use this weapon to turn sure. and make it work. And it's a, you know, what people would describe as an A tier weapon. But I think it's definitely a weapon that can be better and oh the I, right I think player. it's one of the strongest weapons i and th this Absolutely. is why i don't like i don't like tiering weapons because it's really I, all about yeah. whose hands are on that hilt right exactly if, exactly if you and can make it work you can make it work 100 and the, and one of the one of the, the driving points of this weapon is its incredible range and incredible damage so it has the highest uh as far as i'm aware stamina damage because it has the highest base damage of any weapon right yeah and it also exactly. has it also has incredible range, and uh, Ziggy Lotta, very, very well known for using his range, as he does right there. Uh, twice just, in a row. Just zone his opponent and keep him at bay while getting two strikes in. I mean, excellent Oh, show and, and then a the crouch the overhead that, acceleration. So. And that, that's what I'm talking about with the greatsword. It has one of the fastest attacks just because of that crouch overhead acceleration. So if you're willing to take that stamina risk, then you can get out and attack as fast as any other weapon. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, so, and you know, uh, Daedalus not at quite as well known as Ziggy Lotta, of course, but he's also a very skilled space spacing user, though unfortunately yeah. he's got the shorter range weapon. He's not going to be able to do that. I, I hope he has a second loadout here if he's yeah, going to decide to compete at range. As much as I like the battle axe, I do not think this is a good matchup. Uh, the I don't axe think so damage is, 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 you know, the good thing about axes is that they're kind of good at everything, right? You can use them against any opponent. If you're fighting a knight or a footman, but why? It's way better. Right, right, right. You don't need to be using this against the vanguard. Take axe, a, a messer. A messer will do the same amount of damage, right? And so and it can give you much better range and better, better stamina speed. negation. Excellent better acceleration speed. right off the bat right there. Getting a solid. Yeah, but see, if he had a longer range weapon, he would have hit. Exactly. <laughs> I was about to say, if he would have just had a longer weapon, he would have nailed that uh that range play there and, and he's good at range punish. play data it's one of data strengths here so i i hope wow whoa no, what the an rainbow excellent drag. drag holy crap excellent work on data part here wow i didn't see that coming that was excellent yeah i do hope he considers i do hope he considers taking a longer range weapon if he can make this battle act work against a great greatsword then hey more power to him that's just not yeah. that is not the matchup i would take if i was in this position absolutely it's not like the matchup is impossible right he can certainly still make it work however your weapon selection in this game is and, and class selection in this game is extremely important so totally. kind of willfully ignoring that is 
providing you a disadvantage for not really a good reason. Uh, maybe just because of a preference, or perhaps... Yeah. Oh, and a special! Wow. Using spacing to a special. Excellent move by Ziggy Lot here. Daedalus yeah, is trying got, to keep up. He's well known for using those specials in the oh, but, but he ran out of stamina! Time. He wasn't countering oh, anything! Wow. wow! Oh, if Daedalus had just followed up... Oh, and he oh. missed the throw! <laughs> that could have been it! That could have been it! Oh my god! Oh. And he gets the Glanza kick! <laughs> Oh, wow. wow! Unbelievable. Oh. The hype is real. I mean, what a oh. fight, man. Back oh and forth. Some God. of the best fighters in the game going on right here. <laughs> Some extremely crazy plays. Oh, boy. God damn, Daedalus. Wow, excellent, excellent moves. Wow. Daedalus coming in with some really, really strong battle axe drags, and I'm, I, I keep saying it over and over again. Daedalus has some of the best drags in the game. I think he's absolutely one of the best draggers in this game. He's playing in first person now, actually. I don't know if Which is this. extremely impressive. I, so this, impressive. So imagine, impressive. I used to play in first person when I played Chivalry 1 and, and Mordhau and all those things, but like, it, just, it doesn't really make sense in this game. What an overhead. What? What? That was a that was a gamble. He stole Ziggy Lotta's initiative there with an accelerated overhead. That was an incredible move by Daedalus. Battle axe on a weapons. battle axe. On a battle axe. <laughs> he gets... Again, he attacked into the special, but he oh lost his God. weapon. Ziggler's got a chance here. Oh, what a jab, jab. count! Oh, oh man, man. that's so tragic for Ziggy. Man, oh. he almost had it. I mean, these, yeah. these matches are ridiculously back and forth. <laughs> Seriously, the jab had him doing a, a backflip. Like, he literally <laughs> backflips. One of the best parts of this game is that, of course, we're all here to compete. We're all sweaty. We're having a great time. But then you jab, and then your body goes flying five feet. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Right. One of the best things is getting a kick kill and watching the dude soar across the field. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> fucking Captain America, him across the map, 100. percent 100. Absolutely, I think Ziggy's getting a little bit, a little bit nervous here. Maybe choking up he, against Daedalus' battle axe. Yeah, yeah, it's an unorthodox pick, and I think he's feeling that. But I think he needs to stay with his fundamentals and stick to the game plan that he had for himself. I'm sure, which was to use his range of his great sword. You see him kind of face hugging right now, yeah, allowing himself I, to I be in the range of the battle axe, and then, and then he falls kicked. for a kick. Yeah, ex you're totally right. I think he must be choking up here because that range is his advantage. Excellent, excellent drag on Ziggy Lotus' part, Daedalus going of course for that counter but uh ziggy lot of there we go finally maintaining some good distance there. Oh, wait oh. disarms him i think that's could be it ah, nice yep. and there we go excellent excellent excellent, excellent work from ziggy pulling it back i think he's got to find his footing here if he finds his footing here and keeps to his game plan this could be his fight but you can't count out daedalus these guys are excellent fighters honestly honestly i mean they, these fights you you think that no one's gonna get hit and then all of a sudden the opponent's dead just and out of it. nowhere yeah I, I don't know if anyone's been keeping track is are they tied two to uh, two it's three two is three as two far daedalus as three two daedalus yes okay. gotcha gotcha right. good luck to see if, if ziggy can uh tie this back up make this an even fight indeed indeed we'll see he's got to just maintain that distance daedalus yeah, also using spacing but he's gonna kind of preemptively use a special. Daedalus isn't gonna get beated into it. No, it's clearly he's Daedalus is ready for it. But oh, oh, an wow, excellent good dodge! Yeah, yeah, holy shit! I thought I honestly thought Daedalus's goose was cooked right there, but not I so. I absolutely thought he was gonna get hit, but he yeah. has some good footwork. Is able to dodge, and he's gonna go ahead and get punished now. There, he yeah. attacks from way too far away. Ziggy realizes this and is able to punish him. And Daedalus Another is hit. used to using longer range weapons. I think that's where this fighting style is coming from. So I don't know oh. why he's sticking with Bedox, but excellent work so far. Pick up the battle axe. Oh, Oof. there it is. A quick axle again, showing the speed of the great sword. I mean, you can't. You can't uh, deny that it is just a really quick weapon when you know how to axel. I mean, and, totally. You know, shown shown beautifully there. Totally. Uh, yeah. D don't let anyone ever tell you anyone in chat that greatsword isn't a good weapon. It's absolutely one of the strongest weapons in the game. That stamina negation, the drag capability, and of, of course, as we just saw, these incredible accelerations you can pull off with that weapon. So we're tied three to three. Daedalus once three again. Three. He's got He's got to really uh, be careful of that range. He he. Yeah. Was, I've I've never seen him use battle axe. This is an interesting choice. I've, I've seen him use it a couple times. However, I don't think this is the selection. That, you know, we've talked about this already, but I don't think this is the correct selection for the matchup he's got right now. But he's sticking Ziggy with can it. just tee away from super far away. And, and as, uh, as he's doing now, he's 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 yeah. definitely le learning here. He's adapting to his uh, opponent's fighting style. But he is wasting a ton of stamina. If Daedalus can just take advantage of that again, he can probably knock Ziggy Lada's weapon out of his, ha out of his hand. I'm not seeing a ton of counters. True. Excellent Ooh. drag. Excellent drag around Daedalus's parry window. They're both going for these long-ass drags. 
Yeah. <laughs> I think I think Daedalus here should be wow, wow. excellent. So that's four to the three. Excellent stamina point. negation on, on on that weapon. I mean, the, the thing is, is Knight has eighty stamina to, right, right off the start. Mm -hmm. Ziggy's got a hundred, and he's using a weapon that has a massive, a massive amount of stamina damage. Yeah. So, so Daedalus really quickly, should stop. Quickly. He's got to stop doing all those crazy drags. He's got to stop fainting every time. Use use those reposts of that axe. It can be hard to deal with and very hard to counter, especially with those uh, weapon as slow as the greatsword. Absolutely. If, if he's going to win, this is match point here for Ziggy. Yeah. Well, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Good luck to both fighters. Absolutely. There we go. Excellent oh, repost or counter counter, counter acceleration. Here. Oh, oh, excellent. Same side faint counter to make sure he doesn't fall for that drag. Great work by Daedalus. Yeah, he's he's watching out. Keeping his spacing. He's doing the right thing here. Playing sticking to his game plan. Using the spacing. I think he's actually out of stamina. I he's think Daedalus is himself. out of stamina. Yeah. Oh. I think it was Ziggy actually. Who was that? Ziggy? Ah, just... uh, that's a shame then. So. Daedalus should have followed up with that. He uh, he waited too long. That yeah, would have been absolutely. his opportunity. He kind of let him just sit there for a second. Yeah. Not what I would have done. Same. I would have just kept following up. If you can knock that great sword out of Ziggy Lotta's hands, and then, then here it is again. There we go. Wow. Excellent, excellent victory excellent for Ziggy Lotta. Good effort from Daedalus. I mean, he had a really, really strong showing. But I think, again, we're talking about weapon matchup selection here. Even if Daedalus is an amazing player, he picked the wrong weapon for the fight, and he got punished for it. And that's the that's that's the nature of the game. The range is enough to allow Ziggy to uh, take advantage of his excellent, excellent range play. And, you, so you know, I, I don't know why he didn't try switching at all. Don't be afraid. I, I don't think these fighters should be afraid to try switching those loadouts. In Absolutely. your tournament, that is the absolutely the only reason I beat Adrian, is because I switched to a knight with the Messer instead of a vanguard at the last second, yeah. giving me the opportunity to take those extra hits. And then it just, I needed to, he only needed to make two mistakes, I had to make four, right? Yeah. And so, and that uh, is that is just the cornerstone of this game, is weapon, we talk about it again and again and again, but it is so important. Weapon selection is one one of the most important things. Totally agree. Totally agree. So, well, it was a great fight. Daedalus really put up a good show. Uh, I, Excellent. Yeah, I hope next time he he decides to take something other than the battle axe because those drags really were impressive. They, yeah, I mean, the, those first couple fights that he took, I mean, that was uh, extremely impressive. The thing about the battle axe is it is devastating when it lands a hit. You have to be up close, but man, when those drags land it, and it is a weapon you can drag effective very effectively so when those drags land i believe it's 103 109 100 damage on a heavy damage god damn on a heavy overhead on a knight which is wow. just in insanity you know what i mean so but, but again he's, he's not fighting a knight player he didn't need That's that it. damage yeah that that, right. that, that it, could, it could have just taken a dane axe right that would have been more effective in my yeah, opinion. I would have taken a Danax over that. Longer range, you have two you can throw, much faster accelerations, and you can still drag like that. Maybe not quite as far, but still pretty far. All right. So who are, are we going to be following next? Now that we've gotten those fights out of the way, I believe that's everybody. I think we're now going to be switching two. to oh, losers, wait, losers round. Right? Yep. And then we're going to be going to first so. to seven and winners, I think, at this point. Or is it? Yeah, I think it's probably going to be first to seven now. Yeah, we'll, we'll confirm so. with Garden Boat. So we're going to see we're going to see slightly more extended fights here. So we've got, wow, we've got some excellent fights. In the winner's bracket, you versus Quasi. Good luck, Beard Bandit. That's going to be cool. tough. <laughs> Man, Quasi is, is a great friend of mine. I, I love playing with him. We play a lot on stream together just because he's a great guy, a really, really, really good dude. But he, me, I think me and him are, are, are probably the, the best match players in the game like me and him go back and forth consistently consistently <laughs> one day i'll be kicking his ass and the next day i can't even land a hit on quasi and then today practicing and yesterday me and him have been going back and forth winning one losing one winning one so i think it's going to be very very close and i'm excited to see how quasi does i'm excited to see how you do as well beard bandit that's going to be a really excellent match um, after that, we've got Adrian versus Ick. That'll be really interesting. Uh, Ick's playstyle is specifically uh, a good counter against Adrian, I believe. At least the long sword style he uses. The the long sword with the with it, yes. a lot of people call them gambles, right? The very the very often the very quick initiative steals, and Ick is yes. really good at that. One of his favorite moves uh, to do. I fought him. A, I, I did a first attempt with him the other day, and one of his favorite mm -hmm. moves is a heavy horizontal, and then. Um, when you either counter or even just block, he will immediately follow it up with a uh, accelerated horizontal on the other side. Um, yeah. And if you do anything, literally anything other than repost as fast as you can, that attack will land. So uh, I, I don't know if Adrian's figured out how to fight those uh, those gamble heavy uh, fighting styles quite yet. So we will see. We will see. I think that could be anyone's fight. I think it could be. I, I, however, I, I I will disagree. I think that Adrian is 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 somebody.
somebody who is able to to deal with players like that. I think uh, I think he knows he's he's played this game since release, and he's quite a, a definitely a veteran of the scene. So I think he's definitely going to give Nick a run for his money. I think honestly, it's probably going to go to Adrian if I had to pick somebody. But well, Ick you were right last a lot time. Today, <laughs> Ick has been doing well, but you were right last time. Um, and also, of course, Ick has the ping disadvantage. <laughs> So. He does have a little bit of a ping disadvantage. It's it's a little bit unfortunate. However, Ick is still an excellent fighter today. He's taken multiple rounds off of me. I mean, you can't really count him out. He's got some really really great long sword and a messer play. So I can't. I, I, you know, I'm excited to see the fight for sure. Absolutely, Cry cryptic and Cinemark should be an interesting fight. Uh, Cinemark has improved a lot since that first uh, Beard Bandit tournament oh, a few weeks man, ago. Oh man, what a tournament that was! <laughs> you and him fighting was was excellent. I mean, he, I don't think I he'll think go five first... to zero against anyone any longer. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's learned from that that round. Yeah. Very, very well. I think I mean, so. He, he went second place in both of those tourneys that I held uh, every time, besides the the, the uh, third one we held. Uh, so he, he's he's ready to go. I think he's he's made a lot of adjustments. Who do we have here on the field? I see. It looks Marduk like Mardek and, and Gerber. Gerber. So this is the first of the losers bracket. So we've got Mardek and Gerber. Let's uh, take a look. I'll I'll start with Gerber. If you want to do Mardek. Yeah, sure, absolutely. Oh, and uh, everyone here is uh, just going to post the link to the. Bracket again. All right, here we go. The fight should be getting soon. So interesting. We don't quite have a matchup. This this is an interesting matchup. It okay. There we go. He took the two-handed hammer. <laughs> yeah. Now I'd say they're about even. Maybe Gerber has that advantage because of the stamina boost. Long if he was sticking with the messenger. Vanguard is going to be a tough, tough fight. And oh, is Marduk that what he's taking? For that yes. stoicism that he has in <laughs> his his gameplay. I mean, that's really the only way I can describe is that he is like like. A He's stoic very, very play style. At, That's great. Yeah, I love absolutely. that. I love that. <laughs> that, that I, I really, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that a lot more often. That is, that is a great, uh, a great term for it. Wow, an excellent stab right off the bat. Gerber trying to get in a jab. Oh! Really into the basics being shown by Marduk right there. Exactly. If you were just better at the basics and your opponent is doing all of the fanciest stuff possible, those basics are gonna win out. That, that's exactly how I beat Cinemark in your tournament. 5 to 0 just by doing those basic repos just by countering even though Sidomark was absolutely putting on more of a display of skill put on a show using a lot of really really fancy drags but sometimes it's just a straight up stab is what you need to beat that's that kind all of player. that's all you need okay excellent wow, wow. excellent follow up right there oh, oh i thought that was going to be a fight oh, oh what a fight a dodge and then a follow up acceleration beautiful combo wow. back every day Holy what crap. a fight, man. I Holy mean, that crap. was back and forth, back and forth, real, real quick. Gerber taking the win with a quick axel to dispatch Marduk there at the very, very end of that fight. But if uh, Marduk was taking too many risks there, I think he was trying to get in those faster longsword attacks. But you got to remember that two handed hammer has those accelerations, it is fast. Got to be people careful. Never realized that. I, it I doesn't understand. look fast. <laughs> it doesn't look like it would be. And you would, you compare it to weapons like heavy mace, you know, like the medieval baseball bat. That's what I like to call that weapon. But <laughs> right. it, it, medieval it, you know, baseball it's, bat. Absolutely. It really I love that. Absolutely. <laughs> it feels so much quicker than a lot of blunt weapons. The two-handed hammer does. And I don't know if that's just like preference, oh. but man, it does. So that's two repost hits by Mardak. That is what I'm talking about. Just those basic reposts will land if your opponent's trying to steal your initiative. Sometimes really that's all you have to do really in the base you have to have those basics solid before you start doing all of these fancy moves absolutely here we go again oh wow. and gerber going for the dodge great great work on Marduk. that's one to one isn't it one to one one to one i believe yes you are correct Marduk using that uh, Argon's longsword. I don't believe it's the perfected one, but it is the pretty nice looking one. Yeah, he must the not have bought tier, the perfected I one. I was at, I, I bought that with crowns. I don't know about you or any anyone no, in chat, but I'm I was not, not going to grind. Too proud. Yeah. <laughs> I was not going to grind to 200. Proud. Would you uh, really? Do you feel more shame in grinding longsword to 200 or using that some crowns? That would be even worse. <laughs> yeah, that would be even worse. <laughs> don't you think? <laughs> well <Yeah>. said, Monty. <laughs> but I got to have that drip. Of course, that trip. I mean, you know. that is the, that is half the battle. <laughs> Looking good is half the battle, and I will say that in every game that I play, man. <laughs> doesn't matter if it's chivalry, Tarkov. It does not matter if your dude got that look, man. That's half the battle won already. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, here Great we go. From yep. Once again, once again. So Gerber that's going stoic. for some. So Gerber's switching to Messer here. I think that's actually a mistake. Maybe he's so. better with the Messer, and that could be oh. the case. But if we're talking about pure matchup, well, hey, there we go. Oh, yeah. going for the drag. Marduk stealing his initiative and landing a kick. Oh. Wow. Wow. So back and forth, man. Wow. I mean, this is insane. 
One. These guys are really well matched. I'm actually very excited for this fight. Yeah, me too. Me too. So that's two to one Gerber Day. Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. So, so this is a great example of you know talking about what weapon is better than another. In you know, if we're just talking about pure stats, two-handed hammer is the way to go in this fight. But hey, clearly Gerber Day's got more experience. Perhaps he's got more skill with that messer, and he was able to take that victory, or at least that one fight. Uh, that's another thing too, right? Is that yes. Weapon matchups are extremely important. We've been talking about that for a long time. Having a weapon matchup can make or break a fight, but at the same time, the individual skill of somebody who knows a weapon really well can make it work against every scenario. Sometimes that's the better option. It just depends on what you're comfortable with. 100%. Oh, and an excellent heavy drag. Just do, wow. see, he should have accelerated there. If he tries mixing those drags up with accelerations, that's what's going to catch Marduk off guard here. If he's just going to keep doing those drags, Marduk's going to be able to counter really easily with that longsword. Marduk not very well known for using drags in his arsenal. He's more of a straight up, you know, Axel block and repose, counter and repose kind of thing. And, and two right away. Well. Look at that. Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. You know, beautiful. E even even not having that option in, in your arsenal, it, it still allows you to be a good fighter as long as you have those basics and you know when to use those attacks when you need to. And he's doing an excellent job of showing that. Right. One of the best parts of Chivalry 2 is that there are so many different ways to play. So many fighting styles you can adapt and make your own and still win. Wow. Excellent. And again, just a repost. That was just a repost. There was nothing fancy. There was no drag. There was, it might, it, I don't know if it was even an acceleration. It didn't have to be. It's a long sword repost. And that's yeah. what that's what got the victory there. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, just keep going. We, we've been talking about this a lot. Keep going back to those basics. Master those basics and you can fight at the top level. Yeah. Absolutely. So I believe this is three Mardik. Three Mardik, two... I lost count. Two I lost one. count. Chat, That's let okay. us know. <laughs> Cody, you let me know. I'm going to I'm gonna make you do it. Yeah. <laughs> Refs, come on. Come on, ref. All right, Go excellent. Flag. It's interesting why he's going for these crouch stabs. I think what Marduk's oh, trying. Now both ah, well. Gerber took longsword knight. That that's that's not a that's a bad. I'd rather that's a smart decision. It's a good matchup, not a bad matchup at all. Uh, it's a mirror yeah. match. So mirror matches is about as equal as it can get. And honestly, I really really enjoy mirror matches in this game because it is a, a pure expression of skill. Nobody 100%. has an advantage. Nobody has any disadvantage. You're both using the same weapon, the same class. No one can complain. Old... <laughs> exactly. There's no complaint. It can't be you know. Oh, the, the weapon, the weapon matchup was bad because guess what? You're using the same thing. So yeah, absolutely. Uh, and one of the best parts about the longsword knight fight is that both opponents can uh, regain their health enough where it takes two light attacks to win. So uh, if if you aren't quick, like what we saw Marduk do there, a jab to prevent the health regeneration. Excellent, excellent punish. So yeah, Marduk jabs his opponent to prevent the health regeneration, so he wouldn't be able to to get that health back. That is what you need to do in these matchups. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, Cody knows Marduk, it's yeah. two to two, so that's three to now two, Matt Cody. Three to two now. Marduk's favorite, three to two. Gotcha, three to two. You got it. So these, I mean, uh, this is. I'm really, I'm really impressed with Marduk uh, in this matchup. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of very, very well timed and and uh, and and. and what I'm looking for is like intentional, intentional strikes. strikes Every made attack of his intention. is intentional. He's never panic attacking, right? He's not just throwing out an attack, hoping it will land. He's waiting Absolutely. for that counter. He's waiting for that repost. He's punishing those whiffs. Uh, and he's even using crouching here a little bit, at least at the beginning of every encounter, which I'm not quite sure why he's wasting his stamina there. Maybe hoping yeah. to, to, to crouch dodge Gerber Day's initial stab. But that's, uh, that's a risk that I personally, I would keep the stamina going. Yeah, absolutely. Both countering really well here. I mean, no wow, one... this is a great back and forth fight here. Nobody's really found an opening yet. Yeah, no one, no one has the greater advantage. I think uh, Gerber's at full health. Marduk's at full health. Yeah. Oh, there First we go. Blood from Gerber, Excellent though. feint. You, yeah, and keeping up those those reads, those defensive feints, that is going to take stamina. And you know, fighting for hours like this, it's oh, oh there we go. I think Gerber's starting oh. to found. I think he's finding his rhythm here, and that's an excellent showing from Gerber. I think he started to apply a lot of the a lot of the essentials and basics that Marduk has been applying this whole round. Totally, I think he's doing an excellent job. And then of, he mixed it up with a drag. Back. There, that's how you do it. You and start that the fight is with the thing that's, that can that can separate the two fighters, right? Is that not only can he when he needs to, you know, do the basic attacks, uh, but he can also throw in the drags, and that's going to make him a little bit more versatile than Marduk. Yeah, 100%. 100%. So either Marduk's defense has to be stronger, and we know he's been practicing with it, but right there he lost a little bit of his steam, or he's going to start having to use these mix-up attacks. He's going to start having to drag. He's going to have to start fainting more. So we'll yeah, see. Absolutely.
Well, that, an attempted oh. drag didn't quite connect, unfortunately. Was almost an interesting move. Drag. Yeah, almost, almost could have been. Could have, should have, would have. Could have, should have, would have. low on stamina already. I believe it's Mardek, but I think they're both regenerating. Yeah, they they must both be decently low. Neither one high enough, at least to have the confidence to follow it up. A lot of uh, block and repost here. I think Marduk is going to be in a bad spot stamina wise if, if Gerber keeps the pressure up and uh, does it looks some, like uh, it. Oh, but oh. It, I guess Gerber just let his defense down for a moment. That wasn't even anything fancy. Yeah, you got to be. Oh, and an excellent crouch dodge, but uh, wasn't able to punish Marduk on it, so he just wasted a little bit of stamina there, unfortunately. Oh, great work, great work. Okay, wow. excellent drag. Not even a heavy attack from Marduk. All right, so they're, they're feeling both, each other out exactly. Now. Yeah, they're doing like skirmishes before they enter into the true fight here. So well, Marduk's still going for his move. crouch. I, I, you know, I think with the crouch you can sometimes get a get uh, get around your opponent's parry window. But if they know it's coming, you're just wasting your stamina in the current meta. Yeah, and that was changed recently uh, with the addition of Gallon Court. Crouching now costs stamina. So Unfortunately, you have to be judicious. Yeah, you do not have to be most, judicious. <laughs> not the most uh, favorite change of the. Probably the most but... unpopular balance change. Okay, excellent feints. <laughs> Marduk falling for the same feint over and over again. We gotta watch out for those longsword stabs. 50. Oh, oh and a drag. drag on the long on longsword. Drag. That's that's what we're talking about. With those occasional mix-ups from Gerber Day, Marduk's not gonna be able to keep up unless he starts doing the same. Yeah, I think he's gonna be on his toes here. I'm pretty sure Gerber's got him on the back foot. Yes, he does. Uh, Marduk absolutely has to have lower stamina here. Marduk is back up on health, though. He's regenerated, and now uh, he's got the upper hand again after getting that strike off. And, and he got a jab. On. Excellent. Gerber's so. gotta be low, right? I mean, you see jab or kick away? Uh, yeah. Uh, sorry, I accidentally clicked off him. Yep. Well, he's not quite a kick away, as you saw. But <laughs> what? <laughs> Excellent. I think this is. Is this? Is this three, four, four, four? What's the score now, Cody? This must, yeah, what is the score, Cody? Update us if you would. Victory comes as no surprise. Trial by beard. The competition is whoever has the biggest beard. That is how you win. How, how long nobody want to fuck with me! Yeah, how long you been growing that monster, Beard Bandit? How long Dude, I've been it a couple times, but I haven't, like, I haven't, like, been clean-shaven since I left the Marine Corps. The second I left the Marine Corps, I was right. like, fuck yeah, that! Never, I am never, never shaving again! <laughs> a razor will never touch my skin ever again! <laughs> it's Mardek right. 4, Gerber 3, is what he's telling me. So, Gerber doing a last-minute switch here. Oh, and an excellent drag right away. Wow! Acceleration so from Mardek. Catch them off. Class swap again. I hope that that two-handed hammer is gonna, you know, be able to make shake the difference. Up here. Yeah, I, I'd say these are still equal. They both need the same amount of hits to kill. Right, um, right. And so, if Gerber Day really focuses on those accelerations, he can pull it out. He has that stamina advantage as well, being the vanguard. I think if he really, really puts pressure on uh, Marduk and gives him some low stamina, he could certainly uh, disarm him and get a free hit. I want to see, yeah, I want to see less feints from Gerber. I want to see more reposts. I want to see more of that stamina breaking action that he exactly. can do with this class. He needs the Axel, but Marduk with a quick stab. We'll see. Marduk's got to be pretty low, right? Where's he's he at? at uh, oh, wow! there we go. Just a drag, yeah, just a drag. Wow, 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 wow. wow. So that's what, I mean, four to what four? Excellent drag. Here that's we go. Four, four. This is match point. Another extremely close match. I mean, what an excellent show from all the fighters today. Absolutely incredible. Everyone has just been on their best all around. What are you munching on, Monty? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good, dude. Forget I'm me wrong. messing with you. <laughs> <laughs> this is a long stream, okay? Yeah, <laughs> I'm dude. doing my best. Get it in, man. No, I'm just, I just want a piece. I just want I, you to share. It's, uh, right? it's, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to judge you. Some freshly sliced cheese from the uh, Ooh, deli. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I thought. All right, I here thought, we go. All right, here we are. Here we are. Match point, baby. <laughs> all right, match point. This is it. Okay, excellent drag from Gerber Day, but Marduk is tightening up his defense once again. If Marduk just keeps that defense up, he can get past Gerber, but Gerber... If Gerber... Uh, yeah, Gerber's doing all of these risky moves, Marduk's going to be able to counter them. Yeah. Unless Gerber... He's got to mix in more accelerations here, that's what I'm saying. These, these drags are incredible, and they have been working. But he needs to mix them in with the Axels to make the drag more applicable, because if you're only dragging, the opponent is going to expect it, and he's just going to counter you. There we like go. Like he did yeah. there, and get a yeah. free hit, because he rode out the counter. Exactly. He just waited the last second, accelerated that counter, and landed a hit against Gerber Day. 
Grip has got to be careful here. There's not really much you can do against that, especially with the longsword. I mean, there's literally so little time for you to be able to, to parry after that. Uh, it, it's got to be almost instant, and it can be very hard to yeah. react. He's only a jab away. He's, if Marduk just jabs here, Gerber is down. Let's see if oh, get, wow! An excellent close drag. One. This is close. It's anyone's game here, and Gerber's trying to trying to get his health back. Marduk's not, yeah. maybe not realizing how low his opponent's health is here. This I, could I be believe win. Marduk has, no, has low stam. It sounds like he's huffing and puffing. I could be wrong. Uh, no, it does sound like that indeed. And Gerber's health is back, so Marduk's going to have to... Now it's an even fight again. Wow! Gerber takes oh! the win. Another drag. Another drag around the world. Excellent wow. fight. I mean, amazing, Woo! amazing fight from both players there. Such a close match down to the Five last to four. round. Five to fucking four. That's that's wow. how we do it. That's, that's what we're here showing. to see. <laughs> Excellent showing from both players there. Well done. Good job on that win there. Uh, but man, I mean, such a close fight. Such a close fight. Truly incredible. So that was the first round. I, I, I guess we we watched the most exciting loser fight. So that was excellent. Um, so next up, we've got Eruption Rayon, Cody Love Cannon, Cloud Weaponized Funk, and Soder Dave and Jip Jap. Um, do you have a preference, Beard Bandit? Who you'd like to watch for this next fight? So sorry, say again one more time. So let's. We're just gonna take a look at the bracket again. Um, yeah, where are we I, starting from? It was gonna be AQ. Or, it's or oh, was it? I don't. You know, gosh, I don't know. Let's let's see who's. We just we just watched Marduk and Gerber at AP. We did. I think the next one is AQ, which would be Wildcard, Mask, Truth, then what? Kian's, Better, Eagletron, Steezy, Prince, Rico. Do you know how many Russian. fights were going on at the same time there? Was it just two? I don't know, honestly. Yeah, we, we were paying too close sure. attention to that excellent fight. I mean, it was so entertaining. I couldn't keep my eyes Truth. off of it. I believe Truth and Wildcard, or somebody, whoever re Who's replaced, replaced him, were wildcard. fighting uh, over like uh, the other side of the arena. Uh, mm -hmm. So it was only two at the time. Okay, so we're gonna get Keons and Eagletron and Steezy Rico. Let's watch Steezy like Rico. Steezy and Rico. Yeah, Those I are agree. Both, uh, one handed sword players. Exactly. Or, or players. I think that'll be an interesting uh, dodge fight there. 100%. We've they also, they, they both have like similar eruption, fighting styles. Eruption and Rayon are fighting right now. I don't know that Steezy and Rico are on the field yet. So oh, they, their fight must them. be going. Yep. Yeah. I'll take Eruption if you want to do Rayon. Yes, absolutely. Rayon, Rayon taking Rayon, them all. Uh, no <laughs> yeah, Look at this. Uh, interesting place. I mean, you really, really like to see them all. Uh, oh. It's a, sh it's really not a great weapon, but man, is it fun. It's not common, and I respect Rayon for always trying to do something unique and interesting. And I think it's a quick XL. I mean, you yeah, but look how little damage that did. A I know. That was it's like a, it's like a pool noodle. <laughs> absolutely. Oh! No! Holy shit! Oh, oh man! A, a, an accelerated heavy. An accelerated oh, heavy. That man. was, I think that was a crouch dodge into an accelerated heavy. Incredible uh, showing. Uh, Holy absolutely. shit. Absolutely. I mean, wow. <laughs> the hero's champion. I, I love watching Rayon fight with his great sword. He's got some very, very Shiv medieval warfare uh, style drags and uh, play style. So yeah, it's definitely interesting to see him fight. Oh, eruption with a class nice switch. So okay. he's topping the one-handed sword here. Maul still does more damage to Footman because Footman does have some armor, so it's they not actually completely take more disadvantage. damage from Blunt. The the Footman have a have like essentially because they have health less and, health, so effectively right. more damage. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, but with that sword, it's much faster. Ooh. But with the repost, if eruption is going to keep trying to steal initiative, and and Rayon plays smartly here with those reposts, oh there we go. Wow! What, oh, he's only mall. a jab away with a mall. Sword, oh, against dude. yeah. Wow! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Holy crap, Rayon coming out with a mall. Man, I... Oh my god, pop off king! Uh, I mean, yeah. unbelievable. <laughs> pop off king indeed. I know, you know, we're supposed to be impartial, but if Rayon wins this tournament with a mall, well fucking deserved. Well deserved. <laughs> Against a one-handed sword player, one I cannot think sword. of a, a good... worse matchup. <laughs> Eruption is no pushover. <laughs> this one-handed sword is hard to beat. And you're right, yeah. absolutely the worst matchup possible you here. You could not have picked the worst <laughs> Worst matchup. But look at that around the back drag. If there's a chivalry one, he would have got a reverse overhead there. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. He's he's fighting very well. We'll see how he's see how we keep oh, it. Another drag and that another that's another heavy. More than half of the health from eruption is gone. So Rayon oh. can really do this. Can really I mean, just pull this, is... this out. Yeah, if he can pull this through, I'm going to be amazed. I mean, <laughs> Me too, it, dude. It's just one of the worst <laughs> matchups you could think of. Uh, a good go. stab yeah. punish off of uh... So easy to punish them all with that sword if he just plays yeah. his range carefully. 
And good jab, good being, jab block there. Having that dodge advantage with that foot. Oh, oh my god! god. Wow. Oh my god! Another drag around the world. <laughs> Ray, Rayon, truly, truly one of the more unique play styles. Really a spinny, a, a ballerina. <laughs> a rare ballerina in Chivalry 2. Something you don't see too often. <laughs> Watch out, indeed, yo. Watch out. <laughs> Dude, the 360. It's slash on the i mean i am so impressed i am so entertained watching ray on here oh, yeah. i want i want eruption to put up a good fight and i'm not like not like not sure no, yeah. but i'm just so impressed with the the yeah, play from Rayon, I, I, I surely eruption would agree that ray on taking them all is impressive here <laughs> absolutely oh, never in a million years that i thought this, this match would come that way yeah, eruption after not connecting that kick really has to be careful there. Wow, Rayon with a I mean, combo. He's doing really good uh, with the I'm, I'm blown away. I'm, I'm honestly blown away. I'm if he would have done that, <laughs> dude, he, he tried to pull off the beard bandit, but you know his beard must not be long enough. Honestly, <laughs> not long enough, man. Hey, you know what? Props oh, to him though. And eruption yeah. comes in with a quick punish on the knife, which is just not going to be enough. But he, he, whoa, whoa, he, he a little too cocky there from Rayon, but what if he had landed that? Wow. Yeah, I would have oh. got up from my chair. Oh yeah, dude. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, woken up the entire block. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow. Unbelievable. I mean, such a good performance. <laughs> well, I am super yeah. impressed with Rayon. Yeah, I what... need to see a mallet play from Rayon here. Oh, yeah. Pull out the mallet <laughs> instead. Absolutely. When Rayon first started, he was having a really hard time just figuring out the basics. Coming in from CMW with all of these great spins. Didn't know what to do. He was getting discouraged, and I had to talk with him. I said, dude, just don't ever change with these spins. These spins are a great mix-up if you stick with it. If you just figure out the basics and then throw these spins in, you're going to be an incredible fighter. And look at this. Look at what he's Maybe pulling off. Up. Wow! Oh! Oh what my an god! I mean, it hits an axo and it oh, into pop the goes the weasel. Boom, pop That's it. Goes the weasel. Absolutely. Oh, oh my god. god damn. Oh Is this uh three one rayon now? Yeah, I Cody believe. now. What's so, the what's the score here? I don't know. I think I think Jip Jap is the rough it's job. It's job is the uh ref for the match. I'm not sure what the score is. I believe it's three one. Okay. I mean, un unbelievable plays from Rayon here. I'm so impressed. He he beat the opening attack with a mall acceleration. That is impressive. That was that another must have been drag. A, a maximum I, acceleration from Rayon. Uh, just how? It, oh, oh my god! Just, I mean, I don't he did, even the know mix what he's doing. Are, I, I, the mix-ups <laughs> are incredible. The fact that he's able to do such long drags and then mix it up <laughs> with an impressively quick axle on the mall i mean i am blown away truly a ma it must be at max speed with that mall it must be at max speed <laughs> that that is amazing and i guess he just won his fight oh so steezy and rico are fighting now so let's hop on over all to right them. let's go ahead and over there i'll, I'll take rico take all right don't no, take steezy um rico already at a disadvantage here as we can see oh there we and go a quick little <laughs> pop on the head with a mace there he says no not today so this matchup while close with the blunt from steezy he's going to be doing more damage to rico here uh another thing people don't really take into account with the weapons in duels is that they are extremely extremely at an advantage because of the hit stop because getting hit stop allows you to combo fast that's right? true, because your recovery is actually a little bit faster than if you're comboing instead. And exactly. if you accelerate from neutral, you can actually not combo, combo faster. You see what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, that's that's smart. But it, of course, also the uh, extra damage that it yes, does. That's that's the main that's the main thing. Yes, that's very good, important. Good. Here. I mean, these guys are uh, footworking all over the place. They both see have that. excellent footwork. Both do jabs with those shields. Oh, oh here we go. Lost the stamina. Oh, he kind of lets him just like get after that uh, hit there. That could. Uh, he wow. Was that a was that a drag around his parry window? I very think interesting. so. I think that hit his ankles. Like that was some Achilles heel <laughs> stuff there. Great work by Steezy here. Uh, excellent I mean, fights. Excellent. I think it's Steezy four, Rico zero, as what Cody just told me. So oh, I this see. is going to be a pretty dominant effort from Steezy. I say. I guess he's just the better one-handed player. Though Steezy's now switched up the uh, to an axe here, so we'll see. Maybe with that Has extra he? damage. Oh, no, so Rico has the axe. I'm sorry, sorry, Rico. My apologies. Yes. Uh, yeah, so maybe this will be enough damage, enough of a weapon change here to... No! Wow, he I mean, he's, he's really trying to just... steal those initiative, and it just... You know, Steezy's playing a little bit more carefully here. Yeah, I, I, he's, he's he's knowing where to throw those strikes in and to interrupt, but, but, but Steezy's here we go. quite low. Oh, that could be oh, it. But it was too far away. Too far away to pull up. barely mm. get away. And he doesn't punish off of the... What? He missed the overhead. He barely... And then... Oh, oh. Wow! Uh, wow! Just wild, just wild. Well, go. I'm glad we got the tail end of that at least. Excellent yeah. showing from Steezy. 
Oh uh, man, I love a good footman man at arms fight versus yeah, man at arms. Me too. As much as I like, uh, the thing is, I love playing man at arms, but I feel so dirty playing man at arms. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Whatever. It's on the developers to balance the game around what is imbalanced, and they clearly don't seem to mind too much the one hander. So it it's is not what that it is. bad. I mean, it, it, they're a tough opponent, and you know the the one handed uh, players, especially man at arms, but it is not impossible to beat them. It is not impossible. As we saw you... from Quasi even earlier against using the fucking messer against the one I mean, we just saw a maul versus a, a, we a saw sword. a maul win against a sword so, so obviously <laughs> that is not you know it, it is still possible if you have the skill if you have the wherewithal if you have the will to win you can 100 mm -hmm. absolutely absolutely all right so what are we looking at now for we the got rest of our varu fights? so we got varu against uh soder dave here um, I'm taking a look at Varu's perspective. Where are they? They're okay. They're by uh, Mason's side. I'll go ahead and take uh, Varu, who just killed himself. I guess he's switching. I wonder what right. he's swapping to. I wouldn't be Can surprised we get a score if we see update a on Soder Dave and Varu Avan. Anybody? Yeah. Have they already started? They, I, they, I believe they've already started. We've just got one victory from Varu at least. I just saw. Okay. He ends up taking the two-handed hammer. He's got the Nadziak, the uh, I believe it's a Polish warhammer. Oh, nice. Right, looking great. Looking awesome. It's a great skin. You don't really see that two-handed hammer skin. People usually use the fisted hammer. Well, that that's a, that's a pretty funny skin, though. I mean, I don't blame them. Gold yeah, I, I and like it. I think it's it. fun, but I think this is a definitely a more realistic, cool-looking hammer. It's got that weird, rounded bell, like you know, uh, and very end of the, interesting. Of the hammer there. Yeah, and I love that little hook on the back. I wish you, Absolutely. I wish some of your attacks used that. That would be interesting. Maybe the special, you know, that'd be cool. that could be pretty neat. That could be like flip it around and then come down. Yeah, that could be cool. That's what you do for the poleaxe. So I can't imagine you couldn't do it for this. Oh, one. and whoa, a special whoa, attack. Whoa, whoa. That was a special there? attack from Soder Dave. Looks wow. almost just like a stab. Very hard to read and comes out lightning fast yeah lightning i couldn't fast. even see what he did <laughs> yeah you know and uh, while the two-handed hammer is fast he's gonna have a hard time reacting to those quick attacks it's going to be tough I've got nothing to say. so what is that uh did anyone get an update is it one to one baru van uh, i am unsure who is the referee for this match it's a uh, weaponized funk weaponized funk i wonder how I'm not much of a talker i'm not sure well so far i know for sure one to one at least from what i've seen Yes. Um, so, here we go. We'll keep it at that. We'll just see what, what, what these guys are going to do. Varu nice, panic nice attack heavy stab. Oh, but Varu able to punish uh, Stoder Dave off of that special he missed. And, and another, another quick acceleration. Axel. Great. Wow! wow! Oh, Unbelievable! Those are the best. What those are the best. Good ranged headshot there. Yeah. I mean, he popped oh. and then drops like a, Pop, like a sack of potatoes. and dropped. <laughs> Absolutely. Unbelievable. Wow. Well done. Wow. If he uses that range to his advantage. In the beginning there, he was just attacking. Stoder Dave was not taking the bait, but... But uh, it clearly worked out for him near the end there. He got right, so no, yeah, no change. No change in loadout here. Both confident yeah, gonna, in their ability. Their guns. Yeah. I think Dave is confident in his playstyle. He just needs to work in his attacks more. As he did right there. Oh, oh and a special my follow. lord. What an aggressive That's more than start. Half. Two, two attacks, more than half of Varu's health is already gone. So that yeah. knight isn't that big of an advantage here. All right, oh. another attack. Varu Vaughn is whips. two jabs out of the way. Two jabs, and he's gone oh. here. Great Axel, acceleration Axel there. onto Soder Dave. We're going to try and get a drag. Oh, uh, got to be careful of those drags. You got to use those as mix-ups, not as your basic yeah. attack. You don't want to ever start off with a drag, especially against a one-headed sword player. Somebody like Dave who knows how to exploit that. He's ready for it, and and clearly uh, Varu just wasn't able to pull up that parry fast enough, unfortunately. All right, here we go. Coming back in, sticking with the two-handed hammer. There we go. I'd like to see some more emotes here. Right? You gotta love the fun-loving emotes from the competitors here. <laughs> Perhaps they're all I a never, bit too focused, I suppose, tonight. <laughs> yeah, That's fair. I, I, Money on the line, can't blame them. Uh, yeah, $400 on the line tonight, everyone. 400 bucks. Just absolutely insane. How's it going, GB? Hello, hello. I'm hey, Garden Just to, to clarify that we, are, we went a little out of order with the Varu Sada Day fight because uh, Sada Day's schedule uh, doesn't, you know, people be allowed to be here till as late as we're going so sounds good but if he wins he'll have to be here a bit longer unless he oh, wants yeah. to forfeit i suppose <laughs> yeah well, we'll see how that turns out hopefully he can stay as long as he can yeah exactly yeah. exactly all right well uh, yeah, i just want to let you know about that small confusion and then we have uh love Ken and cody now fighting and then our last one in this round will be weaponized Funk versus uh cloudy 
Okay, Excellent. sounds good. Thank you. Good to hear. Oh. Thanks, GB. Thank you, GB. Oh, hey, GB, if you're still here, yeah. uh, would you mind if, if you could have the refs type the score into the chat for us? That would be super helpful. Absolutely. If that, if, if that. They, that'd be awesome. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, they get the chance. It's just sometimes we're gonna miss the matches and not know. Yeah, we're we're, we're, we're just chatting. It's hard to keep up. Understand. Understand. All right. All right. Thank you, brother. Thank you, my man. All right, here we go. So another victory for Soder Dave. I don't know the score, but uh, well, I guess Soder Dave's got to go. So uh, he's trying to end this as quickly as possible. Yeah, he's really <laughs> trying to wrap this fight up, but he's gonna get hit with a quick axle. And uh, Varu says, "No, not yet." Oh, and the oh, special! Wow, the special I mean, these so specials fast. are devastating. So fast! I, it was faster. They attacked at the same time, and the special landed first. And now Varu's weak. He's panic attacking here. He's not being intentional with his moves. Soder Dave playing. Playing defensively, though I guess uh, I guess he just tried to steal the initiative. Varo oh was my ready god! I mean, one jab, one jab is all it needs. Harassed by jabs. If he kicks right now, oh. he wins, but he gets a good overhead. Oh. That's a good mix-up from Dave. I think uh, Varo was was prepared for another jab. Totally. But I think honestly, if Dave would have kicked right there, even though he did take that round, if he would have kicked right there, that would have been it. Kick would have been the optimal move. Even if he gets hit, it's gonna trade damage. That kick, that kick's just gonna just gonna kill him and send him flying too. Send him flying Absolutely. as well. Absolutely. Uh, Dave just won his match. Uh, ah. It looks like Weaponized Fong said that that was the fifth round for Dave. So All that right. is him. Great I believe work, we can Dave. move on to uh, who else is fighting here? Love Cannon and, and Cody. And Cody. Cody. Okay, yeah, so Cody's go. got his next chance here. I wonder what Cody's at. Uh, he's actually at one round, and Love Cannon has two, so still early in this fight. Cody deciding to take a one-hander to match Love Cannon's sword. You know, I don't know if that's the smarter move. If Cody's better with the longsword, I would stick with the longsword. Well, here we I'm go. The jab away. If Cody just, if just he just remembers that. All wow. <laughs> well, that's all Excellent you need. Excellent overhead, though. Right yeah. around the parry. Just Literally great, just great around showing. the parry there. Yeah, Excellent so inter interesting sticking with the sword. Uh, you know, to each to each their own. He's clearly competent with it, but that longsword is a pretty strong counter. For, uh, That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I think, honestly, he would definitely have a better chance to suck to his weapons that are good, especially the longsword being such a great weapon. It's so uh, fast, yeah. It's quick. It's more than more than capable than uh, of standing up to the sword and, 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 you know, being a strong option. So he's, you know, even though he has a bit more health here, he is putting himself at a, a little bit of a disadvantage. Uh, we, he, you know, his opponent has a shield. He's got the footman extra dodge as well as speed mm -hmm. using that one-hander. So yeah, we here we go. Shield as well to do some massive Yeah, jab yeah look damage. at that. Look at that. Already messed up Cody knows rhythm. He's gonna try his best to keep up. You know, I really wonder if uh, I, correct me if I'm wrong, but you are we are we not allowed to pick up light shields uh, besides? The... Uh, I'm not sure. I I don't know if that was ever formalized. Um, I think. Oh no, you know what? Yes, you were not allowed to pick up anything that you didn't bring into the match with you. That makes sense. Because I was gonna say, because if I was playing one handed sword, I would just be picking up light shields off of this map yeah. every time. Yeah, yeah twenty damage jabs. I mean, that is oppressive. When I was playing the first, uh, you know, couple of weeks of release, I didn't really. You know, I hadn't really figured out that the sword was super OP. And I got the light shield, and I was like, man, this is a really good loadout. I wonder why I haven't died yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's, my personal skill has grown. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm so good now. Yeah, I killed God right. King. I was like, what? That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Yeah, and then, and then that, that's when God King pulls out his own one handed sword light shield. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. Cody's sticking to his gun, sticking with the sword. Going to be trying be beating Love Cannon here at his own game. Yeah, let's see oh, if that health advantage heavy. is going to give him the advantage he needs. So far, it hasn't. Love Cannon keeping up a solid defense and mixing Oof. up with these heavy attacks enough to land a few attacks. Good response from Cody, though. And he tosses the shield. He no longer has that stamina negation ability. That's true. Now that oh. now I would say Cody's at a bit of an advantage if he can just regain his health. All he has to do is play yeah. defensively, regain that health. Oh, but no! Follow it up! Yes! Wow. Excellent, excellent job! Wow! Woo. Excellent work! <laughs> Cody coming back, the people's hero. In taking a risk, playing aggressively worked out there. You know, he could have he could have stayed back, regained his health, but clearly going for that stamina, stamina negation, and the disarm that was the right move. So. Some random guy in the middle is like, what's going on right here? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, this is kind of neat. <laughs> this seems fun. That's pretty cool. Yeah, what's going on? What's happening? <laughs> Can't blame him. All right, here we go. Here's the next fight. Cody up around now. Gets a good overhead off. 
Oh, with oh. those heavy attacks. You gotta watch out for him. Cody's just yeah, not ready for those mix-ups. Quite strong. The stab on that sword can be devastating, especially oh. when made heavy. Seriously. Oh, oh but he's, he's lost his shield. Okay. Oh, a quick hit. He's actually able to punish oh, off of that. But, but he whiffed. Wow, and he has no health oh. left, Love Cannon does. That's gonna be 3-3 three, three now, I believe. Is that 3-3? Three, uh, three? Just a jab would have wow. taken him out. That is a bummer. I know. Bummer that for Cody. That is extremely, extremely close. He's gonna go ahead and reset, kill himself to get his shield back. Smart move. That, it is just so fast. It's easy to whiff with these swords. They're so short range, so quick. You know, you make one wrong movement with your mouse and uh, and you just open yourself up to hit. I have been so impressed by the closeness of all these matches. I mean, every fight we've spectated today has been neck and neck, tooth and nail. Okay, so this is game point. Uh, Love Cannon favored. Oh. Yeah. All right, here we go. So Love Cannon is actually up. Here we go. Here we are. How are you? Yeah, See so if Cody he, can bring this back. He's got to focus on taking that shield out. Once that shield is gone, then Cody's going to be able to compete better. Excellent, excellent start. Both fighters here. Oh, but look at that jab damage. That is just yeah. so much. Really got to watch out. Wow, great work Extra on five Cody. Points stacks up, man. You take, you get two shield jabs from a medium shield. That's thirty damage. Thirty damage. Okay, here we go. Oh, but look at it's quite low. Oh, and there goes the shield. There goes the shield. Here we he's are. Kick, he's jab or kick away. If Cody. Capitalizes just, on this, it could oh, be it, but he gets a didn't even need overhead. to. Just a regular oh. feint. Well, that's that's how that's how difficult these sword fights can be. I mean, just to have that reaction time. Regular feints, they can absolutely work. Don't even wow, have to do I mean, anything fancy. So close again, another match point match here. I think this is our third or fourth <laughs> match in a row, or not in a row, but at least tonight that has been neck and neck once again. I mean, wow. Yeah, holy shit, holy shit. I mean, I, and we're not even at the finals yet, everybody. Lots more exciting fights to go, so make sure you this stick is around. Losers round one. I know, guys. losers round fucking one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this just goes to show you the the caliber of players that are at, in this tournament. I mean, some of them are are, are so good for weeks now every one of these fighters has been putting in the time they've been in the duel yards they've been accepting their losses they've been learning from each fight and they're really really playing at their best tonight we're seeing really excellent fights here oh boy cody quite low uh, just a jab away or jab or two but uh, he was ready for it he's ready for that jab got to repost off that the shield is low if he can break that break. shield yeah if he can break that shield he could have an opportunity to take it back here oh excellent hit if he breaks that shield now, he's gonna get a free hit. Cody No regained his health. Cody oh, No is God. no longer a jab away. Oh, they oh, both whiffed. God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, Cody No is no health. One jab from that oh, shield, my. Cody's dead. Oh, this is intense. It's a close one. Oh, no. and the jab, oh. and the jab. Oh, oh my God, what a match. Oh, what a, what a tragic end for Cody, but I a well and a hard earned victory from Love, from Love Cannon. Cannon. God damn, yeah, you gotta watch out for those jabs. Just, it, it would have been in Cody's best interest to just try and run away a little bit. Just back up, spend that stamina and get that health back. Oh uh, man, Cody, what an excellent job. Good try, buddy. I mean, you really, really put up an excellent fight there. So Good fight, Cody, I, now. I look forward to seeing you in the next tournament that gets run, whether that's mine or another trial by blood. So keep it up, man. You've been getting so much better. And a great victory from Love Cannon there. Well done. Well played. Yeah, that, you get those, those shield jabs, that that is it. That that That's what you really got to watch out for. That's why I would have taken the longsword. Get that little bit extra range. Um, so we just uh, he has to watch out more carefully when he does do those jabs. Absolutely. Um, so hey, let's so, move to great showing. Yeah, let's move to Cloud Funk and Funk. Cloud, right? Yeah, for All their right. end of their fight. Uh, it's game point Cloud. Funk, but Cloud just won the most recent fight. Uh, so it's four to three. Okay. We will see. All right, I am spectating weaponized Funk, pulling awesome. out the emotes, Cloud. doing some nice. Uh, a little some, bit of dancing going on. Yeah, a little bit of dancing. friendly emoting here. Oh, here we go. A another you. mirror match, both long swords. Could be anyone's fight. The dark versus the light. <laughs> that's oh, that's so true. Excellent kick by Weaponized Funk. Cloud See. really at a disadvantage here now. Oh, oh and what just, happened there? I think he was trying to emote, is what it looks like. Oh, oh and a quick punish. I mean, Funk's gonna take that real, real nice. Very well, smooth. Good stabs. Very good stabs. smooth. All right. Hello. Excellently done. So that was round one. Um, Hello, who, we, who we, we got? To quarterfinals now, do we? Quarterfinals. Or is it going to be losers round three? 
Uh, let's see if we can get Garden Boat back in here. Are we missing anyone on the bracket? Uh, the bracket says that uh, la losers round three would go from would start at nine thirty estimated, and then uh, quarterfinals would start at so 10. ten. So I imagine that losers round three would be first. Excuse me for one second. I'm gonna use the restroom, but I will. Of right course, back. of course. I mean, you gotta get that bottle out, dude. I listened to my chat. <laughs> yeah, I really, really messed up there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at the bracket, everybody, while we wait. And let me just get a more interesting shot here. All right. So uh, I guess we are going into the next loser's bracket. Uh, let's see. Here we go. We've got Gerber Day versus Trufaholic. Gerber beat Bardek. Good fight by Gerber. Keons. So I think Keons isn't here. I think someone is replacing him. I can't I can't recall who it is. Versus Steezy. Rayon managed to win, and he's going to be fighting another one-handed sword user, probably with that Maul again. So that'll be a really, really interesting matchup. Um, and then, of course, Weaponized Funk versus Soder Dave. So we're going to see a really skilled longsword user versus a one-hander. So we can hopefully show you all an example of what we've been talking about all night, and that how the longsword is a solid, solid uh, matchup against those faster one-hander weapons. It's fast enough. It has that range and damage. Of course, with the damage comes the stamina negation that it can really compete with those one-handers pretty pretty easily. If you are good with it, if you are skilled, and you aren't taking all those risks, you're not gambling every time, you're not fainting every time, you're not heavying every time, but you're just sticking to those basics. You're parrying, you're countering, you're reposting. You're gonna be, you're gonna have a pretty easy time beating those one-handers. As long as you can read their attacks, as long as you can get those counters out, uh, you'll you'll do it. So that's that's why I was a little disappointed to see uh, that Cody No took the one hander instead of the longsword himself, because I know he's been practicing with that longsword a lot. I think he would have had a better chance there. Uh, and you know, matchup really really matters. Uh, that's why all these fighters have two loadouts they can bring. I want to see more of them start switching them in and out. There's always going to be a different advantage or disadvantage to each. Uh, to each loadout that they have so uh, hopefully in these later rounds we see a little bit more variety in what they take clearly from rayon switching between maul and greatsword what what an absolute chad <laughs> taking taking some of the slower weapons one of the hardest weapons to fight with in the game and winning against a one-handed sword i just i am not over that incredible showing by him we're just gonna fly through the crowd here a little bit check out some excellent Wow, you know, I, I, before tonight, everyone, I had no, never noticed. It's <laughs> Paradox just night. talking to me. Hey, what's up? I've, I've never noticed that uh, crossed arms idle animation. Hey, what's up, Paradox Good to see you. Looking good. <laughs> Let's check out everyone else's uh, drip here. Sidomork looking absolutely, absolutely. Um, well, I think the way uh, Beard Bandit described him was clown like, but he really stands out on the battlefield. Very interesting, interesting drip. He's got going on i do oh i do have the bracket up still my apologies <laughs> thank you thank you chowing here we go back to the game let's all right we're gonna check out paradoxogen's drip look look at look at his drip right here he's got a nice scar on his woman looking great look, excellent referee and then this is cinemark this is what i was talking about <laughs> oh it's chris hey what's up man long time no see hope you're having a good time here tonight at the trial by blood the first of hopefully many prize pool 1v1 duel tournaments. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you're in game as well. Hey, welcome back, Beard Bandit. Beard Bandit, uh, I actually filled up my bottle. I've got to go empty it myself. So I will be right back. You take good care of the chat for me, huh? <laughs> I will try my best. It was nothing. All right. Welcome, everybody. How's everybody doing in the chat? Hope you guys are all feeling good. Yeah, not going to get kicked just yet. It probably should be just uh for uh, honor's sake, but you know how it is. How's it going, GB? I see you in here. Hello. We're about to move on to losers round three. It sounds like one of the fights already started. Yeah, I see right now that Steezy and Swag Mountains are fine, so I'm gonna go ahead and start casting this fight. Um, Our other fight going on is going to be Gerber Day versus Daedalus. Awesome. All right, thank you so much. No problem. So after this, we're gonna be going to quarterfinals, I assume, right? Um, we are in, yeah, we're in losers round three right now. Next will be winners quarterfinals. Awesome. All right. Thank you. No problem. I humbly request. So it looks like Steezy was able to take that win off there. Swag Mountain's an excellent longsword player. I believe but he swapped to the sword uh, to try and match the speed of uh, Steezy's footman, man at arms, uh, but is taken out. 
I know what you mean, Ziggy. I'm just messing yes, around. Good morrow. Yes. All right, so he is going to use that sword, as I thought. Uh, Swag is fond of using the sword to match one-handed players, and he's quite good with it, so I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a quite a close match here. However, uh, Steezy's going to be in a better position just because he's using a blunt weapon, and he has a shield as well to mitigate stamina loss. So, uh, while Swag, Swag has a higher health pool, uh, Steezy's going to have going a little here. bit more of a versatile kit here, and uh, we're, we're casting uh, Swag and Steezy here. Who you on? Who you on with, uh, Beard I'm uh, watching Swag right now. All right, I got Steezy. Here we go. Interesting. So again, a, a skilled longsword user deciding instead to take a one-hander. Working out for him, but they really don't have to make that switch. True. Oh, excellent what, what fight. Excellent jab block there. I mean, that yeah. was a great way to stop that damage from happening in, and a quick quick punish to uh steezy has those jabs down so if you if you are ready for him then that's just going to give you a free repost he's always going to try and jab and follow it up with an accelerated attack usually a Excellent. counter so if, if uh if swag here just sticks to those overhead and stab reposts he's gonna he's gonna be doing well okay absolutely i think um i think i mean swag swag is, is known for swapping to the sword when uh, he does fight one-headed players so i don't think he's a strange to, uh, having a fight a player like this and, uh, so he's, he's experienced doing it yeah yeah he's he's done it quite a bit i remember when i used to play at him when i was wow that was an excellent crouch look back stab oh, i mean again such great play from swag there uh, uh, absolutely be very difficult to do not easy to matrix with those crouch dodges mm -hmm. especially against a skilled fighter like that yeah, Matrix in general. Against a skilled fighter, impossible. I mean, <laughs> yeah, well, even they're, I guess a, they're never aiming for the the head. They're aiming for the torso, right? So true. Yeah. Oh, no. Right. That wasn't the end of their fight, was it? As you wish, sir. No, I believe that they've been relative. It's a relatively uh, close new one. I'm not sure what. Do the, we have a score? The, uh, but I think Cody is the ref, I believe, so shortly if you're in the chat, Cody. Score for Steezy and Swag. Question mark. Alright. Here we go once again. So an interesting matchup here. The speed is probably in Swag's favor, but not by too much. If Steezy can just yeah. keep up with the stamina here. Swag Swag just pulling off those counters more. Wow. Ooh. Excellent, excellent acceleration. Excellent slash, yeah. Oh, he's out of stamina. He's going to finish him off there. Wow. And his body flies away wow. at mock speed. Yeah. Steezy's got to play a little more carefully. He's he's used to doing all of these dodges, these jabs, these kicks, but he's, he's being punished by Swag's excellent defense here. He's got to pull yeah. out the defense himself, and he does have the damage advantage, so he only needs to hit him a few times to take him out. Yeah. He has an advantage here, considering they're both using one-handers, but Swag does not have a shield, does not have a blunt weapon. And, uh... Steezy needs to make use of that. He needs to use his his uh, classes, natural advantages to overcome a swag here. I completely agree. Let's see some more jabs out of Steezy. Let's see less dodging, more stamina. There we go. Excellent hit. Oh, oh man. I mean, those those little snake slither strikes oh, that swag is going wow. Around the back. Just around. What a combo. Just an attack after an attack. God damn. Steezy a just couldn't give up. Blows. Seriously, a flurry. <laughs> Excellent Amazing. work from swag. Yes. Do we have the score, Cody? No. Uh, Cody has not informed me just yet. Okay. Let's see. Got to be close though, or I guess Swag Swag's won every fight we've watched, hasn't he? Um, I believe so. Yeah. Good I work on Swag. So. Good work, Swag. That sword is one dangerous weapon. Oh <laughs> uh, no, I just I didn't see it in I didn't see it in chat either, Cody. Okay, four Swag, one Steezy. So it is a match point. point here for Swag if he's able to clint. Uh, cl this win that's going to be his moving on we go so swag he's he's playing carefully he's waiting for that moment to strike steezy taking the opportunity to take the initiative himself nice back and forth but steezy's still taking these initiative risky move these stamina Oof. risky moves swag's able to punish him for it he's going to be running out of stamina here steezy if he doesn't play a little more carefully yeah absolutely Excellent do you characters. remember who uh swag fought to and lost Oh, I guess Swag did lose. Uh, I can pull it up real quick while we watch here. I'm curious who it was. Oh man, what an excellent special from Swag there. He's keeping the uh, keeping the pressure on. Oh, I think Swag Mountains is filling in for someone. So ah, I, I see, do I not see. know. I do not know. Could be Keon's okay. perhaps. 
possibly. No um, worries. Yeah, it's Keon. So he fought. He lost. He, he, he lost, lost to Cinemark. Cinemark. Ah, Cinemark. Four to zero to Cinemark. Tough, tough opponent. So very, very difficult. Uh, yeah, and that was game point for Swag Mountains. Eh? Good work, Swag Mountains. Absolutely good stuff from Swag. Good effort from Steezy, uh, uh, you know, a, a great fighter, but just not able to take it this round. That's so right. Hey, be better luck next time. From the tournament, yeah, right? that's I mean, that's just... that's the elimination. Good, good effort. So let's move on to Daedalus and uh, Gerber Day. Gerber Day just Weird. killed Daedalus uh, there by Agatha. Uh, ah, Gerber Day just killed Daedalus with an excellent horizontal drag with that two-handed hammer, still keeping that uh, fighting style strong. All right. Well, I'll go ahead and spectate Daedalus then. I'm on Gerber, so let's do it. So, so here we Daedalus go. Daedalus running that long sword knight, which is a relatively pretty good uh, damn uh, play against a vanguard here. But you know, Gerber's got that two-handed hammer, so the the benefits are kind of nullified. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, the bracket does seem to be a bit inaccurate when it says four to zero. I, I think they just mean five. <laughs> right. Four equals five if the match is over. Um, all right, so here we go. So they're both equally heard. One more light attack from. Oh, there we go. A heavy drag wow. from Gerber Day. Excellent. Hard to deal with. Hard, hard to counter. And I'm surprised. Data. So Daedalus chose Battle Axe and Longsword. Uh, I, I guess the Longsword is the better matchup here. But. Uh, knight for both things. So Blunt is just going to be a great matchup against him. Uh, you know, if, if I were choosing a loadout, I would make sure that I have a variety. If if I was doing Knight, I'd goddamn make sure I had a Vanguard in uh, supply as well. Gotta be yeah, careful of those bullet attacks. That's what I did for my loadouts, is I made sure that I picked my Vanguard, which is going to be you know used against players who are using Blunt weapons, or just when I want to use my Dane Axes. Or, and yeah, then if I see somebody running a sword, I'm going to swap to my Knight class that has a weapon that's suited against that kind of playstyle, and a class that has more HP versus that kind of... Absolutely. And, and Gerber Day, Daedalus is just falling for all of these drags. Very difficult. Very great drags on Gerber Day's part. But. Absolutely. And uh, Daedalus being a drag a drag aficionado. Wow. Oh, God damn. Oh, man. Oh, what an excellent drag there. Hitting his knees and just having him buckle. He might uh, actually have a better chance if he takes the battle axe. He's He seems to be having a hard time uh, matching those counter speeds with these drags. And the battle axe is just going to be a bit easier since it's slower than that longsword. But uh, he's going to stick with the longsword. Going to see if he can't get those fast attacks. Take out that vanguard. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, let's get a, let's get a score for these two if we can. Mods and refs. If we get a chance, mm -hmm. give us the score for these guys. But Indeed. excellent play from both. I know. I know. Uh, I know. Gerber Day has won a few of these already, so we'll see. All right, here we are. Excellent stab right off the bat, using using that speed and range to its advantage as best he can. There we oh, go. Great stab. Stick with those stabs, Daedalus. That's the way to do it. Only a jab away to kill Gerber here. Only a jab away. So all that's all he needs to do. If he can just focus on that little bit. Of, there we go. Excellent kill. Excellent jab right there. What a what a great great finish. And Daedalus is gonna try and find his footing here. Yeah, absolutely. He can pull it back. If he if he can just get a couple of hits and have that solid defense, making sure his stamina stays up and he's just keeping up those reposts, making sure that initiative is always in his favor, or at least he's not giving it up to Gerber's uh, uh, steals, his thievery, then uh, Daedalus will... Daedalus will pull it out. His thievery. His thievery, indeed. <laughs> yeah, I, d I don't have a better term. Gambling is obviously a much catchier term. He's a thief. He's a thief, yeah. That's what I'm going to call I, I don't know. Is that, that better? Thief. Is that better calling someone a thief versus a gambler? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. Uh, There's this, this absolute robbery happening. <laughs> Grand larceny on Gerber's Stage party. Stagecoach robbery. Here we are. <laughs> Uh, all right, here we go. So excellent counters on Daedalus's part. He's getting back into the rhythm. Oh, great overhead. Oh, yeah. Someone in chat suggested Captain Agatha or a bandit, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. An initiative bandit. An initiative bandit, 100%. <laughs> it's real, some real highway robbery. Oh, wow. And an excellent an excellent overhead. Uh, from Daedalus Gerber just panic there. attacking, Gerber punishing oh, him. Oh, and yeah. a hammer stab to get the kill. Not it was just very, a repo very... stab, too. It was a, yeah. a, a, a Daedalus was going for those combos trying to trying to uh, steal the initiative away from Gerber but mm. Gerber's just playing smart playing safe and I guess that is are you Gerber's expecting win. Daedalus I was expecting I mean, I Gerber oh, okay never mind somebody said that we were all right cool um 
Yeah, okay. Oh, Rayon is fighting again. All right, let's head on over. All righty. He just, I cannot wait oh, I think to see he's fighting Soder Day or Love out. Cannon. Yeah. So an, an excellent one handed user uh, once again for Spring Small. Oh, are they not finished? I my apologies. I uh, know. I'm just confused. We just saw Love Cannon. I think there was a miss up in the bracket, maybe, and that's what happens. But we just saw him fight like not too not too long ago. I, I think like. this is the next round of loser bracket. Okay, if I, believe. I could be wrong. That's fine. I'm sure that I'm sure the refs and the and the organizers yeah, they have, do they, they do it kept more than track I do. it. Yeah, we're we're just uh, we're <laughs> wow. just watching it as it goes. So Ray, I'm gonna here. go ahead and watch Ray on here. Sounds good. I'll switch to uh, Love Cannon. Oh, oh my god, Slend. I mean, these overhead. plays! That wasn't was special, was it? That was just a regular overhead No, that overhead was just drag. a straight-up overhead, man. Yeah, I mean, beautiful. I'm so impressed by Rayon today. He's been showing me so many great mall moves. I've really, been so, so impressed. I, I know we're impartial, but I, I, I gotta say, I'm rooting for Rayon here. I hope he I hope he pulls this mall out into the grand finals. <laughs> yeah, it's not very impartial at all, but goddamn, is it really, really entertaining to watch that mall play. Uh, you, uh, who doesn't love an underdog, eh? <laughs> yeah, especially against a matchup like that. Again, just like probably the worst worst matchup you could ever have and then still having all these amazing fights uh, uh, absolutely the worst matchup and there we go look at that heavy stab right off the bat oh and oh, an wow. accelerated horizontal rayon but coming up with axel comes in i'm expecting a range punish oh, there and there, there it we is go. Oh, oh my god he went for the reverse oh. overhead to faint horizontal what wow. the hell what, oh what a my move. god what a move by rayon i, I don't oh, even know holy shit that's got it that's that is in a class of its own absolutely oh. incredible absolutely unbelievable incredible. holy oh my god i am i am i am, I am a gas. Always blown away by happened. these moves. Yeah, sicko mode. Somebody sicko mode in please. <laughs> yeah, it's, get these fights clipped. Well, Somebody I'm actually, clip it! I'm, I recorded <laughs> everything tonight, Beard Bandit. I'll uh, edit oh, it for shit. YouTube and put it up. I didn't record. <laughs> That's okay. I actually didn't record the first. The I didn't record mod. your first fight. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> and we do have the Twitch vibe, but I'll be I'll be putting yeah. this up on YouTube after uh, after a few days. Wow. Oh, my God. Wow. I'm just so impressed by Rand's performance today. Yeah. Using this slow weapon against the one-handed sword and prevailing like so every day. Another example, like so, I gotta listen to my own advice. Don't rate weapons in tiers. Look at this. The mall, the competitive community for a long time, forever has said the mall cannot do well in duels, as because of weapons like the one-handed sword. And look at what we're seeing here tonight. Wow. Look at I mean, look at how so Rayon is just like just e e making us eat our words, throwing that right back in our face, and winning with this weapon. Uh I, I, yeah, I, and me, I, I really loved the mall in, in Chivalry Medieval Warfare. That was my favorite weapon in the game because of that one shot potential. Uh, oh, he gets well, that's, a quick I mean, axle, yeah, that's it's, I mean, <laughs> it's the one handed sword. It's, I know we're, we're impartial here. Love Cannon, good job. Yeah, <laughs> but absolutely. it's that sword. It's that one handed but, sword. I mean, I mean, <sighs> as, as a former mall lover from CMW, seeing it in the state that it is now, it, it was kind of just dis, 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 discouraging. But man, I mean, I am blown away by the performance I've seen today. I'm going to so. have to start picking it up. He He's, he's showing me Absolutely. that it's possible, and I, I, I want it. I want it to be more common. This is really incredible. Absolutely. All right, so here we go. Rayon's playing a bit more carefully now, making sure that he uses those reposts to his to his benefit. Love Cannon should be comboing a bit more. He could punish Rayon, but uh, yeah, Rayon he actually again, could be. He he could have punished that insanely long heavy drag. That would have been so easy for Love Cannon to get a hit in. Wow, just an acceleration. Love Cannon was not ready oh, for it. There we wow. go. Wow, I mean, Ran was just away from... Yeah, I, I love those bat behind the back 360 axles. They look like they, they come out... Or, or, or drags, I'm sorry. They come out very slow, and then they when he turns around, they come out very quick. It's a quick it, it, Yeah, out. it's a drag that then becomes an acceleration. It's absolutely yes. wild. I love seeing those kind of plays. I mean, that's just very, very creative ingenuity and just uh, some great uh, play. But Love Cannon is able to bring that back. A quick stab is able to take him out. I believe it's Rayon... Uh, or Rayon Love Cannon 4, three now, Love Cannon 3, which, that's right. I yep. mean, that that is, you know, it's a close match. It could go any way, you know, uh, Love Cannon could take this back, but, I mean, Rayon is match point here. Looks like Rayon is either refilling his shield's health or switching classes here. You know, it would it, it would behoove Love Cannon to take a little bit less damage from that mall if he can. I don't know what his other class is, if it's, if it's yeah. just the... If he's if he's all footman tonight, all footman perhaps. <laughs> but yeah, Ray Rayon really he he has such a unique fighting style. Those spins are 
They are one of a kind, and I mean, and, and it's so flashy. It's so entertaining. It's to watch. beautiful. So, I mean, abs- he, he's absolutely. dancing. He, he's 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 not. He's doing a performance here, right? He's yeah. an he's an, he's a prima ballerina. He's an artist. He's, exactly. <laughs> absolutely. He's not. He's not just a fighter. He's he's really elevated this. <sighs> What's to that demigod form? line? The, uh, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> God damn! Which it's one? one of the battle cries. He goes. Uh, your blood is my paint and the land uh, is my canvas. Yes, absolutely. And that's Rayon's victory. Uh, what once a again. victory from Rayon. Once Excellent again. showing. I mean, Two God. one-handed sword. Holy he's shit. He's going up against all the one-handed sword players. He's just still coming how? out victorious. It just, he got so unlucky with the matchups. And yet, and yet. They're like, and yet. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see him pull them all out against uh, against um, some of these two-handed users. Is this is this the dark horse that we were waiting I, for? I hope so, Beardman. I mean, I'm a part <laughs> And anyone can win, but goddamn! Look at him! I know, excellent. I know, Charlie and Chris. I, I, everyone, I'm sorry for the impartiality. I can't say anything. Everyone's doing great, but Ray. Young. Everybody has been doing an excellent job, I and mean, we, we a great performance from Love Cannon as well. It's just, it's just very, very surprising to see such a good performance with such a weapon that you typically do not see. I, not I, any- I, before tonight, I, I would have, I would have bet like my life. Yeah, 100. percent Never would have even considered it, and and just blowing everyone's mind here tonight. Get a little close up on uh, old Rayon's drip here. He's got a nice little engraved Crusader helmet, the bucket, and he's got the gold lion. With the very, very cool Mjolnir ball. Just absolutely beautiful. Uh, Soder Dave and Weaponized Funk are in a fight currently. All I'm right, following Soder Dave if you want to take Weaponized. They both took out roses to, to show their respects <laughs> for each other. <laughs> Funk still has his, though. He hasn't been able to let go of them yet. Not and then quite. Wow. just punching the shit what? out of him. Oh, the follow-ups <laughs> from Soder Dave. That was an excellently timed special. He knew exactly that that was what he needed to uh, to take his opponent's weapon away. But finally, we're seeing a longsword wow. user. This is what I'm talking about. Longsword is good against the one-hander. Let's see some more of this. Use Absolutely. that rage, Weaponized Funk. That's all you need here. Use that stab. I mean, what a stab this weapon has. It what is incredibly a stab. difficult to deal with. So today, very weak. Just a couple of jabs would get the kill. Funk but... is, has no no health at all. He is kick away from death. So, oh, and there it just is. Just a stab. That's right around, so the, fast. right around the parry, though. I mean, man, that was a well, well, aim, like the swing manipulation there was excellent. Absolutely. Well, well aimed uh, stab counter drag. Uh, oh. Do we have a score? Score? Yeah, Score right. for Soder and um, Funk. Funk. Greetings, brother. Oh, my uh, did Soder win? He's on the. Was that it? That might have been it. That oh. might he might he he's on the uh, he's on the post in the center. So that might have been his I victory. See, I see. Is that the end then of the oh, losers bro. bracket for that I round? Believe. Yeah, I believe that should be the end of round three, which would, in which case, we would be going to quarterfinals, and I would be fighting Quasi. Quasi, dude. Well, if that is the case, I wish you the very best of luck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wish myself some luck too. But apps, you know, either way, win or lose, I, I always, uh, you know, I always enjoy fighting Quasi. It's a pleasure to fight him. He's an amazing guy. A really, really good dude. 100 uh, percent an excellent fighter so he's he was the winner of your really, last really tournament as well wasn't he, he? was yeah I mean, he did an excellent job using the dane axe right the and dane that weapon axe. is now yeah. seeing a resurgence in use now people are starting to realize man that weapon is a lot better than a lot of people give it credit for especially when you use the tosses and uh we I'm saw adrian take a two-hander uh, and dane axe no messer which uh you know according to everyone for the longest time op 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 right yeah, uh and absolutely. yet we're seeing the the best fighters just eschew it for these other weapons uh, so uh, we might be taking a bit of a break. Hello, hello. Hey, Garden Bow, going, welcome back. Excellent Are fight. We on is Rayon not? To... Is Rayon not upsetting the meta oh, right now? Man. Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! I know. Every He's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> Honestly, it's been such a pleasure to watch him fight. So, props <laughs> to him. Wow, a really, really incredible show. We we do need to get Ray on a medal. <laughs> Absolutely. Even if he doesn't win the, tonight, the people's medal. <laughs> the people's medal. Yeah, right. He is the people's he hero. Crowd choice. Yeah. <laughs> All right, um, Beard, you will be up next. All right, are we gonna go ahead right into that right now, or are we uh, on break still? Break first, or do you want to move I'm ready to go. I'm ready, ready to go, go, my friend. Uh, yeah, I think we're all ready too. So let's just keep the train moving. Woo! All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and head over there. Thank you guys, huh. and uh, I'll catch you in a bit. Let's see how this goes. All, all right. right, here we are. 
And Good I luck to Beard Bandit. You, All right, thank you, Garden Boat. I'm and once again, them. thank you for your incredible organizing today. I cannot sing your praises enough, my friend. Good job. This has been so an incredible favorite. tournament. I, it's 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 just been so much fun to cast. I think people are having a really good time watching, and these fights have been amazing, absolutely yeah. incredible. Yeah, I I, I want to give a quick shout out to everybody who competed, especially the people who filled in for those that couldn't make it to the tournament and like just dropped what they were doing last minute to to play. It's been amazing, and just thank everybody that's involved. It's been so great. Thank you, Torn Banner Studios, for helping sponsor this. It's been awesome. Five hundred dollars from Torn Banner Studios. So I know they've been getting a lot of bad, bad rep, bad, you know, like uh, bad mouthing from the community a bit. But they do care about the community. They wouldn't have put in five hundred dollars into this tournament. Into this tournament that it's the first one. They're really like taking a bet on us. They don't know us too well, and yet five hundred dollars. So, yeah, excellent. Thank you, Torn Banner. Thank you, Duel Masters of NA, and thank you, Garden Boat. Uh, looks like the fight between Quasi and Beard Bandit is begun, and Beard Bandit won the first round. So I'm gonna hop yep, into yep, his perspective. You're good, man. <laughs> I'll right. see you in a bit. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, excellent showing from Beard Bandit right off of the bat. I, it takes uh, takes Quasi out mid air with an overhead from that Dane Axe. And, you know, Quasi is also another very skilled Dane Axe user, but he's he's deciding to stick with the Messer. Very interesting. I, as as some of you might know, I am a Messer main through and through. And Quasi likes to fight my Messer with his Danax, so I, perhaps he has something to prove here that the Messer can can do better against the Danax than I'm able to do, but we'll see. He, he's such a skilled Danax user. And look at that. Look at that excellent drag. Excellent rainbow drag. Oh, and Beard Bandit unfortunately whiffs his throw. That could have been the kill. If he had just if he had just made that throw, that would have killed Quasi. Quasi was open. That's a shame. You know, that's the risk of throwing your weapon. You're not always going to be able to be accurate like that. It's tough. It is tough. So we'll see here. One to one so far. Still first to five going to be a great fight. Beard Bandit can be taking these throw risks, but he's got to be careful. You can't just throw that out willy-nilly. Got to really choose choose his moments well. Excellent drag. Quasi was ready for it, though, and he's following it up with an acceleration. That's smart. So Beard Bandit is keeping in mind these uh, acceleration to drag mix-ups. Quasi, though, one of the strongest fighters in the game. Hands down. He's ready to punish it. He just got a crouch overhead acceleration on Beard Bandit, so a very fast attack using the MSR, and went for the drag. Crouch acceleration hit to a drag overhead heavy hit. Very smart. Very good move. Two to one, Quasi to Beard Bandit. Very, very strong showing so far from both fighters. So we'll see how it goes here on out. Interesting that he's sticking with the Messer. Uh, he, I guess he feels that the Messer is a better matchup against the Danex. Oh, but he's getting he's getting a little messed up from the hecklers in the crowd asking for silence in chat. I can't blame him. He is he must be sweating fighting Beard Bandit. Also, one of absolutely the best players in the game. One of the best Danex users in the game as well. So we'll see here. Oh, an excellent drag from Quasi, ready to take out Beard Bandit. So Beard Bandit, oh, and Quasi goes in with the combo. That is an example of what we've been talking about all night, stealing initiative and or gambling. Quasi, instead of waiting for his opponent to repost after his opponent blocked his attack, Quasi instead decided to combo accelerate. This is one of Quasi's favorite moves. It's a very popular one in the meta currently. It's what people describe as gambling, but it's obviously not. As you can see, Quasi knew it would land, and lo and behold, that is his second victory to Beard Bandit's first, I believe. Second or third? <laughs> we'll see. Referees have got the number. Chat, let me know what the... Uh, let me know what the... Uh, what the score is. So here we go. Beard Bandit playing a little bit more carefully here, but already starting off the bat with a hit. Half health. Quasi only needs one overhead to kill him, and an overhead drag. Excellent work by Quasi. Really just really just an excellent showing here. Three to one. Thank you, Drop to Hold. Three to one, Quasi to Beard Bandit. Oh, Quasi's drags are scary. Beard has a more aggressive play style. Uh, it, you know, it, it's, it's tough. At this level, it's going to be a bit of back and forth. Um, it's really just about who was playing better. And, you know, let's let's be fair to Beard Bandit. He's been casting with me all night. It's tiring. We've been going on for three and a half hours. So he hasn't really had a chance to rest. Four to one. Game point to Quasi. He's still been doing excellent. Excellent showing against one of the strongest players here. Here we go. 
Weird coming in with these drags. Excellent job switching up to the acceleration, making sure Quasi is having a hard time countering. If he could just focus on taking out Quasi's stamina here, he could absolutely get rid of that Messer. Though, of course, then Quasi just has the Dane Axe, so it's not exactly the best, but he could at least land a hit, hopefully. Wow, great. So, Beer Bandit tried to steal the initiative, uh, saw that Quasi was going to attack with the repo, so he combo fainted to parry. There we go! Quasi trying to steal Beard Bandit's initiative, Beard punishing him for it. That is exactly what you need to do. I'm glad we're seeing that out of Beard. Uh, Quasi with these excellent drags. Beard just throwing out a throw, hoping, hail marrying it, hoping it's gonna land with Quasi. He's gotta do a little bit better with those throws. Wait until Quasi's gonna whiff, then punish him for it. That would have been a good time, but also, he only has one weapon, so too risky. He's trying to pick up his second day, and there we go. So he has the throw once again available. They both should be at about full stamina. Um, both, both probably one hit away. I'm not sure quite what Quasi's at here. Let's see. Ah, but then Quasi with the overhead drag. Another overhead drag takes Beard Bandit out. Excellent fight. Good showing from Beard Bandit. Very strong fighter. And again, of course, Beard Bandit's been streaming with me for almost three and a half hours. So, uh, <laughs> he, uh, he, of course, must be tired by now. Great job, Quasi. He goes on to the next round. He will be fighting... Uh, Adrian and Ick are going to be fighting, so he's going to be fighting the winner of that. Either well Adrian or Well fought from Quasi. Absolutely. Well fought from Quasi. Hey, great job, Beard Bandit. Great showing. It's tough. And I just want to remind everyone, you've been streaming for three and a half hours now, almost. That's exhausting. <laughs> That's exhausting. It happens, man. Hey, you know what? I made mistakes. It happens. I'm going to try and learn from them and come back stronger and losers, and we'll do our best to keep going. Yeah, Quasi's drags really are incredible. Yeah, you know what, Beard I Bandit? I hope you get a chance to fight Rayon. How amazing, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. You know, the thing is, sometimes, you know, uh, I think a couple of those fights, I made a, just a couple of, like, really, really easy mistakes, like just not hitting the Too right button when throw. I'm countering. Oh, there was that one throw. There was that one throw that would have killed him. Would have oh, killed him, but I lost yeah. it, and I kind of lost the momentum, and Quasi took advantage. So, excellent job from him. Not really that surprised, but... uh great stuff and it was a pleasure to fight him. I'm excited to see if we can try and bring it back next time but still excited to cast. I'm, I'm very excited to see what you pull out. So uh, moving on to Adrian and Ick. I'm uh, spectating Adrian. He's already okay. got the advantage against Ick here. Boom, another another hit. Let's get a score. Oh, that was it. That was uh that was it. Adrian beat Ick just there. <laughs> <laughs> and there it is. <laughs> so I'm wondering who I would be fighting. In the losers bracket, you would yeah. be. Uh, so the loser that's a of great Y question. would be against Kean's better. Whoever Kean's better would be. I think that's Daedalus, but didn't Daedalus lose? I. I don't remember. No, who, who fought Steezy? It was. Um, uh, was fighting Steezy. I think that was. Why. Why? I don't remember. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe <yeah>. chat remembers. <laughs> I'm sure we'll the referees out. have got it. Uh, I yeah. say we watch Cryptic and Cinemorg next. I think Absolutely. that's going to be a really interesting fight. That's going to be a fucking really great fight. Excuse mm -hmm. my language. That's going to be a really great fight. <laughs> that's okay. Whatever. Yeah, it's going to be uh, an amazing fight from two of the best players in the game and some very different styles as well. Cryptic Absolutely. not taking, not doing these crazy drags. I'll take Cinemorg if you want to take Cryptic. Sure. I also love that they have very similar armor, but different colors. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they've got something similar going on. He's got the lion, or Cryptic has the lion's head, and uh, Cinemark's rocking the default knight, but with his classic unwrecking or, or you know unmistakable uh, clown armor <laughs> he looks good i love it if, <laughs> if you stand out if you stand out on the battlefield then you, you know look what? good in my book <laughs> there it is so we have about about a mirror match different one-handed weapons and then uh, cryptic has a bit of an advantage with the one-hander there because it has blunt damage against cinemorgs knight but they're both Absolutely. taking messer so we should see an interesting fight here we're probably just going to see Messer to Messer the whole time. I Messer, wouldn't be surprised. I, I wouldn't be surprised. If someone drops their Messer, then they're probably going to die. Yeah, I agree. Now we've got an RDMer in here. Japanese character 78. <laughs> mm -hmm. There he goes. Goodbye. Adios. I love watching that. I love watching people poop out of the Beautiful. I had somebody trying to intentionally TK me while I was streaming one time and uh, just let him hit me until while I was healing until he uh, pooped out of existence. No way. It That's was so funny. Hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> Those are the best. All right, here we go. A a attack cancel from Cinemark right away. Interesting. Cryptic and He ready. does live those. Yeah, Cryptic has a very strong defense, so he's not he's probably not gonna fall for those cancels too often. And there we go. Wow. Excellent. Drag to acceleration follow-up. Sometimes hard to see with the messer because of how uh, how long it is. But yeah, there the we animations go. Animations are a little bit similar. Sometimes it feels like when you're watching an overhead, it could look a slash or, or something similar. So you have to be prepared for those. Oh, and another great 
Absolutely. They're both really combo. good at manipulating. Oh, but he loses his weapon. Oh, oh, but he punished it. Cryptic panic attacked, or rather, uh, uh, Cinemorph panic attacked. Cryptic was able to punish that with that one handed acceleration. Beautiful. And honestly, it was better that he lost his weapon. He was able to bait out a range attack that was going to miss. And then punish with a quick one-handed weapon attack. Absolutely, that actually works in his favor that time. If Sidamore had just been a little more careful, a little more careful, yeah. he probably could have taken that back. Absolutely. Alright, here we go. That's one to Cryptic, zero to Sidamore. Is this this is for it to seven now, isn't it? Uh, no, this is still first to five. Still first to five. Oh, that's a, probably a good call. That's probably a good call. Yeah, I think we're doing first of seven for the semifinals and finals, so maybe just the finals. I'm not 100% sure. We'll also do, a, we're going to be doing an interview with the semifinalists as well. Just interview? So you know. Yeah, we're going to do a pre-fight interview with them. Okay, very nice. Yeah. So here we go. Uh, Cryptic and Cinemork back at it. Neither has the advantage here. Cryptic probably has better stamina. I see Cinemork doing these long, heavy attacks. Mm -hmm. And if Cryptic is able to counter them, then uh, he's going to just maintain that stamina advantage over Cinemark here. Oh, but oh, the kick! The kick and the acceleration kick. to a 360 wow. spin! Oh my goodness. Uh, absolutely incredible. Oh, but Cryptic is ready to punish. They pull Oh, they're with. swinging for the fences right <laughs> they now. They really are. They're going, trying to extend the uh, range of their weapons as far as they can go. Here we are, both just, just getting these attacks out. Cryptic's probably not going to be able to compete with Cinemorph's incredible Man. drags. Uh, I mean, uh, those, those around the back stab Ooh. that, that Cinemorph oh, is famous beautiful. for. Oh, beautiful. All right, so they're both equal. Well. Cinemorph's probably lower on stamina, but they both have the same amount of health right now. Yeah. One more light attack will probably take him out before they recharge are the health. But uh, Cinemorph's still going for these heavies. If Cryptic can just play carefully, he can knock that weapon out of his hand. I think so, yeah. I think there needs to be a couple more Axels that happen here for some stamina negation because there's too many drags and people are just going to counter for the time. I, that's but, exactly, wow! exactly. Yeah, Cinemorph, he, he is so good at those drags. It really is his talent, but he just focuses too much on them. Uh, they're hard to do. They're very high skilled, but and, and the thing is, accelerations are so easy. He should all he needs to do is look down or look into the direction. So I want, I really yeah. want to see more of that from him. That that would be what he needs needs to use to take Cryptic out. It's not my fault. Okay. No. Okay. Here we are. Two to Cryptic. Two Cryptic. Zero Cinemark so far. Looks like my next opponent's gonna be Swag too. So we're gonna have a Ooh, tough time. Nice. Good luck. Good luck with that longsword. All right, here we go. Wow, Cryptic doing a wow! jump, a jump to low <laughs> kick. That was amazing. What, what a move, what a move. And it actually worked. Connected an attack on Cinemark. Excellent drag by Cryptic. Cinemark ready to punish it though. Here we yes, go, back into the volley. With his own attacks here. I mean, he's not ready to give up yet. Cryptic really pulling out these wacky moves. I love it. I want to see more of these jump kicks. That was absolutely incredible. Absolutely. Cryptic playing you know very the score carefully. Is right now for these two, uh, so. two to zero. Cryptic to yeah, cryptic to Cinemark, I believe. Excellent. Here we go, and the oh, kick. Oh, what a kick! Oh, wow, he missed a rainbow he drag. Almost it, missed. But he almost missed, but he rainbow dragged it back around. Absolutely. <laughs> Three to zero. Cryptic to Cinemark. Uh, cryptic doing excellent. I need to see Cinemark, what he really needs to do here is start accelerating. Those accelerations are what's going to throw Cryptic off because if Cryptic so. is expecting that acceleration, then then Cinemark pulls out one of those wild drags. It's going to land. Yeah, so, I believe so. Switching to Dana, he's doubling down on the drags, I see. All right, here we go. It's got the Executioner Axe in. Executioner's Axe, sorry, yeah. He's really, he's really going to try and do these wild drags, so I'm excited to see what he pulls off. Yeah, I like that, but Cryptic was ready for it. All right. Oh, going for the reverse, reverse heavy attack. Very interesting. But he's already low on stamina. Cryptic is ready to punish him. Yeah, these these heavies, they they can be good, but they're too risky with the stamina negation. Cinemork is losing the stamina battle here. Yeah, I don't think that the executioner axe was, was particularly a good swap and swap here. I don't think so. I think he should have stuck with the messer. You I know, think he just needs to work in his axles more. I agree, and he and he's decided to take a weapon that's better at dragging instead. Unfortunately here, but uh, Cryptic already punished him twice. Cryptic just needs one more heavy attack uh, or one more overhead light to kill uh, Cinemark here. So we'll see. Going for that drag? Wow. Yeah, I, I thought he was going to get in there, honestly. Uh, almost, yeah. almost. Oh, man, I really thought that was going to connect. These oh, incredible he's drags. He's float, man. I mean, he's one of the best <laughs> executioner really axe players. They, they float, float around. Absolutely. He, he's not doing so many of these wild uh, 
Oh, wow. wow. What a catch there. Yeah, so uh, Cryptic just changed up his rhythm there. Sometimes all you need to do to win is just not keep up with that typical rhythm. Slow it right. down a little bit. Oh, he forfeits. Make a pattern, then break the pattern. forfeits. Oh, no. He gives up. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, no. He's got one more. Dude. Come on, is that... Yeah, try, try, try one more time. Might as well give it a shot, man. Yeah, try one more time. Okay, he's coming. He's coming back. He's coming back. Good, good, good. All right, <laughs> give it a shot, Sita. <laughs> you got it, brother. Bring it back. Excellent fight from both fighters here. Sita, putting up a good fight, but Cryptic has just one of the best defenses in the game. Really, I think he's really, really. Oh, I say that he sneaks Great a hit punch. in. He's not going to be able to have that defense up 100% of the time. But mm -hmm. yeah, Cryptic Get really does slip. have that strong defense. There we wow. go. All right, Cinemore can pull this around. He's playing a bit Attack more carefully canceled. now. He's doing some accelerations, still focusing so hard on these drags. It's too easy for Cryptic's defense to counter those. There yeah, we go. I, he's he's excellent at knowing how to counter those kind of things. So just doing constant drags is going to allow Cryptic to just counter and keep his stamina. Oh, great the time. crouch dodge. Excellent matrix there on Cinemore's yeah. part. Definitely a skill he has, not one that I see in use in the highest levels too often, unfortunately. It's quite a little bit of a gamble to crouch and then uh, rely on that as a thing, but if you can make that an extra thing on top of your parry or your footwork, that can be essential. I totally agree. Oh, and I really oh, thought that, that was going to land. I almost I thought did that too. you would have got that. There, there oh! we go. There we go. All right, Cinemark, he's low. How low is uh, Cryptic right now? He's extremely low. He's kick or jab away. Cinemark's got a jab. He does. He almost never jabs. Or there we go. Oh, yeah, there it is. He wow. Did it. Did it. wow. Oh my God! And he comes back Woo. just when he thought he wasn't even gonna win. Imagine what if he would have just gave up. Uh, exactly. That's why you never give up. Never, never, give in. never stop trying. Never give in. There's always a chance. Always a chance. 100%. Alright, so this is 4 to 1. Let's see Cinemark pull it back. You've got this, Cinemark. Some great fighters here, an excellent match, and I'm excited to see how the rest of this go. Big around the back drag. Yeah, almost landed there. He's starting. He's finally starting to do these accelerations and a, 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 a gamble or initiative steal there to get that hit in to Cryptic. All right, Cryptic so they're torch though, but oh, wow, wow. just out of range, he did it. just he out of range did and gets it. a big hit. Wow, incredible. Okay, Cinemark, you can do this, man. Let, oh, great rainbow drag from Cryptic. He's ready for it. This is anybody's fight here. It this really is. Really close. They, they're both just one oh, hit away shit. from victory here. We are. I'm glad to see he's finally doing these accelerations that he needs to do. Woo! Oh, uh, he's low. low oh, but he gets into the range hit in. Man, these guys are wow. so low. Both of them. Wow. And what a what a back and a forth fight. Absolutely. And he was, he's going for the oh, jab kill, but he can't pull it up. Now that regen is gone. Let's <laughs> yeah. see if he can finish him off. And Cryptic didn't get. Cryptic couldn't get a jab in. He was. Oh. Yes! Oh my God! The low kick again! The low kick! The low kick! It works so well. So wow. we're coming back. Cinemark. Unbelievable! Oh, Never dude. give in! Never, Never give, give up! up. <laughs> wow! An excellent showing of why you should never give in. There's always a chance. Always a chance! Absolutely! Absolutely! Sickle <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Cinemork more like Sickle Morphs. 100% Garden Mode. He's still playing more now, man. Let him be! Yeah. <laughs> wow, so look, at, look at these cancels. cancels. It's just gonna waste go. stamina, though. Cryptic's ready for it. Yeah, Ripstick is going to punish him for it if he, yeah. if he starts getting too confident. Like, he has a chance, but he still has to play well. Yeah, uh, not, not the time. not going to roll over. Not the time to start experimenting with uh, attack cancels, in my opinion. All right, so good hit by Cryptic. We'll see if Cinemore can pull it around. He's got to keep those accelerations up and then do those long ass drags. Wow, he tried to he tried to steal Cryptic's initiative, but Cryptic was ready for it. What a lot of drag. Again, oh, wow. I mean that—that that is his talent. It, it, that's what he needs to do is the mix-up, but his basics really have to be really have to be on point here. That is one of the things that we kind of noticed with Stidham work when we started first playing. We said like he's got the best tracks in the game. Hands 100, down. Hands nobody, down. Did, no, nobody, nobody None, will debate that. None but he better. needs he needs to work on the rest of his gameplay, and that seems like that's uh, the one thing that he is having trouble with. But what a great axle that was. Oh, well, there we go. Cryptic's coming in. Cinemark's very low. Just the jab. There's oh, the kick. and the kick. Uh, and an excellent and, job from Cinemark. Keep yeah. up a great fight, but Cryptic is going to take that win. Good work, I've, Cryptic. Very strong player. Absolutely one of the best defenses in the game. Absolutely. And Cinemark did really well. The comeback was there.
Wow. All right. Wow. Great work. I believe right. Ziggy Lana and Shin TTV are fighting right now still. I believe. I'm not sure what the score is. I, at. Think, I think they're it's three, three to three. three. Yep. I, I'm watching like, Shin. If you want to go to quiet. Ziggy Lana. I'm on Ziggy. Yeah. Okay. This is quite a close match. Oh, I know. Excellent I know both acceleration. These players are, are very, very good. So let's see how the matchup here is going to go. I'd say Shin has has the advantage with the long sword if we're just talking about straight up stats here. But yes. uh, it all depends if Ziggy Lotta can, can maintain those counters. Well, wow! Great drag. Great drag. A good I, drag on the toes there. I think Shin just probably choked it up thinking, wow, he read he read Ziggy Lotta's crouch overhead drag. That was clever. Hard clever. read from Shin there. Oh, but he missed oh. the special! Oh. And now he's super yeah, low. This is dangerous for Shin here. He's got to be careful. There we go. This Ed. is a very close fight. Oh, oh shit. wow, he's not even... He oh. has no health. Here we go. Oh my god, he's disarmed. Oh my god. Here, here comes Shin back. Oh shit. He, oh, that We're could have missing. been either of them. This he's taking insane. out the sword. He's taking out the sword to better fight the dagger. Interesting. Is Ziggy Ziggy gonna go for the, oh, he's getting the regen and he went back for the great wow. sword. Wow. I mean, they're still alive. This fight has been going on for how long? Uh, uh, before long the fight. Time. <laughs> yeah, before the fight, the last fight between Cryptic and, uh, and Cinemark. Before the last fight, Fun. so. Unbelievable. I mean, the, oh, the and he lost the weapon again. There we go. Keep the long sword, Shin. That is the move you got to do. You have the greatest. Don't don't let him pick up the great sword. Ah, that 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 is always my issue. They got to get insane, aggressive. Man, he's yeah. He has when, once you once you uh, really really get the pressure on them. Once you disarm somebody, you need to keep the pressure on. You really just got to attack. Oh, wow! <laughs> oh, an amazing axel from Ziggy. Ooh. Excellently played. I mean, you Ooh. cannot not put the pressure on him he knows how to back away and get his range if you let him yeah you you got to keep that pressure up you've got to just keep going wow keep and that was moving. an extremely long fight he must have been low on stamina when ziggy Lotta ran out of his weapon and he wanted to give him room that you got it got to just get up in that face especially with that uh dagger it would have been so easy for him to just knock that out of his hand absolutely i mean what a fantastic <sighs> fight for both Oof. those fighters though Not damn I mean, neck and neck the whole... I, I love this tournament because it's been such good performances from every fighter. I mean... Oh, everyone's really stuff. doing... Everyone's really bringing their best. Absolutely. That's a shame he tried to dodge that. So there's a little little bit of wasted stamina Ooh. there. So Ziggy Shin's landed really, a nice slash there. He did. Shin is really low on stamina here. Oh, but he Ooh. punished Ziggy Lotta's special. Excellent move by Shin. If he just keeps nice. up that pressure, doesn't let Ziggy Lotta get in those initial moves here. He can use the longsword, but he shouldn't. Yeah, he sh exactly. He's trying to be stealing the initiative like this. Yeah. Not not just waiting for Ziggy Lotta's attack to re repost. Yeah, there we go. Oh, good work, Shin TTV. That was a good re read from Shin. Uh, Ziggy, you tried to go for the special there. I thought he had the range, but Shin read it, was able to close, and was able to get the kill. Yeah, so, so Shin, Shin right here, he is... Uh, making sure that Ziggy Lotta never is given the opportunity to do those long range or special attacks um, off of his own. So Shin is ready. Shin is ready to attack when Ziggy Lotta starts to attack. And because that long sword's so fast, it's gonna land first. So here we are. Game point for both. Four to four. Here we fucking go. Let's get ready for a good fight, everybody. Here's match point. Let's see who's gonna take this win. I mean, anybody's fight here. Absolutely anyone's fight. They both fought very well so far. Let's see how they. Let's see how they do. Let's see if Ziggy uses his range well. He goes yeah. for a kick mix up there, which could be interesting, but Shin was able to read it and not get punished by it. Yep, he he was able to even land a stab on Ziggy. Ziggy's low on stamina. You can tell he's huffing and puffing. He's keeping so his Shin range. Should follow Ziggy's up not going to punish him. Yeah, yeah. he's he's way, he's very. Uh, uh, there we go. Oh. Great punish with the overhead acceleration. Ziggy is on the ropes. He's got oh, oh. oh. And a quick Axel is able to kill oh. Ziggy at the very last second. An excellent, showing excellent showing from, from Ziggy Lotta. There. It's very hard to counter those long swords. Uh, it's, it's a very fast weapon. Absolutely, but well, I mean, what a, what a great showing from both fighters there. Ziggy is still in the game. I mean, he has not been eliminated twice. He goes to losers now, and he still has a chance to bring it back. So, not out of the game just yet. Woo, all right, excellent so, job from Shin. Yeah. I mean, well fought victory. He's an excellent player in his own right. So, well oh, fought, hard won. Yeah, that was really well, really well fought. So it looks like we're on to the next bracket of losers. Uh, Cinemork is now finding Soder Dave. Interesting matchup here. I'll take right, Cinemork. I'll go ahead and follow. Okay, I'll go ahead and follow Dave then. Sounds good. Sounds wow. good. I mean, all these fights have been neck and neck. It's just so, so close. These fighters are putting up really, really, really all their energy and effort into this. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. All right, here we go. 
Okay, great jab by Cinemark. <laughs> Dave is ready for it. Yeah. Oh man, a jab fight. Oh, he oh! punished the miss special. Here we go, Cinemark. Taking the executioner's axe against the sword. Yeah, oh, wow. that's that's oh, wow. a rough that's a rough matchup right there. Yeah, I mean, if Rayon can do it, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> so consider. Hey, yeah, fuck me. You're absolutely right. <laughs> It's uh, Sita 1, Soder 1, so this is a pretty well uh, even match so far. Let's see who's going to start taking a lead here. Oh, and do you know when you're fighting next in the loser's bracket? Um, I am not 100% sure. I believe it would be... I thought you were going to... Oh, no, we don't know who you were fighting. That's right. I think it's going to be... No, I know. It's going to be Swag. Swag map. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so it should be in this round. All right, yeah, excellent. If you have to bow out, that's fine. I'll just keep with this fight until the uh, yeah, until no do. But hopefully, hopefully they wait to call you in. Yeah, not a, not a problem at all. Wow, he accidentally flourished. You gotta rebind oh, that. Oh, and then the email gets punished yeah. quickly. Uh, and then another <laughs> dragon. <laughs> so Dave just sits there and takes three slashes oh. right off the rip. Well, you got it. You everyone, if you're watching this right now, everyone, you have to rebind flourish off of your middle mouse button. Do not keep it there. Absolutely, <laughs> I rebinded that so long that, ago. That was I mean, the first, a... first and only rebind I had for a long time. A long time. <laughs> yeah, get that off of your middle mouse button. Put it anywhere on your keyboard. You are going to accidentally use it sometimes. Just be careful Absolutely. there. Absolutely. I think yeah. I have mine on V. I've been using V for a while. The I have mine on control, I, and uh, I just uh, I use shift to crouch. Interesting. All right, here we go. So Sidamork, I'm glad he switched to the Messer. Definitely a better matchup versus the sword here than the Executioner's Axe. I'm gonna give him a little bit more speed, a little bit more ability to deal with the combos, and uh, still has excellent range. Oh, he yeah. read the kick there. Excellent work. Oh, one of the spectators takes a hit. A referee. A hit. He hit the ref. <laughs> DQ, DQ. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Excellent jab. Oh, a jab to kick combo does not fool Crypto. Or Cinemore. Does not fool him. Oh, wow. Cinemore keeping up the pressure. This is the acceleration play I need to see from him when he's fighting a two handed. That's what he needs Ooh. to do as well, right? It seems like he's having a little bit of a. A resurgence in his uh, ability to axel now. He's he, it yeah, out. he's getting a second wind here later in the night. He is ready to come out. He's ready to Absolutely. fucking finally take this victory. I can't wait to see it. All right, here I we go. So is that Dave three? He's gonna be able to turn this around. He's got a very aggressive playstyle. He knows how to get in quick and get some big jabs and big kicks in to really keep somebody pressured. But can he use that uh, against Sidemore? Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, Cinemark just uh, run dodging. That's an old chivalry move right there. That's really yeah. interesting. Not as effective run anymore. How. Yeah, run now indeed. Look at that. Oh, but there it is yeah, again. Yeah. yeah, not uh, super effective in this game, unfortunately. Not as it used to be. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, 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 he's just out of range. He gets a huge special. Oh, he's just a couple jabs away. If Soder Dave just maintains that jab pressure, Cinemark is going down here. Is what Soder Dave loves to do. That's his. I'm that's his main move. I, yeah, he should know that. Is there we go? There's the kick. There's the regen to stop. Well, the, we he's uh, he's at about a fifth of health, so he's still got some leeway here with that sword. Oh, oh wow! Oh. And there's that. Woo! Jam. There is that. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. Great work here. Great work on both Sita and Soda. I hope it looks it's it's uh, lining up to be another close match, another five Man, to four I mean, showing. Every time, it seems like everybody's bringing their A game. It's just getting Seriously. neck and neck every match, man. Absolutely, absolutely, and it, it's I can't just been stop so good because it, it just keeps happening. You know, it, <laughs> I'm so happy that the the high level sort of names of Chivalry Two have grown. They've really expanded in these past right. just in, just in this past week here. We are seeing people. Soder Dave, look at him. He's getting so far in the bracket here, and you know, a relatively unknown player up until now. So this is this is just so exciting for the dual community at large absolutely i mean this is just the start this is just the start just like, we the are start it's the, the very, first one it's the first one the very very beginnings of the chivalry 2 competitive community and it seems like people are really enjoying this and the turnout's been great so i expect to see even more of this come in the future Oh, I oh, hope so. Great oh, kick. great kick, but Cinemark does still have the health advantage. Not any longer. Soda Dave is coming up with these fast attacks. Hard to read. Oh, Ooh. that's interesting. I think what happened there is that Soda tried to attack. He should have blocked. Cinemark was ready for it. If he had just blocked, he would have been okay. That's interesting. All right, game point on Cinemark's part. Soda Dave is down. 4-2 indeed. 
that the recovery from losing your weapon is not that bad, especially when it's a shield because you still have the weapon in your hand. So if he's ready to block it, he, it should not have landed there. But that's all right. You can't you can't play at your best all the time? Don't always. Yeah, everybody makes mistakes. There's always a chink in somebody's armor. <laughs> Isn't that a Carrie Pip Kitty Perry song? <laughs> everybody makes, makes mistakes. Mistakes. <laughs> That's right, dude. Absolutely. All right, here we go. Cinemark once again. Get this Katy Perry out of my chivalry too. Cinemark once again coming out. All right, he's got about less than half health. He's doing all these attack cancels. So many babies not gonna fall for it. Yeah. Oh, uh, great heavy. Great heavy to land on Cinemark. Soda Dave really playing carefully here, knowing it's game point. Cinemark taking he's too many low risks. On spam. He, Cinemark, he just keeps. Low on spam. Oh, oh, great, great initiative steal on Cinemark's part. Very risky. But yeah, if. if oh, oh my god, oh. what an excellent drag. And he pulls out and that's the win. Be Cinem moving on. Well done, Cinemark. All right, so Ick, nonstop action right now. Ick and Gerber Day are going ham over here on the uh, Mason side. I'll Let's take see. I'm gonna go ahead and speak to Gerber. Great, so it's three to there two. Are Ick. Three two. Beautiful. Great, so they're evenly matched as far as loadouts go. Gerber's really strong, we know, with those gambles. Ooh, I rather uh, drags. Yeah, great disarm, got a good hit in, but not enough to take Gerber out. Enough to even up the match here a bit though. Mm-hmm. So Gerber has switched to a Messer now. If he focuses on that stamina negation, that's what he can use to take Ick out here. But no! But he's already oh. out on a quick Nothing strike here. from Ick. That longsword speed comes in handy on those disarms because it will allow you to get that hit in most of the time. Ick's Some of the so slower fast. weapons are not really capable of, of getting what a hit is? on if unless unless you are really close range uh, with those uh, kick cancel or the kick punishes, I should say. Yeah. Oh, oh, absolutely. I essentially, if I'm going to be punishing a kick, I have to have my combo queued before I know the kick has connected, or else absolutely. it's just not going to land. You hesitate for a second, and that opportunity is wasted because somebody's already dodged to reset their parry. But of course, it's a risk if you attack and they don't read it, then they can get a hit in you. Great two hits. It looks like Gerbide switched to longsword. It looks like this was the right move for him. He's got two hits wow. on Ick. Ick already so low. Right. Oh, oh but, but he gets a kick. kick in. Wow! The it kick! Oh! oh what an overhead what? acceleration on the whiff! There we go! There wow, we go, the, Gerber Day! Nice job, Gerber. Well done. It's still game points, so that's four Ick, three Gerber. Long sword switch was the right decision. That's really exciting that's to see. So let's see if Ick decides to change or if he's going to also keep with the uh, with the long sword knight here. We'll see. So you're gonna stick with the long sword knight. Okay, so a nice mirror match. I expect this to go anyway. Gerber's gotta win two more matches to win. Ix only gotta win this one, so we will see. Alright, so they're both just sort of testing each other out here. You know, it's always careful when just deciding when you're going to attack. If you Absolutely. just if you time it wrong, your opponent's going to take advantage of that. Oh, excellent counter. Oh my god, wow. he crouch dodged that jab. That is so hard to do. If you can yeah. pull that off, unfortunately it didn't work out for him. Great acceleration. If It didn't work out for him there, but if you can do that consistently, truly a strong move. Whoa! Whoa, Whoa and he just batters him away with the longsword. Get out of the ring. Unbelievable. And with that, Gerber Day <laughs> ties it up. Cheer. <laughs> with the cheer. Absolutely. Great work. That That is a tied match. Here we go. Four to fucking four. That is what I like to see. <laughs> Love to see that. Every time. It's so great. Well, yeah, I, is very. This is no. This is the kind of loadout switch that I'm talking about. He's got a Messer two-handed hammer, Vanguard, and then a longsword knight. That is a solid, solid pair of loadouts good right spread, there. Right? Yeah, you got you got the ability to deal with a lot of different kits. Good. Yeah, Gerber Day says his ass is clenched. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, Gerber Day. Gotta keep clenching, brother. You don't <laughs> you want gotta, him to leak out. Yeah, <laughs> keep it tight, my man. Keep it tight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Looking good. They're both sort of circling each other. Just two predators looking each other down. Very nice. Great, great drag. Oh, oh great wow. jab. Here we go. Oh, wow. All right, Ick pulling it out. All right, so now they're just both resetting to neutral. Oh, oh he tried to do the crouch good. dodge. Oh, oh wow. Oh. I mean, that's not how I thought that was going to go. I, I Excellent job either. from Ick. Yeah, he, he just pulls it out. Goddamn. Oh, and he misses the jab, and that is going to be the thing that kills him. That sucks. Uh, Got to be careful of those jabs. They can be I really good. I died to missing jabs from people crouching or being out of range all yeah. the time. Yeah. There's a crutch that happens to me consistently, so I know that pain, but well fought by Ick. Well Fought by Gerber. Absolutely. Match. Absolutely. Man, every, every match has been naked. 
keep t- saying it because every time it's the truth. Yeah, goddamn. All right. Goddamn it. Hey, now, chat, thank you for the all next... the bits and subscriptions and everything. We're not really interacting oh, yeah. with chat tonight, focusing on the fights, but it's Absolutely. all still appreciated. The same here as well. We've been getting a lot of support on the yeah. streams, and we yeah. all really, really appreciate it, guys. So thank you, you so take much a, for all the support. A, for all and the nice we're words, here for you, right? So thank you so much for coming out and enjoying the commentary. I hope you like it. Let us know. We want to do more. So, you know, if you guys are here, we're, we're here for you. Absolutely, absolutely. So are you so fighting now, now, or are we going back I, to the winner's bracket? I think so. I think it's going to be me and Swag. Let's see. Hello, you two. Yeah, Beard, you're up next, man. All right, let's go ahead and hit that, then. I'll be back. All right, good luck, Beard Bandit. So, Garden Boat, before you go, let's just uh, let's just walk through the bracket for the chat here. Um, yeah, absolutely. So we've got Beard Bandit versus Swag Mountain. Ick just fought Gerber Day, and Ick just won. Then we've got Ziggy Lotta versus Rayon, and then Sidamork already fought. Okay, great. Yep. Great. So the winners of these two fights here, um, the winner of Beard Bandit versus Swag will go on to fight Ick. The winner of Ziggy Lotta versus Rayon will go on to fight Sidamork. And then um, after those two matches, we will be moving on to winners semifinals where we will start doing our one battle at a time streams. So the last uh, six or so. So Quasi Adrian, Cryptic Shin will be one at a time. Yes, okay. yes, Quasi Excellent. Adrian, and then Cryptic Shen, and then we will go ahead and do um, the, the losers of those two fights versus the winners of the losers' fights. Great, and then and once think. once the winner of the losers is decided and the two semifinals, we'll do an interview with all three? Yep, that sounds good. All right, uh, if you could just let them know for us and then give them the permission or drag them up into chat, that would be excellent. Absolutely, absolutely. I believe you have permissions, but I'll make sure about that. Thank you, that'd be great. Okay, I'm no going to get back to this fight. They're already begun, so yes, here we yes. go. Go through it. Get to it. All right, so Beard Bandit on the ropes already. Unfortunately, we missed the start of that. Oh, he's able to pick up his Dane Axe right before Swag is able to punish him, but Beard Bandit is still so low. One jab away, and it's death. He's just got to he's gotta maintain that distance. He's got to get ranged so he can... Oh, that long sword. That's rough. You know, Double Dane Axe Vanguard versus Long Sword Knight is going to be a tough match up. A tough matchup indeed. If I were Beard Bandit, I would be switching off to his to his uh, his knight loadout, as he said he had. So we'll see. We'll see if he sticks with the Danax. Danax, very strong weapon, very strong indeed, and it does only need two. Yeah, there we go. Beard Bandit coming in with the knight battle axe. This is going to be a much better matchup for Beard Bandit here. He's going to have better stamina negation. He's going to have uh, fewer hits to kill to take out Swag Mountains. So he essentially has more health than Swag here. So we we can or rather Beard Bandit can pull this out. All right, here we go. Yeah, Swag Mountain as a replacement for Keon. Swag is really incredible. One of the strongest longsword fighters in the game. He's really stuck with it the entire time. So kudos to him. Stealing Beard Bandit's initiative. Beard has to be careful here. Of course, the longsword's faster. Wow, great whiff. Great heavy to uh, disarm. Unable to follow it up, unfortunately. But there we go. We get an attack, and he's going to get his longsword back. Beard Bandit goes for the throw again. Beard Bandit. Oh, what? That's... Oh, oh no. Oh, he should not have thrown there. That is a great, great move by Swag Mountains. Kian. All right, thank you, Cody. Now, great move by Swag Mountains, but Beard Bandit really should not have thrown his weapon. Got to keep that weapon in hand. He really, he really does always screw himself with these throws. When he's using that double Dane axe loadout, it's so strong. It's so strong. But when he's only got one primary weapon, it's a veritable mistake. He's got to watch that out. Though, again, let's give Beer Bandit some credit. Streaming for now four hours with me. God damn, we're going strong. He's doing his best. So here we go. Let's see. If he he's got the better stamina negation. He's he's too he's too eager to steal Swag Mountain's initiative here. It's just too easy for Swag Mountain to just repost into Beard Bandit's attack. Great drag there. But there we go. Swag just ready with a fast attack and a drag himself. Let's, I, if I were to give Beer Bandit some advice right now, it would be to tighten up his defense, turtle up a little bit, use those reposts, and yes, he went for the counter instead, so I was able to punish it. That's three to zero, Swag Mountain's Beard Bandit. You know, drop toe hold. I really do wish we had Captain Agatha competing in the tournament tonight. He is one of my favorite fighters of all time, and next time I hope he gets the chance to sign up. I, I absolutely. There are a lot of fighters that play like me, skilled. They got, they know, they know what to do. But uh, there are a few fighters that play with no weapon and just a fist and shield. That's Captain Agatha, and he's absolutely incredible. And so here we go. We got Beard Bandit versus Swag once again. Swag's in the lead, but Beard Bandit can't take it out. 
Okay, here we go. Swag keeping up the pressure. Beard Bandit, excellent defensive feints here, but he doesn't need to counter that often. He just needs to repost. That's really all he's got to do. Swag's got a really solid defense when it comes to these drags here. Beard Bandit's really trying to get these heavies to disarm him. But he just needs these. He just needs light attack reposts. That that's that's the advice I'd be giving him to to him right now if I was in his coaching corner. <laughs> All right, here we are. Oh yeah, great. Oh, great. Trying to get that heavy drag on Swag Mountain, but Swag Mountain was ready for it. Stole Beard Bandit's initiative right there and punished him for it. Beard Bandit's only a jab away from death, so he's got to be very careful. He's going to take it back. We will see. Oh, and a great drag. So Beard Bandit tried to steal Swag Mountain's initiative right there with a heavy drag overhead to a combo drag acceleration. Oh, that's so good to hear, Garden Boat. I can't wait. Captain Agatha would be amazing. Amazing. <laughs> All right, here we go. So it looks like they're both in match point. Swag, Ray, Z and Beard. So we will see. We will see. Alright, good luck. Beard Bandit switching once again back to the Danax, thinking he'll do better. Let's see. Let's let there we go. An excellent, excellent faint drag. Let's see the comeback here from Beard Bandit. Oh god, what if Oh, he's trying to punish him with that throw. You know, that would have landed if Beard hadn't been streaming for four hours tonight. <laughs> All right, here we go, Beard Bandit. Oh, almost punished him with that kick. Very close. Oh, God, it's close. Beard Bandit with the throw and going for the fist. Going for the fist and come special. Oh, unable. Unable to pull it out. Oh, wow. Great fight by Swag Mountains and Beard Bandit. Let's, everyone, let's give Beard Bandit a, a hand. He's been doing so well. This, listen, as someone who's not been fighting, has just been commentating this whole time, let me tell you, this has been exhausting for me, your host, Montessoir. I can only imagine how tiring it must be for Beer Bandit to not only be keeping up this excellent commentary, but also going in the ring to fight some of the best fighters in the game. So really, Swag let's- Swag was doing an excellent job, man. Yeah, I mean, he's got, he's got round of applause for Beer Bandit. You did, you did great, dude. You fought your best. Swag Mountain is hard. He's a hard he's opponent. A very very tough opponent so props to him absolute respect he did some really really great decisions so again respect to you beard bandit for commentating with me for almost four hours now two minutes it's four hours has it really been four hours almost been, four hours it hasn't tonight. even felt that long i've been having so much fun commentating, oh, what a great so. night this has been an incredible you know experience I mean? for me i, I hope I've you been, as well oh my man it's been amazing and it's, it's been a pleasure to cast with you so far as well man so thank you so yeah. much for, for having me yeah and, uh, i know it's know. our first time but i feel like we've been together forever <laughs> <laughs> for real man honestly i cannot wait to do this again but uh only casting oh, yeah only casting i yeah uh, that's, you know you know what I, I, my suggestion was for the commentator as much as it was for the tournament itself you oh know? absolutely yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. you gotta I, I completely agree man only casting well, next time well next done. time i think we well make a done. great pair though yeah we'll, we'll, we'll see if we can't get this uh get this commission again <laughs> for sure for sure well done again swag let's go ahead and move on to this next fight what's the next match gonna be my uh friend? so ziggy lotta beat oh no uh who won who won uh, ziggy versus rayon i uh, ziggy lotta was winning so it must have been ziggy, ziggy, ziggy won. if they're not still going must have been ziggy lotta um, so Ziggy Lotta won um, against Rayon, so he's going to be yeah. up against Sidamork next. Okay, Ikka's going awesome. to be fighting Swag. And this so. is a little bit of a revenge match here for Ziggy, because if anybody remembers, last time uh, we did a, uh, I think it was the first tournament we did that I ran, uh, it was Ziggy versus Sidamork, and it was very, very close. So Incredibly I think uh, Ziggy's looking for a chance to uh, redeem himself here a little bit. So it actually might first be the, s the winner's semifinal. Quasi and Adrian versus Cryptic and Shin TT. Oh wow, this is Quasi and Adrian and Cryptic versus Shin. This is these are going to be some amazing fights. I mean, these some of the, these are some of the best players in the game. I say we down. watch Quasi and Adrian. What do you think? A absolutely. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm super happy to, to oh, support no. my buddy Quasi looks, and Adrian. Actually, looks like it's Ick and Ick and uh, Ick and, and Swag. swag. First, yeah. Is it? Okay. Okay. Well, this is a too long. This should be entertaining as well. Two long swords from some of the some of the best long sword players in the game easily. So yeah, one hundred percent. Quite a good mirror match. One hundred percent. I'll go ahead and That's take so true. All right. I'll, yeah, I'll do Ick. That's interesting. That's actually great. They are actually two fantastic long sword players. Are we just waiting for the referees? I guess. <laughs> I believe so. All right. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna empty the bottle once more. I'll be right back if you don't mind. Do that. Man. I'm just gonna stay on Ick's perspective. No worries.
my destiny. I shall. Well, this one yes, demonstrates a firm grasp of the obvious. I'm trying to turn it to it! To be to be For the red and black! Blue team! Cast down prevail. these charlatans! Was there ever a doubt? All right, so it looks like... Sorry, guys, I apologize. Just checking some uh, messages here. It looks like we've got Swag and Ick starting, so they're going to go ahead and get this uh, fight started. Uh, Swag gets a quick attack off, but Ick is able to respond with a quick uh, longsword stab there. Indeed, it looks like Ick has the advantage in health already, isn't that right? I believe so. So here we go. They probably are equal in Stam here, so if it continues with these heavy drags and everything, Swag Mount, yep, yeah, there we go. Swag Mount there took it go. back, taking the sword out. Oh, oh, and Ick following up with an excellent initiative steal. Wow! Oh, wow. A quick stab from Swag is able to really, really damage Woo! Pick, and then he chops the arm off. Great work by Swag Mount. That's one, one to zero, Swag, yes? Absolutely. I didn't miss a full yes, fight or that anything. Is the first, that was the first fight. <laughs> you never know, right? <laughs> you never know, man. Could be quick. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, chat is saying, Beard Bandit, that we are top tier commentators. So thank you, chat. We appreciate it. Beard Bandit and I are certainly trying our best here tonight. Everybody's been really, really loving it and supporting in the chat and, my, and, and mine as well. So, uh, you know, we, we really, you know, we really, really love to hear all the compliments. It's very, 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 very sweet to you guys. And uh, it's going to maybe want to keep doing this. Quite yeah. A bit. I'm really, really enjoying this. So. Let, yeah. Let, uh, write in Reddit or on the Discord or whatever. We want to see more Monty and Beard. <laughs> Let <laughs> us know. <laughs> all right. Here we go. Second round start. Starting now. Let's see what we got. So, excellent uh, excellent volley of counters here. Ick, again, going for these hard heavies. He's wasting too much stamina here. Swag Mountain's gonna, so. yeah, he's gonna... He's gonna disarm him too quickly. Great stab drag by Swag Mountain. Really, he's got those stab drags down. Wow, excellent drag again. Oh, oh my, my god. god! What Just a finish smooth. from Swag. So excellent. That, you know what? That was Swag right there. We saw it. We saw it first. That, that was a mountain of Swag <laughs> a right A mountain there. of Swag, one might say. <laughs> 100 <laughs> percent wow excellent work I shall hmm. all right the other ring seems to have ziggy and sidamore too so I'm do sure we know we'll how it's going into that let's uh i don't know they haven't been updating the scoring chat we'll see i don't believe it. i bet it's an exciting fight over there <laughs> i can believe it all right here we are so an excellent excellent hit by swag mountain on ick Great, great uh, uh, volley of blows here. No one's really getting the upper hand. Ix decided. Yeah. Oh well, they're oh. excellent hit by Swag, but Ix this. Oh, oh wow. again! He's got the pressure. Oh. Push. I mean, with that, like, How Swag did they both miss? Hit. Right? Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> wow! Absolutely wow. incredible. Oh, excellent, excellent. Holy Over shit! There and Swag. a decap too. Always, always yeah. happy to see a decap. Love to see a decap. And I believe it's three Swag now, right? Uh, yep, uh, three swag, X zero. Swag is really showing really well today. today. Absolutely. And the thing is, I mean, swag hasn't really been playing that much recently. I'm surprised that he's doing so well, considering he's been kind of taking a break for a while. But he's coming right back. It's like riding a bike for swag, I see. Some, Getting back on that long sword. Yeah, sometimes what you need is just some time off from the game. You come back, you're refreshed, you're ready to go, you know? Honestly, uh, and, yeah, I totally agree. So that, you know, that's why I've been playing a little bit of other games like Tarkov and such. Coming back to Chivalry 2 is, it's it's easy in comparison to me, at least. <laughs> oh, understandable, totally. I've been doing the same thing, playing and enjoying other games, but still, you still gotta keep up. But, oh, uh, I, I play every day for like at least half an hour to an hour. You gotta just, flex just those to, muscles. Just to keep, yeah, just to keep the grease on the wheels, you know? Woo! Go, oh, but oh, I mean, it's what? <laughs> the jabber throws him across the map. Oh my god. Did you god. see how Yeah, dude, flipped? I got that. Oh my god. <laughs> Wow, unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. Swag is so dominant today. I mean, he's he honestly so made a short well. work of me when we were fighting. He's been doing so excellent. He, I, so he's fought absolutely all... props to Swag. He's fighting some really, really tough players and, and dominating. So Yeah, 100%. 100%. Whew, all right, here we go. 
Here we go. Swagman versus Egg. Ick, very strong player. Unfortunately, he does have that ping disadvantage here. A big shame. It, it's it's such a shame that we can't get those Western folks with some better ping in Central. Quite unfortunate. Yeah, it looks like Swagman pulled out. Only a jab is needed here if he decides to yeah. go for it. He might He's he might decide to be chivalrous, though. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! That was a backwards drag. 180 oh. drag from... Oh. Hey, what the fuck's going on here? That... Get wow, that, there. that well, I, that's going to be a call by the refs. I think honestly, I, I think I it, he would have won. Swag, but I, I, it says in the it says in the uh, in the score that or that that Swag killed him with a jab. So I think I think he still caught the win there. I don't think that the guy was there. I guess, enough yeah, to deal any damage. I guess so. I guess I guess the refs called it in Swag's favor. That I think that, that would have been it. That does suck though. That's a bummer. That is unfortunate. <laughs> but thank God we have TBS there to uh, take care of trolls like that. Absolutely. So we're moving on to Cinemork and Ziggy Lada. I've got Cinemork. Yeah. People in the chat have been really wanting to see this fight, so here you guys are. I think it's 2-0 to zero currently. I believe so. Let's go ahead and check. It is... Oh! God wow. damn! I mean, A jab with a falchion! Fucking yeah. A! <laughs> <laughs> the cleaver coming in quick. Woo. Oh, is that the cleaver? Whatever that is. That it's the same. Yeah, it's the, the, the cleaver falchion. It's the same. Gotcha. So 3-0 to zero, Cinemork to Ziggy Lada. Wow. City Cinemork coming back! From his previous loss. Holy yeah, shit. Let's see if Ziggy is going to uh, be able to come back here and uh, prove that he can beat uh, Cinemork this time. He, I know he has a he little lost, bit, not a grudge, but he lost, he lost to him in the Beards Band of Tournament, right? Right, yeah. And that's, I think he wants to try and prove himself. Both so times? He Did he lose to Cinemork or just that one he time? He only fought the one time. Oh, he I never see. fought on the other side. Gotcha. He got, he, I mean, let's, see, let's see if he can uh, pull something off here. It's still. Oh, easily, excellent uh, drag. Excellent drag to start. If Literally. if he can keep the oh, it's it's risky those risky drags, and I'm glad to see Cinemark doing some accelerations finally. I was just about to say it's good to see that Cinemark is also pulling those out of his arsenal. There That's he has them. He, he, just, he just sometimes neglects to use them because he likes those drags. And he's so good with them. I don't blame him for wanting to pull out those drags. But yeah, those Absolutely. accelerations. That's what he needs to do if he's gonna win. Wow! What a special, what? amazing, kick and then the kill. kick. A little bit of disrespect, but there we go. There we go. I, I'm, I'm glad to see the body went flying. Look at that. Look at how it lies. He's just chilling there, yeah. man. He's really he's, just he's taking having a, load a good off. time. <laughs> well done, Ziggy. Ooh, Excellent special. Great special. Ziggy's one of the only players I know that really consistently uses specials and lands them. It is a little bit risky, but when they come out, either a block or a hit, it's a massive amount of damage either to your health or your stamp. Yeah, so, 100%. I mean, it's a great tool to have in the arsenal. People really neglect it. Uh, yeah, I, I pretty much don't use it at all. So that, that's three to one, Cinemork, Ziggy Lotto. Hey, uh, to we'll let you know, we're, we'll be starting the winner semifinal game in the other ring soon. If you want to go ahead and uh, focus on that one more, our general plan is it's starting to get late, and so the losers are probably the losers bracket will probably end up getting a little less attention from this point. That's totally yeah, fine. Sure. Do you think? Do you mind if we finish this fight with Sita and Ziggy Lada? People, people in chat really yeah, want to see Yeah, they really want to see this grudge match here. Wow! I mean, what a <laughs> <bad> first attack. <laughs> Holy shit. Thank you. Thank you, amigo. Excellent. At least this one. Yeah. Oh, and so it's two, two to... I see. I believe it's 2-2. Two, two. Gotcha. What a sprint attack that was. That was excellent. Yeah, Good job, a Ziggy. great dr jumping sprint attack. Excellent work. Yeah, you know, we got to give the viewers what they want. They want to see Cinemork Ziggy Lotta fight. We got to push back against the organizers. That's why we're here for you, viewers. <laughs> we're here we're for here you. you. Watch this one, the Spectators Union. <laughs> That's right. That's right. We're here to make sure y'all have an interesting, entertaining night tonight. Absolutely. I hope you guys have been enjoying all the fights that we've had tonight. I mean, we've had some really excellent fighters, a really excellent showing from so many different players. Truly some of the best. Some of the best in the game, in the world, absolutely the best in North America are here absolutely. tonight. Just playing I at wish, their very best. I wish there was a way to have NA fight off against EU. I think it would be one of the in most In-person LAN things. tournament is what we need, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be the move. Siggy really, really banking on these specials. He's probably got Zita really low on stamina. I think Zita's choking up hit. against those specials. Excellent punish on Ziggy Lada's misuse of range there. But yeah, those specials are scary. And Cinemork is... There we go. Great Oof. punish on the special. He's ready for it now, finally. Oh, what a drag. The decap comes Ooh. in. He's on his knees and then gets his head chopped Ooh. off. I mean, what an excellent play from Cinemork. Yeah, he, Cinemork is, is absolutely becoming better at adapting to his opponent's fighting style. That's really... I'm really happy to see that. That's and really again, incredible. That is, that is just one of like the most important thing that, that separates a good player from a great player. The ability to adapt. The ability to see what your enemy is doing and exploit their weaknesses. Yeah, absolutely. Didn't score one point because it felt cheap? What? 
Not even your mother could love that. <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> That's bullshit. What is he doing that for? All right. Okay, I mean, right, hey, that's says, what the so referees want, is. and whatever. That's ref's call. Look at these sprint attacks here. He comes in yeah. with a special after the sprint. That was kind of interesting. He, he was he's got to be low on stamina it. if Cinemore can just get close. And All right, excellent that, overhead. Uh, Ziggy is a fan of crouching. He's yeah, but he's 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 going to be using a lot of stamina here. If Cinemore can just get close and get aggressive, he's gonna he's gonna disarm Ziggy a lot of here. Oh, oh, but a great overhead shot. Great, and that's that's more than half of Cinemore's health is gone. That's how powerful the great sword can be. All right, so they're both sort of testing oh, each other. Man, Cinemore another special coming out. I mean, he's got to be low on stamina. Ooh. I think Ziggy is too. But who's gonna take oh, the win here? Oh shit! Here we go. Oh, All right, Cinemore's got to be careful. Can he make the knife work? Whoa, he stops the regen, but then gets shit. cut down. Wow. Ooh. So what is the score now? Is that Cinemore's win? That's four to one. Right. It would be if Cinemore counted one fight he already won. So yes, this is okay. five to one Ziggy Lotta, but Cinemore gave up a uh, gave up a win, so it's four to one. I think. Okay, all right. I, well, according to Garden Boat, it's rule legal whatever he did, but uh, if Cinemore wants to give one away, he's allowed to. I'm not sure what he even did. Uh, apparently, he did an Artorius leap, but I don't. Uh, yeah. As a you knight, know, as, as, yeah. it's an exploit, but like you know, it's, it's not that hard to counter. Not super it's really hard not. To it's not. Yeah. It's not at all. So I, I would have counted that win, but whatever. It happens. Uh, yeah, I, I guess I'm a little surprised. I, I figure that regardless of what the fighters want, a win's a win. But hey, right, right. All right, Cinemore can still pull. Ziggy can still pull it out here. It's only four to two. This only needs three wins. Uh, Ziggy, I believe. Is the Ziggy, yeah, Ziggy only. Ziggy only needs three wins here. Right. All right. So, Cinemark, let Cinemark him pick, pick up, up his up weapon. weapon. <laughs> All right. All right. A lot uh, of interesting plays here. Not pushing the envelope. Not really pushing the attack here when he could be and getting the win. But you Ziggy know, report there with a stab. Yeah, I I don't know if Cinemark's trying to be more honorable here, but let me tell you, if I was fighting him and my opponent gave me a handicap, I certainly would be a little insulted. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. Excellent sprint attack. Almost got him. Oh, oh couldn't quite I follow up the disarm. That's oh, gonna be it. Unless here we he go. Can... Yeah. Oh. Excellent. Oh. Well played by Cinemark. Able to stam out Ziggy, even with the extra little bit of stamina that Vanguards get. I think he was just uh, running around a little bit too much. But a great fight from both fighters there. Yeah. And Cinemark's going to yeah. move on. Excellent win by Cinemark. Good attempt by Ziggy Lada. Good grudge match. Got You got to be careful. You know, you got to counter more a little bit. And... Uh, uh, taking a slower weapon against Cinemark's drags, even though the Great Sword is going to get those drags, Cinemark, you're just not going to beat Cinemark's drags. No one can, right? He yeah, really, it is a tough, a tough fight versus Cinemark. He's one of the best players in the game, so on, you know, a, a great match from really, really two titans. Absolutely, but, but it, it ends up going Cinemark's way this. Absolutely. All right, so Cinemark is going to be fighting Ick in the loser semifinal. I don't know if we're doing the player. Oh, we're doing the player semifinal next. And so Garden Boat requested we stream that. That's fair. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So now it's going to be uh, semifinals of uh, who? It's going to be Shin or Quasi and Adrian. Quasi and Adrian. That is going to be a fight for the fucking ages. Oh Absolutely. my god. Oh I mean, my god. Be amazing. I so, can't wait. I mean, uh, <laughs> those, two, those two are amazing fighters. Quasi is fantastic. Adrian is fantastic. I'm wondering what the weapon loadout's going to be. I've been seeing a, a lot of uh, Messer Dane, I believe. Yeah, so Adrian, we... so we Kind of the same thing from uh, Quasi. Ad one of Adrian's loadouts tonight has been um, Two-Handed Hander and Dane. Uh, and oh here we go uh, so someone in chat is asking how many more fights tonight we got a few more fights we got one two uh, three let me go ahead and throw that bracket in the chat for you guys yeah we got chat. yeah I'll, I'll link that as well we got essentially four more fights I believe we got two semifinals for the winners one final for the losers winners final as well and then grand final and then grand final the main fight i believe we're probably just going to watch the winners bracket from now on i, I think i think that's the losers in the background yeah and that, that's fair that's fair we we, totally we gave the viewers what we want but we can only push the envelope so far tonight everyone right yeah we do have to end this at a certain time we've got tbs helping us here we don't want to push the envelope a little bit too much just getting a little yeah. bit late, so. they are already giving us 500 dollars. we don't need to give the have them give us six <laughs> hours of their time as well absolutely <laughs> 
But wow, what a tournament this has been, huh? That, what Absolutely. an inaugural yeah, tournament. It's been, a, it's been amazing. It's such a good showing from so many fighters. A lot of respect, a lot of great fights, and I've been so, so happy to be able to be a part of this and cast it and me me too beard bandit and I, I can't think of a better co-cast to have tonight than oh you, that's friend. really sweet we've, we've done great as well uh, hey you've done such a fantastic job and honestly competing at the same time just oh holy <laughs> shit it's been tough man next time we're definitely going to be just doing the uh the good old uh it's just casting. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve it. You, yeah. I, I'm what, taking a break, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, you deserve that break, Kale. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Absolutely. Man. Absolutely. I suggested in chat, if we are just watching one fight at a time, the losers aren't doing it, we could do Courtyard. But it's it's totally up to the referees, of course. Oh, man, I would love to do Courtyard. I would, lo I would love a, a change of scene here. Um, uh, that's a boat call, yeah. Uh, due to large Courtyard. So a lot of people want Courtyard. Up, up to boat. <laughs> and it looks like the fans want courtyard. I don't the know. Fans want courtyard. Then that's what the people are asking for is courtyard. If we're just doing one at a time, if we're doing two at a time, I understand. But if it's just one at a time, if we're really just doing one at a time here, then uh, you know, the fans are crying out. Let, you know, let's give the people what they want. Fan they on the want balcony. It, man. Yeah, they absolutely want it. Hey, Quasi says no. Quasi Qu doesn't want it. <laughs> <laughs> I get bad frames. You know what? I totally understand. <laughs> I see. I see. That's a shame. That's a shame. I, I, right. We were really hoping to get Courtyard for the final, but well, I guess if Maybe. Quasi makes it. I, I I don't want to subject anyone to bad frames. That's really not going to uh -oh, feel fair. I mean, that, that's not going to be uh, fair for their performance. Yeah, you know, we, totally I would rather it. a good fight than just the with aesthetic. Money on the line. Yeah, of course. With money on the line. Yeah. I totally understand. Yeah, I totally agree. All right, I'll watch Adrian if you want to watch Quasi. Yeah, I'm watching Quasi. Sounds good. Let's do it. Let's see. Well, Adrian rocking the default knight. I oh, know. The they both apps. both of them have a knight messer class that's just default. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> I love it, honestly. It's that's so chat. great. All right, here we go. So he's taken. So this is interesting. So he's taken the Dane Axe against the Messer, even though when he was fighting the Dane Axe, he decided to stick with Messer. I don't know what Quasi's thinking here tonight. Great acceleration, I, you know, though. The thing is, I think the Dane is probably better against the Knight here in this situation, just because it does get that slight damage boost, and it does have a much larger speed bonus than the Messer does. It does I have totally a little bit less agree. range, but I totally I mean, you're going to get that speed bonus and a little bit of extra damage. Oh, an excellent overhead. So this is the thing about taking Knight. Even though he's got that Dane Axe, he, he has to either land a heavy and a light, or three lights, right? And so... Uh, yes, I believe so. If he gets yeah. a heavy and a light, it's enough to kill the Dane, but uh, three lights is enough to kill as well. Yeah, so... Oh, oh my oh, god! Oh, 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 oh. Wow! Holy shit! Another jump overhead. Just Unbelievable We've seen from some Kwasi. incredible movement here tonight. Wow. Here comes... Oh! Oh Shit, man, and then quick the Axel just sits Woo. Adrian down quickly. Those Dane Axe accelerations are lightning fast. Lightning fast. Yeah. Anime Un as fuck move 100%. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow, Woo. I mean, that's quite, quite well. Quite oh, well done. My there. god. Oh my god. <laughs> Not one to fold under pressure. He's been in a tournament more than a couple times. That's true. He knows how to fight it. This is a long tournament, though. I don't know how long they usually last in uh, Mordhau, but. Over four hours. Here we go. All right, great work, Quasi. Great hit right off the bat. Adrian's got a oh, and he oh, he stole wow. Adrian's initiative oh. because Adrian decided to heavy attack. You gotta be careful. Quasi is dodges away. Quasi so always combos and then faints to parry if you uh, if you don't do a heavy or something. So you really yeah. got to be careful. You got to be really careful you're going to faint if you're going to heavy attack against Quasi. And that's the good thing about the Dane is that you can kind of do that. You can kind of just, if you if you want to uh, like gamble and then you realize it's not going to work, you can immediately just parry and then you'll be fine. Is that a Dane specific move? It has a long wind up? Yeah. You know, I, I think it's something that works better with Dane. You could do it with multiple weapons, but I think the Dane is well suited to it because of his speed. I find he's unable to do it quite as well with the Messer. So it must be, it must have to do with the timing. Oh! Whoa. Wow, oh, what a great gamble. Woo. I mean, that just takes Adrian right I off the know, block there. Right? You gotta be you, you cannot take risks against Quasi's gambling, stealing his initiative stealing. He's so good with that. But it, the, the thing is about Quasi, is I, I hesitate to call it a gamble because he knows yeah, that he's I, I doing don't, so well. You know I don't like that is, term. You know I don't like that term. I, I know, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, just for the, for the ease of, of the spectators. Yes, of course, of course. But, like, I mean, he is so 
good at knowing when he can do. totally he totally. is he's great at reading that opportunity he knows when there's a a pause and he knows exactly when to exploit it it's just one of those things you get after playing this genre for so many thousands hours. of hours yeah uh, absolutely oh again just just incredible incredible show unbelievable but Adrian does seem to have the better defense. If he can just, if he can knock those weapons out of Quasi's hands again, that that is how he should be going about this. Or or just focusing on those repos, trying to punish Quasi if he ever can punish him for one of these gambles. Absolutely. We're moving all over the field here now. Oh, oh and Quasi's got a great Axel. So that combo Adrian Axel, again. yeah, Adrian, he has to. He not only has to re, uh, repost here, he has to accelerate his repost to keep up with that Danax. That is crazy fast. Is this best of seven? Oh, oh this is probably best God, of seven. He misses the 360. Oh, he, he tries to go for that nice. Oh, wow, it doesn't matter, though. Quasi's, doesn't even matter. I mean, God, <laughs> his Dana Axe plays are so impressive. You know, I'm wondering when he's going to throw the axe, though. I'm wondering if and when he's going to do it. It's risky. Not a lot of people do. Beard Bandit, oh, man. You, that, still, <laughs> that one move of yours, that's got to be my highlight of the night so far. That was really... Other than Rayon's Mall, that was just I so know, good. I know, man. I love so good. The, the, the 360 Dane Toss is probably one of my favorite things. In this Incredible. Game. I, do it, Incredible. I do it all the time in, like, random duels just because it's fun. <laughs> yeah, dude, probably should have been doing it in a tournament, but Maybe you know not. what? Or we're living and learning, baby. Out. We're just going to have fun. Out. <laughs> yeah, all right, here we go. But we're back once again. Adrian playing a little more carefully here, finally punishing Quasi's gambles there, but only with a stab, so not really that worth it. Only 40 damage there. Not much. Yeah, not much. Stab, they get nerfed a little bit. It's just, it's not the right move. If he can try and landing an overhead, that's the way to go. That's the way yeah. to go. Absolutely. Only two light overheads is needed to take out a Vanguard. Woo! Oh! Ooh, I thought that was going to hit. Slash. He same side fainted. Wow. Oh. Same side counter fainted. Same side defensive feint to catch Quasi's drag and then accelerated that second feint so it landed before Quasi could parry. That was an excellent move by Adrian. Excellent job. And just yeah. another one of those blink if you miss it moments. That shit, it's like th these fights can be decided so quickly in just like one tiny little mistake, one tiny little perf perfect move. It's just, it's amazing. I love being able to dissect these fights like that. I mean, it is so totally. awesome to be able to see the decision making of those fighters from an outside perspective being able to see like you know that's why he made that move specifically in that scenario and that's why it worked against this other player I mean, that is just super yeah good. it's one of the reasons we make such a great team here you know i'm one of the most experienced players in the game you fought with every weapon we can really provide a unique perspective on the decision making process here i don't want to toot my own horn here or anything, but, uh... <laughs> you were probably the most versatile <laughs> oh. versatile player in the game yo I, i'm gonna i'm gonna toot your horn <laughs> Beard Bandit! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, back to the fight. Buddy. <laughs> back to the fight. Alright, so Adrian keeping up the pressure on Quasi. Quasi's already gotten a solid hit on Adrian. He only needs one more heavy attack or light overhead. Woo! He's, he's in jab killing range now. If Quasi decided... Oh, but he lost oh, the weapon! Disarm! But he's got a messer. He's still he's still no joke. He can't just... He's still in the fight. Yeah, he's still very much so in the fight. But if, if Adrian can just keep up that stamina negation here, it seems he's got a slightly better defense than Quasi. Quasi's taking too many risks. But now... Yeah, there we go. Adrian, if you can just keep that stamina negation up. Quasi's low on stamina. He's running oh, wow. away. If Adrian maintains the aggression here, he's probably only a jab away from winning. So we can right. see Adrian really pull this around. I think Quasi. Oh, wow. And he does. Excellent. He makes. He. This is what we don't have a term for this in the community yet. But he looks down at the ground and he turns his horizontal attack into an into what looks like an overhead. So we don't know. Yeah. We don't. We don't have something to call it yet. It's it's a sit of drag essentially. But uh, Sitamork is the first one that really started to do this. But he's able to manipulate the direction of his swing to change what type of strike it looks like, and that's what he Excellent. used to kill Quasi. Uh, yeah, body faints, I guess. Yeah, that absolutely. Just, oh, mwah, chef's kiss. <laughs> chef's kiss. Beautiful fantastic. fights. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. I'm so glad to Quasi see Adrian three. coming back here. I want to see. I want to see a you know seven to six win. This is what I want. Absolutely. Oh boy, god damn the fights tonight. All right, good luck, guys. So fantastic. All right. Oh, oh. wow. Great overhead acceleration. Quasi just wasn't ready for it. 
Oh, oh, the low kick and a quick what? Axel. Wow. With that, Adrian ties it up. He ties it up. Wow. Wow. Excellent job, Adrian. Neck neck fights Adrian I mean, to come back. So Adrian's good. been taking a break. He used to be one of the best players. Took a break for a while. He's been practicing now. Man, if he comes back to win this tournament today. Holy shit. Holy shit. We'll see. Yeah, we're we'll seeing see. some, some god level powers being awakened right now. Truly, these are two gods among men. If two you titans. ever yeah, if you fighters ever run across them in the battlefield, quake in fear and run for your <laughs> lives. <laughs> oh shit, Honestly, here we go. Yeah. If I saw if I saw Quasi or Adrian and Tia, I would just Oh no, you we could take them out together. Nah, 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 I run. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we are. So neither has landed a hit yet. Both excellent defense. Quasi is now playing a bit more defensively, ready to take on Adrian's mix-ups. Adrian's gonna have to start doing either crazier things or just maintain that solid defense. If it's just a defensive battle like we're seeing so far. Oh, but he punishes! That's it! That's a wow. great defense. Punishes Quasi's attempted gamble. And I guess in that scenario, you could call it a gamble because he didn't land it, right? A little bit of risk. A little bit of risk. Wasn't able to pay off there. Exactly. I, you know, that, but I don't like that term because there's risk in everything you do. Wow! Of course. And, anything well, besides a repost. You know? Exactly. Anything besides a repost is technically a gamble if we're talking about attempt. But great. That was that was an accelerated oh, heavy. He jumps over the stab! Incredible. In, the, the, Dana Axe, one of the worst stabs you can do. Do. So, excellent job jumping over it. Ooh. You know, I've always been surprised, but it's not very good, right? But if you actually get a, a heavy stab on the dance, it's 75 damage. That can 75? Actually kill I did not yeah. know it was that strong. On a night, on a night it's 75. Ah, I see, because so, the extra if you damage. Get, if you get one heavy overhead, and then you land one heavy stab, that's enough to two shot. What a 360! Oh, god damn, he's so good at that. He's so good at switching it around. I don't know if he's still playing in first, or we switch back to third for the tournament, but I, even so. I believe so. he still plays in in third, did you say? Manipulation. I, yeah, I believe he still plays in third. I mean, you're, I mean, you're he's so solid third. with a swing minip. It's probably yeah. you're probably right. Yeah, it's it's so much easier in third person. And one hundred percent. Yeah, uh, props to him. No, uh, no shade. But uh, here we go. They're both pretty weak. They both essentially only need one attack to kill the oh, other. Oh man! If, uh, Quasi if he had accelerated, that, he if, yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That, that could have been Adrian's death. But still, the fight continues. And they're both playing a bit defensively here. Making wow, sure to repost I mean, and counter often. Oh the my god. The counters are just amazing Ooh. right now. It's been matched and matched and matched. I mean, these guys are... Oh. Wow, he whips the went. overhead! That could have been it! Not land it. Uh, oh they my both. god, there's so many nail biter moments. I know, I know. Holy shit, I'm on the edge of my seat right now. This could be I literally know. anyone's match. We have no idea who's going to win here. Uh, wow! Oh, he gets an overhead. Holy shit! Oh my god, oh I mean, my what god. a fight. Ooh, fucking unbelievable! A. These guys are just putting out every, they're leaving everything out in the field. Hey, it's, do you see there's a guy in chat? BD Bandit? Is this a? Yeah, is this someone? Is this, is. Yeah, is this a? Is this an imposter? I think so, dude. <laughs> Your alter ego. That was an incredible, incredible fight. God damn. God damn. Wow. I mean, these these guys are just excellent duelists. And it's it's being put on a full display here. A lot of people like to say, people, people who know the slasher genre are like, oh, you know, Shiv 2 is for babies, it's, it's, it's more for casuals, it has all this, this, if you want high school duels, go to Mordhau. Oh, yeah, well, I, hey, I show them you. that, show them, yeah. yeah, come, come, come to our, you know, come to our parts around here, come, come to yeah. our neck of the woods and try beating Check us. Check out the duel yards <laughs> Yeah, absolutely, you see what you can do. <laughs> yeah, really see if you can beat us, and I don't think you'll be able to. <laughs> 100%. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Show if anyone if anyone says that to you viewers, show wow. them this tournament. He dodged oh that special. God, that dodge of the special was incredible. Is that? I think I think this is still first to five. Is that going to be it? No, I I don't know. I, I thought it was first to seven. Um, if it's first to five, that is it. That is Quasi's victory. If it's first to seven, he still got two more to go. I think it might still be first to seven. Yeah, that's the cue. That's the question here. That's what we need to know, everybody. Okay, so that's to five. Wow, so that's Quasi's, Quasi's victory. Great wow. fight, I mean, Quasi. Great, Ooh. great showing from Quasi. I mean, taking on one of the most difficult opponents in the game, but yeah, Adrian absolutely. still has a chance and losers to come back and come back for the grand finals. He absolutely does. He absolutely does. So that was Quasi. Are we going to be watching Cryptic and Shin next? Is that the I plan? I believe so. That should be the next of the semifinals. Uh, yeah. However, I'm going to try and find one of them and go use the restroom. Yeah, you, I sounds good. Food. It's like 10:45. I haven't eaten yet. You d I made sure to eat an early dinner. You got. I cannot believe. 
believe you streamed for four and a half hours, fought the best players in the game on an empty stomach. What were you thinking, Beard Bandit? What a Go mistake, get some food. Go get some food. <laughs> <laughs> you I'm going to leave the eat. stream on Cryptic. I'll be back shortly. Like Sounds minutes, good. Sunny. You got All right, I'll do Shen. All right. Yeah, everyone, do forgive Beard Bandit. He's got to go eat. This poor guy, he's been fighting so hard. He's been doing a great job commentating. And he hasn't eaten? He hasn't eaten dinner? Oh, my goodness. Make sure you subscribe to some Beard Bandits so we can buy himself a nice meal after this, huh? <laughs> let's get him some uh, Let's get him some bits. Sounds like excuses, Chris. Whatever. He, Beard Bandit's done an excellent job, despite having all the, all the odds stacked against him. All right, so here we go. Here we go. We've got Shin. We've got Cryptic getting ready for a fight. This is gonna be this is gonna be another close one. We'll see. Whole axe, I know. An interesting choice, Municipalis. Interesting choice. We'll see how this goes. Cryptic, of course, got one of the best defenses in the game. Shin clearly pulling off these. He's doing these Sita drags. This is what we're talking about. See how Shin is looking down at the ground. These are horizontals. That's an overhead, but he's pulling these horizontals that look just... That was a horizontal. It looks just like an overhead because of how he's looking at the ground, how he's manipulating his swing. But Cryptic gets three smooth hits in a row, takes Shin out like wet butter, like a hot knife through wet butter. God damn, not a single attack, not a single one of those fancy moves got past Cryptic's defense. That is why it is so important. You know, we were talking about this a lot during the stream. It is so important that you learn the basics, just being able to repost, counter, and jab and parry. Just the very basics of the game. Now, before you learn all these fancy moves, if you have that solid defense, you can get so far. Then when you start pulling out those fancy moves, they're not going to expect it. They're not going to know what to do. All right, so Cryptic did take one hit here. Oh, hey, what's up, Garden Boat? How are we doing? We're doing great. I was just popping in to uh, let you guys know that our next match is going to be Losers semifinals, and we're going to be doing two out of the same time. Sounds so good. Quarter, my bad, Losers quarterfinals. Losers so, quarterfinals, sounds good. Yeah. And then after that, we'll do the tournament or the interviews. Yes, then we'll go ahead and do the interviews. Uh, probably while we do the loser semifinal game, uh, we'll do the interviews with the others. Sounds good. You, if you don't mind, just pop them in here and we'll uh, we'll just take it from there. Sounds fun to me. All, All right. right. Thank you so much, Garden. But what a night it has been, huh? Some really Poor incredible deal. fights. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. So, yeah. Thank you guys for all your work. I'm sure you're getting tired. It's been a long night. Uh, yeah, uh, I am. But can you imagine Beard Bandit's position fighting the best oh players goodness. and streaming for almost five hours tonight? Like, holy shit. <laughs> you almost deserve a consolidary prize just for that. Part, seriously. Man. Seriously. <laughs> stipend. Woo! The great overhead acceleration on Cryptic. Two to zero, Cryptic to Shin. Hey, thanks for stopping by, Garden Yep, yep. <laughs> Woo! God damn! Cryptic again. Shin, an excellent fighter, but Cryptic, just one of the best out there. Such a solid, strong defense. You gotta watch out. You gotta watch out for that defense. And Shin is okay. He's, Shin has decided to switch to a longsword. Probably the better, probably the better matchup here. He's gonna have the stamina disadvantage against the Messer still, but it's gonna be a lot faster. And if he's pulling, yeah, there we go. He's pulling off these fancy moves. He's gonna try and footwork away from Cryptic's whiffs. If he can do that, if he can just footwork a little bit on Cryptic's overheads and stabs, then that longsword is going to connect. Ah, uh, a little slow there. If he had stabbed, it probably would have connected with Cryptic. Now he, oh, excellent, excellent punish by Cryptic. Shin is panic attacking a little bit. Oh, but he manages to knock the weapon out of Cryptic's hands and gets the victory. Wow, excellent work by Shin. Very smart, very smart move switching weapons here. This is what we were talking about. The fighters cannot be afraid to change their loadout. You want to get good with one weapon. You think it's your best. That's totally fine. But you also have to be able to stack the odds in your favor if you're going to be fighting the best. You gotta, you gotta take every advantage you can get. We have a lot of players that used to play in first, they switched to third because it gives them an advantage. We have two loadouts here. They can take blunt versus armor. They can take a faster weapon versus a slower one. You gotta consider the matchup of your weapon and your opponent's weapon, plus you, each other's fighting styles. So it's really smart of Shin to make that decision here. Even though the poleaxe is an interesting choice, you don't see it a lot, Longsword was the right decision. And he was even able to accelerate it so much. And an attack cancel. He actually cancels an attack. A classic CMW Mordhau feint. It's hard hard to see. Easy to miss. But Shin actually was able to punish Cryptic with that. That is a high level move that is still not 
well developed in the meta. Very few people use it. Very exciting to see here in the tournament tonight. And he's 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 catching up to Cryptic here. Oh, if only he was a little more bold, he could have punished Cryptic with that whiff. We'll see. Shin is wasting some stamina. Oh, and he 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 doesn't wait to see if the kick lands. You always gotta wait to see if that kick connects before attacking, even if you're not gonna land that attack. But Shin's still doing these wild horizontal attacks. He's looking at the ground, making his horizontal attacks look like overheads. It's hard for Cryptic to keep up. It's hard for anyone to keep up with that. Great punish on Shin. Great work. We'll see if, see if he, doing all these attack cancels, Cryptic doesn't know what to do, but hold block. And be, oh, oh, they both barely whiff, but he gets him on the feint. Holy shit, holy shit. Shin is catching up two to two. Wow, Shin pulls this out. You know, I don't know if anyone would have saw that coming. Shin is an incredible fighter, but Cryptic has been on the top for a uh, some time. He, uh, he's been a really good fighter. He's been competing with the best. And uh, here we go, two to two. Let's see how this goes. A uh, longsword versus Messer. If Cryptic played a little more carefully, if he was able to do more counters, he would knock that weapon out. Beard got kicked from the game. Well, I'm sure we'll be able to get him back in. We we have lots of spectators we can kick out. <laughs> wow. Oh, and an excellent 360 spin by Shin. He's really trying to pull out these fancy moves. Keep Cryptic confused. But there we go. If Cryptic can just do some feints, not turtle up too much. And if he is going to turtle up, he really has to get those counters down. We will see. Oh, oh my god, unbelievable. Excellent counter. He got kicked. See if you can join. I'll, if not, I'll yeah, let him know and, and we'll kick him out. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, guys. My, so, my apologies, Chad. Hopefully you guys have Monty's stream oh, up too. Oh, holy so shit. See. Yeah, if you, hopefully everyone's doing the dual stream so you can see both That's at the same time. That's why we got the multi up, guys. Yeah, the it's multi up for sure. Easy. So Shin was able to come back. So it was 2-0 to zero, Cryptic. Shin switched to a longsword, came back 2-2. Two to two. Cryptic just kills him again. 3-2 to two, Cryptic. Cryptic is now... This is, this is what we've been talking about all night. This is what we've been talking about all night. Uh... I, you know, I gotta get a bot with these exclamation points. I don't even know what the hell that is. But let me, uh, let me post the link for the multi-stream, everybody. I, I, maybe you can help me out with this beard bandit. Yeah, right? I can, I can, I can try and post the multi real quick. I got you. Uh, you won't be able to post it on mine, um, unless you're a moderator. I can send it to you on, uh, this. That would be perfect, yeah. That'd be perfect, so I can pay attention. Thank you. Um, all right, so Shin's coming back once again, right away with the aggression. Cryptic's gonna keep it up. So this is what we've been talking about. Shin was able to change his weapon, adapt to Cryptic's fighting style, and come up with two wins. Cryptic was then able to learn Shin's fighting style. That's why we do these first to fives, first to sevens, first, first to tens. You have enough time to learn how your opponent's liking to fight, to learn how your opponent's, what they're using to beat you, then you change your own style up to switch it around. Absolutely, and that's again one of those things you were talking about earlier. It's just what separates a good player from a great player. The ability to do that, the ability to adapt to your play, to your, your enemy's uh, play style, and uh, you know, be able to exploit the weaknesses that you see in that. Extremely important. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so here we go. It, it looks like Shin should have less stamina, but Shin's actually been able to knock out Cryptic's Messer from just finding here. So Cryptic is having a hard time keeping his stamina up against Shin's wild attacks. As you see, uh, he's been doing these sit drags where he's looking at the ground, making his horizontal horizontal attacks look like vertical ones. Right. And it's just so hard to read, so hard to counter. Especially you see a look down, you're, look, you're, you're expecting a crouch axe. You're expecting you're an expecting overhead acceleration, right? Absolutely. Right, exactly. And so it, it just sort of compounds that nature. And that's that's the, again the, the usage of body things. That was a big thing that I uh, I remember in Mordhau was uh, being able to to wig not wiggle honestly, but being able to position your body in a way that would hide the animation enough so that it would be good to your opponent. That's kind of a a big part of these games. All right, here we are. They're both close. What's Cryptic's health looking like right now? Cryptic is about half. These guys are pretty well Yeah, Shin's also about half. Is. Must be about even. So, if Cryptic can just main this, maintain this defense, Shin's weapon is going to be is going to drop out of his hands here. Absolutely. Cryptic just I mean, has these to... guys are just doing such a great... Oh, wow! Great, great drag! drag great follow-up. If he would have moved a little bit closer I there, know, instead of backing off, he would have landed the overhead and he would have caught him. He was, he was waiting for the jab to come out, I believe. And yeah, yeah there you go. There you go. Oh, wow! Another jab! Another jab! Excellent drag, drag Takes him out. Cryptic. I mean, wow. Honestly. So for that Cryptic, was a duel of the Titans again. I mean, these guys are so shit. well matched. Such great counters back and forth. It looks like a real, you know, epic cinematic sword fight. That's why I love these games. At high levels, you can see the skill really shine through and see these amazing cinematic fights. 
Yep, yeah. well, you know, as uh, as Mordhau has always wanted to do, these fights look like fights. Fucking mm -hmm. A, right? Holy shit. This looks so good. These swords are actually clashing. They're not just they're not just staring at each other, waving their swords in the air, waiting for one of them to finally attack. Waiting for somebody to press right, right mouse button and go, gotcha. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no. These these folks, they're actually attacking each other. They're fighting. Here we are. And these fights, they can last so long and they can end so quickly. It's, it's just, all dependent on the skill and the mistakes or not mistakes that you, that you uh, make in a fight. Absolutely. Absolutely. Not mistakes, I should. <laughs> not yet. Yeah, mistakes and the not mistakes. <laughs> Listen, dude, it's been almost five Don't hours. Don't make any not mistakes. Woo! I mean, that's the... <laughs> Wow, nice. excellent that's cryptic. work. That's Cryptic's victory right there. God damn. Congratulations, Cryptic. He's going to well, be going on to the... Is that the semifinals now or the finals? That, this, this is going to be the winner's final with Cryptic and... Cryptic um, and Quasi. Quasi. Wow, you know, I didn't want to say my favorites for the match until the end, but it was those two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, we, we talked about this privately last time, and I think... I think it's these guys are just some of the best fighters. So good, They're you see so them, you good. see them on every day. They always, They're they always, always challenge the best person in the lobby. They That's never, the thing, man, yeah. and they never, they never, they never try and go for like twenty you no know, lobbies trying to fight. No, like they want the time. They, they, they want they, the challenge. They seek it out. They seek it out. Seek if out they, the good players, that, and that's what makes a really that's, great. That's that's what that's the difference as we're talking about between A tier and S tier. S tier, they don't care about their score. They're not trying to get twenty to zero. They are going up against the people that beat them until they beat those opponents they don't exactly. mind losing i mean they hate losing but that's why they Nobody keep trying wants to lose but that's why exactly yeah exactly. until you well, win that's, that's just that's just the mindset that is is so good for this game that if you have that kind of mindset it's going to make you not only is it going to make you like a positive good community member right and, 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 and you know engaging with these duels but it's going to make you an amazing player because you have the motivation to try and really best those guys that you know are better than you better you know are going to beat you but you learn how to fight against them and, start exploding those weeks yeah. absolutely and, and they they are there are, there are a lot of players out there like that but cryptic and quasi have been around for a little bit now they've been doing it for a few months so i i'm right. hoping after this tournament we see more like that we really i really we really got to get more people with that perspective we need we need more competition absolutely hey All right, what's up gb what's up my Hello, man bro. um i was just gonna ask you too if you guys wanted to go and interview quasi while our two uh Losers brackets or losers quarterfinals were going on, or if you wanted to wait till they were done. Uh, yeah, uh, we can do that now. Yeah, we fine. can to save some time. Totally fine with that. So we'll we'll interview both Cryptic and Quasi. You want to do separately or at the same time? Probably separately, I guess. They can they separately, can they can shit talk each other a little bit if they want to, though. I'm, I'm sure they won't. <laughs> They'd be like, "Oh yeah, he's a chump. I'm gonna take him out. He's gonna, you know." <laughs> I've been watching his stats. Up, bring, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. I gotta do a good job. <laughs> All right, yeah. Uh, well, pop them in here if you don't mind. We'll quasi in here first. And, sure, uh, absolutely. While we do it, I'll watch the Adrian Cinemark fight. You can watch the other fight. Sound good? I'm watching Swag and um, perfect. Now. While we interview him. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Perfect, guys. Perfect. Ah, oh, wow. Truly, truly amazing fights tonight. Some it's the best I've today. ever seen. The best I've yeah. ever seen. It's really positive. It's, it's it's it shows like there's a lot of there's a future to this. I think it's gonna be really really good. I think this has been not only uh, a great expression of skill to really show what the skill ceiling of this game looks like, but also a really entertaining spectator sport tonight. This Honestly, has been... man, I've been having so much fun just I, watching these fights. Like, I don't even care. I got yeah. dusted by swag because <laughs> it was absolutely amazing. And I watched the future fights and it's just been so entertaining so far. So. It looked great and you can always go back to check it out again uh, right. to, see, to see how you could have done better. <laughs> That's the best part. For so I have streaming mode on. I don't know if uh, Quasi's in here with us yet. Not yet. Not yet. Right, I'm sure. I'm sure. He's there. there we go. Hey, what's up, Quasi? How's it going, dude? He uh, does he not he have permission to talk? Second. Yeah, give him a hot sec. He might not have permission to talk. He might have. Here, I, oh, I can. Here. I can unclick it. Hey, Quasi, you should be unmuted now. What's up? Hey, dude. hey man! Excellent fights today from you so far. Truly impressive. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, I, been, go ahead. Please, no, uh, yeah. So I will. Uh, Beer Bandit, please tell me. Tell me how how have you found Quasi's fights tonight? I mean, Quasi. I mean, you, you know me. We've we've been playing together for a long time, and I, I, every time I fight Quasi, he has you know adapted to a new kind of play style, and it just kind of shows how good he is at um, being able to do that, being adaptable, being versatile, and knowing how to fight other people. And I, what do you, you know? I, I think that comes squarely from the experience that he has so that's my first question quasi so how long have you been playing the genre 
Um, well, I started from... Technically, I started playing uh, from uh, Pirates, Vikings, and Knights 2. <laughs> I've not. I've never even heard of this game. Pirates, yeah, Vikings, and Knights. Yeah, I saw Quasi mention this before, but I never played it either. What's this game like? <laughs> yeah, tell us about it. So it's like um, so it's a three v three v three. I mean, not three v three v three. It's like three teams, and they duke it out in like various maps and game modes. There's like Vikings, Pirates, and Knights. So it's kind of it's kind of like Deadliest like Warrior. Game. Yeah, I kind of like the least warrior. I mean, is it the same kind of style of combat as this, or is it no, something no, no. separate? No, no, no. The combat oh. was more. The combat was was more jousting. It was uh, more based on jousting. It felt more like jousting. Actually. So how how long cool. ago was that, Quasi? How many years did that start? I don't even know. <laughs> a long <laughs> time ago. Uh, a decade, <laughs> five to ten years. Would you Probably say? Probably five years or so. Five years. So did you did you play Age of Chivalry, or did you just go? No, no, I didn't. I didn't play Age of Chivalry. I started with Chivalry one. Chivalry 1. How long did you play Chivalry 1 for? And Beer Bandit mentioned you were in a clan called Tempest, is that right? Yes, I was in a team. Uh, yeah, I was in a clan called Tempest uh, for the later parts of Chivalry. So, how many hours total would you say you have in the genre? Oh my god, uh, let me check my camera. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could give us a rough estimate, but if you want to get the numbers, feel free. Good show. Absolutely. I have uh, 1767 hours in Shiv 1. Oh, Jesus. In Mordhau? That's a lot of time, man. And I have a uh, 1788 in Mordhau. Wow, so, yeah, so 3,400 so far. 3,400 hours. That's not even including the game Chivalry 2. And so you know Chivalry I mean? 2, how, how many how many you got? Oh, I'd have to shut the game down to check. Oh, yeah, yeah, don't yeah, worry about it. So, things, but but <laughs> not, not yet 1,000. But, but it's can, gotta be around 4, right? Around I mean, four, 4 to 600, right? And so... It's probably, it's probably 400. 400. 400. So almost, you are almost at 4,000 hours. 4,000 hours in the genre. If, if you had one piece of advice for a viewer watching tonight, they see your incredible player. skill. Yeah, a new player. What what would it be? If they, let's say they're getting into the genre for the first time, they're playing Chivalry 2 and they're just frustrated. They don't know why they're not quite as competing at your level. Well, what would you have to say to them? Hmm. I would say to master your block first. Master, <laughs> master your the block. You know that, master it, your defense first. Quasi, that's exactly what Beer Bandit and I have been saying all night. It comes back every time to those basics. You got to get those basics down. Get that repost. Get the that basics, campaign. and you can just you can just do a lot more. Because then you can start branching out once you have a good foundation. And I remember you said before, like start with a two-handed weapon too, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Not really start with a one-handed weapon. It's and they're, they're quite quick, and they can kind of ignore some of the laws of you know what we consider duels like this. So it kind of allows you to make some bad habits. And not that they're bad weapons, but it's usually better to start with a weapon that can do. That it is more respectful of the initiative game. So just to wrap up this interview, Quasi, uh, how are you feeling about your fight with Cryptic? Do you have a plan? Are you just gonna wing it? What are you uh, What are you gonna go into this fight with? Um, I'm just gonna play. I'm just gonna play how I've been playing. Do you have <laughs> uh, Do you have a specific Good loadout you're gonna choose? Yeah, I'm just gonna be sticking with Vanguard. Very find, nice. Uh, Very nice. Yeah, you've been doing fantastic with that Messer Danax combo. It's been really great. You thinking about any tosses, Quasi? Any quasi any tosses in the future? <laughs> Maybe if the opportunity presents itself. Yeah, that's the best time. <laughs> yeah, we've seen some incredible spins from you, Quasi. Well, hey, Quasi, thank you so much for joining us here in the commentators box, man. We we have just been so pleased with the fights you provided tonight. Super impressed with you, what you've been doing today, man. It's been awesome to watch. Thank so. you. Good luck, thank brother. You. If you could let uh, let Cryptic know, we'd like to have him hop in as well. All right. Thank you, my man. Peace out, buddy. Wow, F almost 4,000 hours in the genre. Truly, truly one, probably the most experienced genre player in Chivalry 2. That, that is incredible. Uh, so you, you heard it from him. Beard Band and I have been saying this all night, but take advice from someone who's played the game, the games a lot longer than we have. Learn your block. Learn those basics. Get those repos down before you start doing all of the crazy Cinemark drags and such. Absolutely, yeah. You want to have a strong foundation, and that goes for a lot of things in life. <laughs> but in this game That's especially, true. if you true. have a strong foundation and you learn the basics and you can do them well, that is the the structure that you need to be able to start branching out and being good at other things. If you have that strong foundation, you're going to solve. All right, I'm going to try and move Cryptic here into our chat. I just saw him jump in a second ago. I think I accidentally moved him out. <laughs> hey, Cryptic! Oh, how's it going, man? What's going on, dude? How's it going, guys? Oh, great, fantastic over awesome here. Watching your fights today. 
so Thank good. You. Cryptic, so good. Now, you know, we just interviewed Quasi. He's a player that has 4,000 hours into the genre. What, what's your experience? In the, in the genre. I mean, in the genre, insane. not the game, but in the genre. So what's your experience coming into Chivalry 2? Um, so I played quite a bit of Mordhau, about 1,500 hours, nowhere near 4,000 hours, though. But, <laughs> uh, wow, that's, that's pretty impressive, 1,500 still. Still that's quite a long help. time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> What did you What did you uh, play in Mordha? What was like your main loadout? Uh, my main loadout was great sword. That was my thing. Sword. Yeah, I love hey, me great too, sword man. Too. Me too. <laughs> that was yeah. one of the great weapons. All right, That's so I like that sword. It reminds me of it a little bit. It, it is kind of. It is a little bit similar, right? So, do you think that that's going to be? Uh, I mean, he's he's going to be running most likely the Vanguard, Messer, right? Right. So it's going to be another Messer fight. Are you going to be sticking with your knight, uh, uh, Cryptic? Or you decide yes. you think you're going to go back in? So, yeah, what's your plan for fighting Quasi? You know, he's very strong. He's been having, he's been playing on point all day. Do you have any plan going in to this fight? Um, Quasi's always a tough opponent. I'm just going to have to adjust to how he's playing. That's really all, all the I can fly. do. You know, Beer Bandit and I, we've noticed this with all of your fights tonight. You and other S tier players, one of the things that sets you apart is your ability to adapt mid fight. That's the way to do it. You know, you got to be able like to. These first to fives because you can really, really see what somebody's going to do and how to adapt and how to flex your play style to you know, exploit the stuff that's going on in theirs. And that's with a lot of these really, really good fighters. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. So, Cryptic, uh, if you had one piece of advice from one of the best players in the game, not quite as experienced as Quasi, but still, 1,500 hours in Mordhau, if you had uh, a piece of advice to give to a new player watching the stream tonight, what would you have to say? Uh, I would tell them to go watch Matus Wars, guys. <laughs> first of all. <laughs> that was a good answer. <laughs> well, I know who my favorite to win is. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's my honest answer. <laughs> no, but actually, though, that is a really, really good thing yeah. to say. Not, Notwithstanding or trying to plug or anything, like they are oh. really, really great tutorials, and it's a great way for new players oh, thanks, guys. to understand the game. So, really definitely. <laughs> Well, hey, Cryptic, thank you so much for taking the time to interview with us. I, I, we're really looking forward to this grand finale fight. And, uh, oh, you know, you, you got, if you do wind up beating Quasi, you got to watch out for whoever's going to be coming out of this, uh, this loser's, loser's fight right finals. here. We see Sidamork and Adrian fighting right now. So, so two of the best Thanks, players, bro. of course, though, they would have also been my favorites to win as well. <laughs> so we will Ooh. see. Well, hey, Cryptic, thank you so much. And uh, give us a good fight, huh? All right, will do. Thank you, guys. Peace out, brother. Great stuff. Later. Uh, wow, some some great fighters, some great pieces of advice out there. <laughs> learn your oh, advice, yeah, learn real your basic good pieces of advice. Yeah. <laughs> and go and this Montessori guy. I guess he's got good guides. You How can much go did you pay out. him to do that, Monty? <laughs> About four hundred dollars. <laughs> oh, you know what? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll be splitting the winnings tonight. <laughs> oh, that's great, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I need to get in that next time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. And here we are. Uh, I'm, as we as we finish the interviews, Adrian and Sita are four to four in the losers finale. Here. Oh my god, man! Every fight is just ridiculously next to neck. I cannot believe Unbelievable. this. Uh I, I, I'm so proud of the new community. You know what I mean? Like, it's Seriously. honestly awesome to see this. Like, everybody has improved so much. There's so much talent. There's so many great fights. There's a lot of respect from all the opponents. It's been so great to see. Uh, every uh, We really have a positive community. You know, the genre gets a bad rap um for for a lot of toxicity just in general but yeah. in the dual community of chivalry 2 it just doesn't exist people are so chill we're here to have a good time we're here to fight our best and do well right we're all we're yeah. all here for the same reason Absolutely. we're all on the same side i think everybody's having a, a grand old time even the people who are not still participating i mean just like the, the ability to be able to participate and like learn and have a good time and watch these fights up close and like dissect what's happening you know what i mean it's just gonna make the community better as a whole we need to keep doing this yeah, when I, we will absolutely keep doing this this was oh, such a, a successful night percent. yeah we're, i mean this is a little long but well it's pretty I, long but you know maybe we'll start a little bit earlier uh, yeah a little bit well yeah or, or we'll knows? see how it works out keep, we'll figure keep the it out four but... four fights at the same time a little longer perhaps one more round possibly yeah, something yeah. like that but Man, this has but, been great even so this even has been so, so awesome I, I couldn't think of a better way of spending saturday night than co-casting with my good friend beard bandit Absolutely, oh, it's been a pleasure. Oh, my God, and what a crazy gets it in fight! With like not even a hit, not even a hit from Adrian. I know we kind of glossed oh, wow. over that fight, but that was very impressive from Cinemark. A very, very, very impressive fight. I mean, wow, five to four. A lot of the fights have been that close. To 
it has been insane. So let's uh, let now that so Sita is going. Let me actually pull in Garden Garden Boat. Hey, is Sita Mork? He's the loser uh, winner, right? He's the winner of the loser bracket. The, the loser bracket is actually still two games away from being over. Oh, they have shit. semifinals and losers finals. Yeah, there's oh, a couple more matches. Shit. I think it's Swag and who else? It is going to be the. Um, it is going to be Cinemark just won that one, right? Yeah, Cinemark just won. So Swag yeah. versus Cinemark. Then it's going to be uh, Quasi, quasi and all versus the loser of this battle. So our next fight is actually going to be winner's finals. Oh, uh, with quasi versus shit. Perfect. Oh, oh wow. shit. The fight everyone's been waiting for. Here we yeah, fucking go. And then back to back, we'll have loser's semifinals, which will be Swag versus Adrian. And loser's final, which will be the winner of that battle versus the loser of winner's finals. And then we'll have our grands. Wow. Hell yeah. Wow. Right, well, Whole... Let's get this rolling so we can yeah. get this tournament closed before midnight. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. It depends That'll on how long these fights go. Absolutely. Yeah, a, yeah. Oh, we're going to sleep like fucking babies, I tell you. Oh, man. How <laughs> fantastic. Has been, have these events been so far? It's been man. so incredible, guys. Thank you so much for all your help and work in this. Oh, uh, I, I, I thank you, Garden Boat. This has all been a really great group effort. So, I, you Absolutely. know, let's keep it going. Absolutely. I'll take Cryptic, you take Quasi. Sound good, Beard Bandit? Yeah, let's kick this, man. Woo! Let's fucking do it, everybody. Here we go. You get some hype in the chat, dude. Yeah. This is insane. Hype it up, y'all. <laughs> this is this is a fight between Cryptic and Quasi, two of the best players in the fucking game. Here we for go. Sure. Absolutely. <laughs> this is first to seven, yeah. I believe this should, this should be first to seven. Okay. Uh, let me just confirm in chat. First to seven. All right. So, uh, Quasi sticking with the Danax against Cryptix Knight. That's probably the smarter move, as we've been talking about. Gets a little bit extra damage. Oh, Ooh, great attack right off the really wing. overhead. Yeah, Cryptic really only needs one, one more. That was an overhead. He only. Oh wow. shit! Whoa! Wow! Whoa, that, that was another quick axe. So I didn't even see that happen. I, I oh, barely that saw like, that. I barely that saw so that. Quick. I think. Wow. I think. I think Quasi tried to steal Cryptic's initiative again, and Cryptic was just ready. He's ready with that defense. Yeah, he is quick oh, to punish. Extremely yeah. quick to punish. If he sees an opening, he will take it. And he has such a strong defense that you can wait for that opening. Seriously, I, 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 as we've been talking about, Cryptic really has that defense. He's got those basics down. He's Absolutely. listened to Quasi's advice. <laughs> I think. I think. You know. I think. Honestly, that is like, like Cryptic is the epitome of like brilliance in this, in this game. He has such good fundamentals that it makes everything else so much easier for 100 percent. if you've got those fundamentals down then it just learning the special stuff takes a little bit of time but it, you know throwing that out is so easy as long as you know you're going to be reposting and countering every other attack oh, oh but a quick axel yeah. quiz is able to steal some initiative there and get a big hit in excellent where cryptic just wasn't quite ready for that but he i'm sure he's yeah. now learned his lesson he's going to be reposting here we go <laughs> oh, oh and another quick hit from quasi he's on the ropes here he's got him quite low if he quasi goes for some big so aggressive jabs that. And, this, and the kick is going to stop the regen. Quasi's on a very, very good momentum here. Yep, Cryptic stamina must be low, so he's, he's got to really watch out. The pressure. Yeah, he's he's fainted. Oh! Wow! wow. Yeah, I don't know if you just saw Cryptic's arm, but I think it went into the stands like extremely oh, did far it? away. I, uh, yeah, no, I saw. It, I got to go follow this because it went. I, I see it on the sand, but you know. it is so worse so far away from me. <laughs> nice. Man, wow, he baseball batted that arm away. Ooh, all right, one to one, yeah, one to fucking one. Insane. Yeah, so uh, Quasi has to make a lot fewer mistakes, but if they both have a solid defense, then Cryptic's going to be at the disadvantage with stamina. So I we mean, really if Quasi have just to plays play. perfectly, then he's fine. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If Quasi plays perfectly, then he's going to win. So There's we'll no worries, see. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's only he's only been playing for five hours straight and against the best players in the game. <laughs> oh, he's probably fine. No, no worries. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> wow, excellent acceleration. Quasi again trying to steal that initiative. Cryptic ready for it this time. Quasi is is al almost always perfect with those combo faint to parries. Right there again. Yep. He knows. He knows that it's his time. Alright, here we are. Feel this dead silent. Everybody's watching in anticipation. The tension is building the tension up. Is palpable. Oh, oh, but hey, Cryptic finally combo fainted to parry himself. I was afraid we were going to see another hit, like we've seen the past two fights so far. But now he he's learned yeah. his lesson. This is it. This is an active adaptation. He's a, it's adapting to his opponent. Wow, this is real time. Like these guys have been matching each other's blows for. Wow. Oh shit! An overhead acceleration. That is dangerous. Great Cryptic is low. Acceleration. Oh, oh! Oh! Wow! I did not think that was gonna land. Wow! I did not think that was gonna 
man. Oh, what man. a toad bag! Unbelievable! Oh, Jesus! Oh my! I, I was so close. I don't know how. I don't know if I could take it, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my like poor heart. <laughs> this is a lot, man. Oh God damn, cryptic! Holy shit! Wow. I was just surviving on a monster, man. This is going to take me over the edge. I'm going to need to go to the hospital. Yeah. Oh, shit, dude, man. <laughs> oh, I've got some cheese here for you. You can have a little bit. Oh, I brought yeah. it into the booth. Slide me one over real yeah, quick. You got it, man. You got it. <laughs> wow. Okay. Great oh, like a little jab. jab in there from yeah. Cryptic. Cryptic is smart. You know, if you can't beat the stamina game, you can you can uh, break the momentum enough with some jabs, with some kicks that... Right. Uh, that if you can land, if you can land a kick on a vanguard with the messer, that that is pretty much the match right there. You know, this game is is pretty much a rhythm game. <laughs> it's a rhythm game. We're playing Doki Doki right now, 100, percent dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he goes for the toss, but it's a little bit oh, missed. He's going to pick it back up. No, Cryptic but he punishes, punishes him for it. it. He punishes oh, him for it. That's unfortunate. Oh, yeah. oh it's a, a shame. He listened to you, there. dude. <laughs> I know. I feel so bad now. Oh no! <laughs> Wow, the crowd died. Unbelievable. Oh, Holy shit. That Holy was insane. Shit. Insanely good. Oh, wow. God fucking damn. Oh, man. I mean, damn. it just shows you the, the, the defense on these two players. It is, and these matches are lasting so long because they, they have to... They have to find a weakness, and when their players are so foundationally strong, where do you find the weakness? Somebody oh, has to give up shit. eventually, but it takes a while for somebody to find that opening. It really a quick does. overhead from Quasi right at the start, though. Yeah, that's almost all. Of, that's almost half of Cryptic's health right away. So you really got to watch out. That's quite a bit. The Anax is extremely damaging for how quick it is. Cryptic's choking a little bit. Down. Yeah, he's he, Cryptic is playing a little a little too defensively there. It, it, you see, he's, he's reacting to the attacks that Quasi is kind of pushing the initiative. Yeah, he's, he's exactly. Just trying to match, Cryptic's match in, uh, Quasi's in control. Cryptic is just trying to keep up with him. Hopefully, he can. Hopefully, he can break this momentum a little bit to get out so of he's it. He's low on stamp. Oh, there, what a drag by Quasi! I think I do Excellent. think Cryptic is low on stamp, so that's why he's that's why he's not in control of the fight at the moment. So you can tell Quasi is controlling the tempo of this fight very oh, well. Oh, what the Cryptic's track! Cryptic's able to break out of it though. So what now a this risk! This isn't even ground again. That Quasi it's, could have stolen that initiative there, but oh, but, and the jab! There we go. That's right. what Cryptic needs. There we go. So Quasi must be out of stam. Cryptic two. So now they're going to be. Quasi is on, is on like regen health right now. So oh, he, is he that oh, low? Oh, wow, oh. An excellent. It's and now over. he needs to just it's stay away. He, he now he needs it. to yes. just run away. So Cryptic just have no... to find his moment. Yeah, oh. I mean, unless he kicks here. Oh, oh, oh my god! He crumbles! Oh, he crumbles! So right in front of Quasi as his swing is about to connect. It was so Oh close. my god. Oh, oh, I can't, I can only imagine. My heart. I can only imagine <laughs> the, the pain Cryptic must feel oh. at this moment. That he had wow. that. If it was only just a second oh, quicker. Oh my god, that is insanity. Oh. This is the stuff that you see in Winter's Finals, folks. This, this is what you come to the trial. For everybody. Oh this my is god. Oh, holy shit. Holy <laughs> shit. Wow, what a fight. What a fight. Between true two titans. Titans of players here. Titans of the dual community here. Oh. Man, I love seeing that that swing around Axel. He does. I mean, it, it's, so, it's so cool. It's so smooth, <laughs> yo. It's so smooth. Oh, and he oh, quick it. kicks he is able overhead. to get it. Oh, oh and a quick dodge. punish. A wow. Dodge again. He's really, really laying in those crouch dodges. That is I think, so I hard think, to pull off. Honestly. Dude. I, yeah. I, I, is is Cryptic doing this in first person? That is incredible. Is he play, Does he play first he, person? I, don't think he I does. need to know. Does Cryptic, he? was that in first? He he does. <laughs> he used to play in first. I need to know. I gotta pause the fight. Uh, I gotta let the whole lobby know. That was a crouch dodge in first person wow. and punish. Honestly, so Holy shit! It was in first person. That was amazing. All right, let's not let's let let's look quasi right. have some yeah, of course. too. We don't sorry, wanna... I'm sorry. I just no, I, I also play in first person and I was very impressed. That is quite impressive. <laughs> to do that in first person is a, is a monumental feat that is very tough to do. So respect yeah. to, to cryptic. But quasi is not gonna roll over and take this. Oh no, quasi quasi is not oh, out of the quick camp. Axel. He's he's already at half health. That was a humongous heavy. Yeah, that uh, that could be it. But Qu Quasi's ready. He's ready to play a bit defensively here. Great drag, but Cryptic was ready. He's got that defense. Oh, oh, what a quick punish! He's got to do that three more times though, and Cryptic only yeah. needs one more overhead to land. Yeah, he's got to play very very well right now. If he gets one heavy, it's it. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So. 
Gotta be careful for Quasi here. Here comes the jump. Oh boy. Oh, Whoa, there we go. That's it. There. Now we've tied it up here. And, yeah. Uh, it could be anyone. Quasi's it could be anyone this round. Some here. Oh, well, the kick lands. He's he gonna get the. He can't follow yeah, he's up. able to get yeah, the dodge parry. Is, able, is gonna be able to reset that. He's gonna be okay. Oh, Another yeah. light and cryptic is on kick health. That's it. And the, oh, wow! Shit. And he dodges away. He dodges the kick. What is happening? Oh! My oh! God. And then another kick to finish him off. Uh, very, very well done. Of wow! Course. What a fight from both players there. Great. He should have. He should have kept running. You gotta just get out of there. And you uh, have to. There's yeah. no way to. There's no way to avoid that five damage. Unfortunately, unless, like, yeah. You're, 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 yeah, the, the thing about that Monty is that like if you're that low health, right? You, you either get kicked to the five damage that kills you, or you block the kick and then you and get the, killed and by the exactly, follow up. Exactly, exactly. So, so there's you really, really just no, gotta run away. There's no way to win that fight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> gotta run away. Yeah, yeah. You just gotta gotta get away, get get a little bit of regen so that kick isn't gonna hit you. Oh, he An tries to jump, jump kick. kick there, I love but that. Monty is able to kind of just read that. Yeah, doesn't it, get to punish it, but yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be harder to. Oh, nice. oh wow! I, I could have sworn that I was thought gonna, he's gonna be a jump, jump over it. Yeah, dude, but how amazing! How amazing was that? That would have been fantastic. Very close though. Ooh. I think I think Cryptic saw it happening and was able to kind of reorient the attack upwards. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Oh shit! Oh god! I thought that was gonna wow. land there. Oof. All right, great back and forth here between the two of them. Oh, oh, I saw great. that one hidden right yeah. there. An yeah. excellent, excellent heavy strike from Quasi. Now, he only needs one strike if he can land it. Uh, overhead, correct? Light overhead? Yeah, overhead, yeah. That yeah. would be it. Oh, well, you know, he did a slash heavy. He might need to do two. Cryptic's at half health. I don't know if the uh, I don't yeah, know if he would need to do two attacks. Unless he had a, a heavy, heavy overhead, overhead. Yeah. That would do it. That yeah. could have been it right there, but Cryptic was able to block at the very last second. Oh, fucking A. Fucking A. All right, so they're both low on stamina. They're both taking the time to regen here. Sometimes that's the best move, even if you know your opponent is getting the advantage there. Oh, man, this is just ridiculous. This is so neck and neck. There's nobody finding an opening. Nobody's able to land a strike. Oh. As I say it, Quasi does. You know, you can only stay consistent for so long. Oh, but he's unable to punish the kick. So unfortunate. I, I, I felt a, I felt a toss coming, but no. Nice oh, finish great. from Quasi. Great wow. Work. I mean, he's play Again, this is a... I'm talking about that experience that Quasi has. He knows how to adapt. He was getting worked up a little bit those first fights, but I think he's starting yeah. to find his rhythm again. And that's a tie four to four. If this is yeah, it's very even. Is the this is the, did they say this was first to five still? <laughs> I think it's. I mean, it should be seven. I would imagine. I think it it's first seven. to seven now. Yeah, but still, goddamn, four to four, tied up. Could are. be anyone's match. You know, we, we have no idea. No idea who's right. gonna win. No. Woo, God damn it. It's too close. It's, it's really too close. These players are both like the tip top of the player base. They it's really are. So they hard. are. This is the skill ceiling as it is currently, everyone. This is it. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Here we fucking go. Seven jump sends, so. Yeah, and you know, we may actually see this again. We may see this fight repeated in the grand finale, yeah. <laughs> which would be hilarious. Yeah, if it was if hilarious. it was a seven to six win and then, you know, the opposite. <laughs> we'll see. Oh my god. I know, man. dude. What a what a crazy night it would be. We'd be here all night, but man, we I'm, would I'm be here, here all night. <laughs> I am here for it though, man. <laughs> we gotta see it to the, we gotta see it to the end, Beard Bandit. We gotta Absolutely. do it. Absolutely. <laughs> and this is amazing, though. Wow, oh, what an heavy oh, overhead. I mean he's god. taking a big chunk out of Cryptic's health there. Cryptic he just needs one more light attack to take Cryptic out. So Cryptic is really on the ropes here he goes for a neutral drag there i thought that was gonna land those are interesting you don't see him too often a lot of heavy attacks not a lot of neutral drags but i, I, I mean that, and that's actually a good idea you think about how many heavy attacks you see and they're most of the time you're not gonna hit you're not gonna heavy axel most of the time you're gonna heavy drag. very rarely you see yeah. heavy come out you know you're gonna wait so, so instead if, if you're waiting is... for that repost but then it comes out later then that's gonna catch you man okay. that that's a shame those are he's reacting to those kicks he's just unable to punish him it's not fast enough of a weapon this, the, the thing is it's just so easy to so easy to get kicks and just to throw out kicks and then not get punished for it if you play like that you just I immediately parry and you're fine totally agree it's a shame I, if i were to balance something i'd make the recovery from kick a little bit longer if you read a kick and attack i think you should get a hit in there it should be a little more risky i, I and i think when you do land the kick i think it should be more rewarding i think it's a little bit too easy to oh out of. totally absolutely if the kick lands on the block that should also be pretty much a guaranteed hit 100 exactly. so it's 100%. like on both sides of that 
Ooh, wow, an excellent drag. overhead. Great drag. God damn. Oh, but he's going for it. It's not over. Oh, it's wait, not is that over yet? I counted him out, but it's not over. Oh, oh he's, he's low health. Oh, he crumples <laughs> over again. <laughs> again. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, Unbelievable. <laughs> It, wait, is it first to seven? Is it? It's is first it to seven. It's still seven? first to seven. Yeah, 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 yeah. I thought so. I... Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. He's coming back. Oh, God damn. <laughs> this isn't seven. I mean, this is this is insane. Two seven. Wow. <sighs> Holy shit! Holy oh, man, shit! I mean, they're so close every time. It's just there's no way to tell. Oh, oh what a quick what act! Oh, that was a big heavy. Yeah, here we go. Uh, he only needs one light attack to kill Quasi here, unless it's a stab. Light, light overhead, light slash should be it, right? Let's see. There. Oh, oh wow. so and Quasi's yeah. kick health he's away. Gonna he's kick gonna kick him. Pushed. He's you know oh, Quasi but he retorts. Quasi killed you last time with a jab, Cryptic. You gotta you gotta follow it up, man. Oh Ooh. man, Quasi's got some really good defense here though. He's doing this little bit of like ranging back in just to do some jabs, just to stop Cryptic from being able to do his he's, own. And he's regen. The health is coming back. He, uh, yeah, you know. now he's back up to full again, and he stops uh, the jab again. There I mean, we wow. go. Some Crypt really solid defense from Quasi right there. Got to see another kick from Cryptic. It could land here, but he guess he's out he, of stamina. He's got to take yeah. the time. Uh, wow, well, I'm I'm really impressed by the 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 surviving of the onslaught that happened right Woo! there. With Quasi. Yeah, Qua quick excellent hit work. Too. Yeah, and that 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 could have been Quasi's death, but he he really had that solid defense there. Absolutely. Oh, holy shit! All right, still anyone's round. All right, nice work, Riptic. Reading that kick, unfortunately unable to punish Quasi there. Oh, holy oh, wow. shit! Cryptic's not quite in. Oh, that could have been. That oh, oh, around the parry. Wow. Uh, once again, all around the world with that all drag. Around. Holy shit. Holy little, shit. Harlem Globetrotter. God damn. God damn. I think that's six quasi now. Yeah, this is game point for quasi. Cryptic's really got to pull it out here. And it's and interesting, he's, have, he's stayed with the knight the whole time. He could go to Vanguard and just be, you know, pretty much the same same damage here, right? Right, because, I mean... Just more well, stamina. Yeah. I guess just, you no, know, you could take well, using the a little much, more. Basically, kind of a, that, that's what I'm saying. Now. It's similar. Yeah. A little bit more health as knight. A little right, bit, right. but, you know. And we haven't seen too many disarms, but I, it does change the way Cryptic fights when he's low on stamina. Oh, wow! Sure. Whoa! I was surprised at that counter. Uh, same, uh, same. I, that was an incredible move. There's the same side fainting from Cryptic, extending the counter window just slightly just enough. enough. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it was, it was very tip of the edge there. Quasi unable to punish Cryptic's whiff. Still excellent moves on both sides. Oh, there oh, we go. Oh, great, great slash heavy there. From Cryptic must be low on stamina. He's going for all these counters, not waiting his time. Go. And it's it, it, that's that's the thing about the Danax. You can accelerate it so fast that you just can't counter it. And he's gonna re be running out of stamina here, so he's got to go for these counters. Quasi knows this. Oh, oh, but he knocked the weapon out of Quasi's hand. Oh, and then he punishes him uh, off with a whiff there. Wow. Cryptic, Cryptic cannot let Quasi wow. pick up his Danax. Oh, and that's it. That's, yeah, that's yeah. gonna be a tough position. Uh, yeah, this is Cryptic. a hard fight. Uh, we'll see. It's not. It's not over yet by any any means. But uh, no, no, he, he gets, lost that advantage. I don't advantage think Quasi's there. gonna. Yeah, he's gonna regen. So Quasi's yeah. gonna be again up to one oh! hit. Wow. But hey, he's and still he's it. still in the fight. Hey, oh, no, he's, he's running away. He's oh, gonna he run. gave up. <laughs> oh, well fought by both players there. I mean, wow, Ooh. just an excellent, oh. excellent match. Wow, playing with my that heart, was so fellas. Fantastic. Excellent wow. work. Wow, the crowd just absolutely going wild for Quasi. <laughs> Holy kid, shit. Such a good effort. It yeah, was such a great, great fight. showing from him. Great yeah, so fight. Many great moves. The crowd like, is again. absolutely going batshit bananas. Everyone's going crazy. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Woo! Wow, look at this. Everyone, everyone's just having a good time here in the duel yard tonight. <laughs> absolutely. Wow. All right. So swag versus so swag Sita. And, Sita. and then All they're right. gonna fight. And then they're gonna fight Cryptic. Okay. All right. I'll take uh, Sita. You wanna take swag? All right. Yeah. I'll be on swag. Sounds good. This is the losers semifinals. That was one of the best fights I've ever. Oh, seen. truly incredible! What a Excellent. first to seven. Ugh, unbelievable. Everyone, you know, we're gonna. I, I've recorded this. I'm gonna be this uploading it to, to YouTube. Five. Yeah, you're gonna wanna. You're gonna wanna check those videos out. Rewatch these fights. See what you can learn from the yes. truly pinnacle of fighters here tonight. Oh, 
Cryptic is so good, Trap to Hold. Quasi is also amazing. They're both incredible fighters. All right, here we go. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, all right, we've got Cinemorch's incredible Messer Drags against Swag Mountain's very fast Longsword Accelerations and Gambles. Oh, quick Axel. Swag, oh, Swag is ready retorts. for it. Yeah. yeah we'll see. Back the zone attack. Yeah, indeed. They're, they're both keeping up an excellent rhythm here. Ooh, oh, excellent yeah. stab, You I can swag. see the dance. You can see it yeah. happening, right? Uh, they really, they, they really are in a rhythm together. Oh! Whoa! It just, he, Cinemorg probably thought he was just out of range, but Swag just pushed swag it, the envelope. Better. Pushed the envelope just a little bit there. Yeah, Dude, absolutely. That is, that is his weapon. That is his weapon. He knows a longsword better than I think anybody knows a longsword. So we are in the loser semifinals, everyone. We've got one more loser's fight after this with uh, Cryptic. Whoever wins this fight is going to fight Cryptic to get the uh, the honor, the glory of fighting Quasi in the grand finale. And then we will finally see who is the Chivalry 2 champion because they have passed the trial by blood. <laughs> All right, back in. Round two. One to Swag, zero to Cinemark so far. Yep. Ah, uh, yep, Swag came in for that nice range stab, but Cinemark able to retort a little bit himself. Almost, almost. Man, he coils around like a snake with that backward swing he <laughs> Absolutely. does. Absolutely, look at that. It's so smooth. You know, we, t we describe this as a dance. If this is a dance, Cinemark really is the prima ballerina. He is. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> 100%. Like a belly dancer, man. He can do all corn. Guys are crazy. Things. Yeah, it's his just whole body it's around. mesmerizing. I'm hypnotized by the way he moves those hips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Axel is the reason. The secure. Oh, oh, he's <laughs> so low. He's got no help. Swag does, but he were at port. Oh my god, what a great stab he got there, right there with the excellent. I, I don't know player. how low stab, uh, how low swag is. Oh, oh my god, oh, Jesus, those Axels were just. Bow. He hit, he hit the ground the first time, and that's how he was able to accelerate that uh, overhead so fast again. Excellent um, work. Excellent stuff, man. These yeah. fighters are just really putting on a show. Uh, holy shit. Everyone is doing their best tonight. And Swag you can watch this for free. Yeah, you this even, is for everybody. No one's this is paying free. For this. Yeah, we're Nobody's bringing this. For this. We're bringing you uh, hours of entertainment <laughs> by, from the bottom of our hearts. So I hope everyone loves it. <laughs> yeah, this has been so entertaining to watch. Great time for me. Great time for me, indeed. <laughs> yeah, I, I only usually have two hour streams. This is really pushing my envelope, but we're going. <laughs> Worth it. Send it, bro. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so Swag has already gotten the lead on Cinemork here. Cinemork, oh, wow. he punishes the whiff. Excellent work. Excellent work. We really, Cinemork really has got to focus on those accelerations. You know, those drags are solid, but Swag, he's got that, he's got that formula to steal initiative down so well. He does have the formula, man. He has that shit downloaded. Oh, yeah, holy memorized. shit. Oh, he, he, you know, he's taken the red pill. He's met with Morpheus. <laughs> he's learned the Kung Fu and he's jumped off the building. You know, he's ready to get into the Matrix. Cinemark, of go, course, man. he's been the one for a while. So we'll, you know, he, he's just got to, he's, <laughs> he's, fight, he's fighting on equal terms now. Oh. <laughs> Here we go, Cinemark. All right, there we go. We're seeing some more accelerations from him. Fewer drags. That's what we need. Oh, very good. Excellent work, Cinemark. All right, wow. Very nice. Great, great work on both parts. Cinemark's already low on stamina, though, I believe. So he, he's really got to watch it here. Be careful. Ooh. Oh wow! Quick L and B and a jab, but oh, still jab able to get him his own jab. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, oh wow! Fantastic. I was really thinking that flag was gonna catch that. Me too. But Me too. Able to, able to axel it faster. He's got and that then, manipulation. That, that I know. Stab, I know that man. Like, he's bending his back in the wrong he direction goes, to then oh, bend man, it forward. <laughs> it's just it's absolutely so disorienting. Wild. Absolutely wild. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, all right. Very nice. Same side feint to catch that stab and a counter. Oh, wow. He's a toe so low. drag. That actually just hit his toes right there. <laughs> Absolutely. That was the very precipice that he could have had to hit there. Is he in jab damage now? Oh, shit. They're both real. Wow. wow. Unbelievable. Woo. God damn. God damn. Wow. wow, wow. Shut your cunning. Swag three set of one. Swag is really doing well. Really, yeah, really pulling been, it out here. I, I have been super. I mean, I know Swag is, is a great fighter. He's always been a great fighter, but he's been really, really uh, in tip top form today. I'm he's been today. incredible. I did not have him in my private bracket for the winners league here, but uh, he's really he might be coming around here.
Yeah. Wow, excellent. So wow, Cinemark switching to Danex. This seems to be the better move for Cinemark here. Uh, he he is, racks, yeah, yeah, he's going. He's doing these accelerations, which is good. As long as he can prevent Swag from stealing his initiative, then those heavy drags there, that's going to be very hard for the Longsword to counter accurately every time. What? Oh my god, the oh, 360 whips barely. I know, I know. Holy crap. What a move. Absolutely beautiful. Holy wow, shit. Swag's still well, unbelievable. What a counter. I, I mean, that was just textbook. Oh, 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 when he gets caught. Wow. Unbelievable. He pulls an overhead combo with an executioner's axe. Holy it shit. That was insanity. Uh, I mean, uh, unbelievable. <laughs> what an extremely good showing from both of these fighters. Wow. Uh, the, both of the both of the fights hit as one with two quick overhead axe cells to the ground. And yeah. it just takes swag out. Let's you know, you don't expect it with going. such a slow weapon, you know? You think, okay, I got my longsword, I'm gonna be able to get an attack out even if I'm hit. But no, Cinemark is fucking ready. Because no, he's hitting he that is. ground. He's hitting the ground, he's hitting the terrain, getting that fast recovery, and then being able to accelerate it again. Just amazing. Absolutely. Oh, again! Wow! Wow. <laughs> beautiful! An actually beautiful dance. Holy oh crap. my god! The I cannot believe this flag just countered that. Oh, <laughs> oh my wow. god. Wow, wow, oh my wow. god. Oh my god. Oh, and an excellent hit from Cinemark. He whips the Executioner's axe around, but Swag is waiting to catch it. Oh, holy shit. Here we go. He's trying to get for the. Oh! oh! He tried to steal initiative, but Swag is ready. Arrows into the ring from oh, the, oh. the side of the game. It looks like, it looks like the spectators are going to go hunt the RDM down. We got him down. <laughs> so we can focus on this excellent fight. Oh, oh great wow, work. great swing there from the Cinemark, and he gets him with the jab. <laughs> he That's was ready tough. for it. He was ready That's for tough. it. That's tough. God damn. God damn. I love how quick those spectators ran over to go crush that Yeah, guy. that was, that was awesome. That was really awesome. <laughs> Thank and, you, boys. And hey, just uh, just to give a shout out, uh, I know we're not interacting with chat too much tonight, but hey, TK Demon, thanks for the gift subs to both me and Beard Bandit. That's awesome. We really oh, appreciate wow. it. it to you. That's, that's amazing. So thank you so much, man. Yeah, absolutely. And we, we appreciate it. I hope we're really glad everyone's having a good time. All right, here we go. So that's three to three. They've tied it up. Holy shit. Holy shit. Wow. <laughs> oh, a quick axel from Cinemark. All right. Oh, he flag. tries to go for the special, but he he realizes it's not going to hit. That was, yeah. that was great tracking. Good, good foresight on Swag there, knowing that wasn't going to hit. He didn't put himself in a bad position. I, I Wow, the oh. look back. Oh! <laughs> Unbelievable! Holy Unbelievable. shit! Unbelievable! Uh, uh, getting a special there, I was there, just man. about to say that Swag is very fond of that stab to instant uh, special combo. And man, that is a devastating combo. Even if you block it, you're going to be low on Sam. That is just a great aggressive play. People don't expect it. Absolutely, absolutely. So I guess this is match point they're saying. So the loser's bracket is first to five. It's first to five, yes, correct. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. You see Cinemark kind of running around. I thought he was going to try and target tackle up, but uh, he, Swag says no thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I guess not. I guess not. Yeah, swag Swag is uh, fond oh, of the tackle himself. He Ooh, whiffs that, Swag whiffs that overhead. Cinemark punishes him for it. Cinemark is not done here by any means. All right, here we go, Cinemark. Ah, uh, they both whiff. Hey, Garden Boat, how's it going, my man? I was just uh, here to clarify something really quick. This is uh, first to five because it is still a semi-final, technically. Okay, um, sounds good. And, yeah, and the Cryptic will be fighting the winner of this in the actual And that'll be first finals, to seven. And that'll right. be first to seven. That makes gotcha. sense. We, you know what? We're not going to complain about uh, saving us a little bit of time here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure totally you're not. understandable. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. So All right, man. Get back to it. All right, of Peace. course. Thank you, my man. Oh boy! Man, these guys have been going back and forth for a long. Wow, man! It made these stabs from Swag. I you know, know they're both going around. Oh, and he has no bam! Wow. And he ties it up again. It's God, another. These guys time. are it's four to four. unbelievable. Man, this has been every single Dude, match. Every has single been one. Back to back to back to back to back. And these fights every, don't last thirty uh, seconds either. It's not more no, now, right? Like time, these fights man. last minutes. Right, so fucking a. <laughs> I mean, you have to be, you have to be, you have to have the stamina, the endurance to play this long and not like and not make a mistake. And you, after a while, you, you play the duel enough that you know you're bound to fuck up something, you know. So. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Oh wait, it's insane, did, though. Uh, did he win? Was that? No, 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 no. I think, uh, I think, um, Cinemark is just 
He's not switching. He didn't. He didn't switch loadouts. I'm, I'm not sure quite what happened. I think he. I think he's switching loadouts, isn't he? He's still oh, XEX. He said my XEX is gone. I think he's just getting another XEX. Oh, now. he. Oh, that's right. Must have disappeared. Okay, there we go. All right, Here cool. we go. Wow, <laughs> and the crowd goes wild again. Here we are. <laughs> this is as much a spectator sport for them as it is for us. But I'm sure they're having a good time. In, I, this in, is in actually chat. a great spectator sport. This shit is fun to watch. This is some yeah, real is gladiatorial awesome. action here. This oh, is what oh, Ship man. 2 has to offer, yo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. he actually countered that. Damn. Oh, oh, oh he, he wins the special. Him. It was so close. He was oh, inches away. Oh, both of them. Even that overhead. Oh, holy right. crap. Holy crap. All right, so somebody's now we're on just damn. Somebody's helping him puff, and I think it's swag. I think is it swag? I, I, yeah. I mean, I don't know. It could be cinema work too. I think, I think it's swag. Oh, oh wow. wow! What a spin! What a spin! Doesn't quite land any. Oh, oh shit! A great stab from swag. Oh, oh and a quick Axel. Oh, wow! It's anyone? It's any oh. oh my god, man! These guys have been fighting tooth and nail. Every fight is a fight for survival, and it's oh. not clear on anybody's side who's gonna win. I mean, unbelievable performance from these two fighters. Wow! Unbelievable. unbelievable. Great showing, Cinemark. I have never work. seen better fights in this game than I have watched today. I mean, everybody I've seen is in peak. Peak form. Absolutely. Absolutely. The crowd goes wild. Absolutely. So I, we're about to determine who's the third place winner. Isn't that right? Um, uh, I believe so. Yeah. So I think I think whoever wins this next fight is about to win one hundred dollars. For fighting in Chivalry 2. Whoever oh my wins, god. Who, who, or rather, whoever loses this fight. So whoever whoever's fighting here. So uh, Swag and Cryptic are both, I believe, you know, maybe Garden, you know, forgive me if I'm wrong, guys. But I think it's Cryptic and Swag here. Whoever loses here is already guaranteed $100. So congratulations to the top three of the night. Quasi, Cryptic, Swag Mountains. Here we fucking go. Excellent, Shelly, from First the to seven. Man. Uh, I'll it's take so Swag this incredible. time if you want to take Cryptic. Absolutely. All right, let's do it, yeah. Wow, all right, good job. So whoever wins here, guaranteed yes. to get $200 tonight. What? Whoever loses here, 100. This is it. This is for all the fucking marbles. This is for the Benjamins. This is for the big buckaroos. These guys are gonna be putting up their very best. <laughs> and we have, the, we have the devs here. here, we have the mods here, and we still have this fucking RDMer coming in. <laughs> he's, he's trying really hard, you know? <laughs> He's very yeah, determined. He, he, yeah, well, this is the that's the attitude of a top player, right? Even when he loses, <laughs> even when he loses, he keeps coming back. He keeps coming back. <laughs> oh, Cinemark was fight, dude. I mean, excellent showing by Cinemark. Cinemark was incredible tonight. You know, oh. so fucking good. So fucking. All right, here we go. Wag Mountains and Cryptic. This will be an excellent fight, yo. Oh my god, man. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh they both just, I know. Just out of range inches away players. from each other. Inches away. Touching tips, but not bodies. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, holy crap. Excellent acceleration there on Swag Mountain's part. Wow. Wow, no hits on either part yet, huh? They're both just going solid defense here. Back both, to back to back. Yeah, a really you strong have defense. To play very strong. I, I thought it's, that was going to land. It's impossible, yeah. <laughs> but this is so hard landing a swing around these players. They just, ooh, and there it is. Yeah, every as soon as one of them that, takes a risk. One. Yeah, you, right, you are their jinx, dude. I've been catching it every time, dude. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ooh, holy holy shit. crap, man. Oh, these shit. guys are going back and forth, back and forth. Some of the best defense in the game. From truly, here. truly, absolutely. Oh, and he knocks it here out. Here we go, here we go. Oh, oh a great dodge and a good punish, man. Wow. Fantastic plays from Cryptic there. And he gets him with a swing. Oh, my God, Ooh. amazing. Wow. Amazing. Incredible work, Cryptic. Incredible work. That was a clutch dodge indeed. Holy shit. Wow. Oh, God. That that one lasted a minute and a half, I think, just alone. So <laughs> That was a long, long fight. Yeah, get ready for quite a few more of that, everyone. Oh, All right, I'm swag, right? Yeah, here we go. Dude, thank mm -hmm. you for teaching me that tech. That is incredible. That's incredible tech. Right, right mouse button? Right. Yeah, right mouse button, dude? Yeah, 100%. 100%. That's the tech, baby. <laughs> All right, here we fucking are. Here we are.
Yeah, these guys might be top three, but do they know that you can swap to somebody specifically with the right mouse button? To nah, man, that's why we're top two. <laughs> that's why we're here. <laughs> I'm above your rules and I, your ranks. We're literally flying above you. <laughs> <laughs> Right. All right, man. Excellent work. showing from Cryptic and Swag here. They're still going at it. I mean, it's so hard to find an opening with these two players. Oh, but he Ooh, punishes the kick. Punish on the kick. I, I think it's the first actual punish we've seen I so was far. just about to say, I don't think anybody's <laughs> actually punished the kick, but wow, what a nice play on the range there. Cryptic using the extended range of the Nestor to get a stab off. Yeah. Oh, okay. Swag is low. Just a couple of jabs, and he is down here. So if Cryptic can keep it up, if he can prevent the a kick is what he needs. A kick out of a repost right here. Yeah. Oh, he's going for the faint. Swag's gonna. Oh, and a two drop. Oh my lord. Oh, what a great he, dodge. If he didn't, is so low. Uh, he still got uh. it. He still got it. If he didn't go for that special, if he just did a regular attack, Cryptic would have would have died. But still, he got it in the end there. So excellent work. That was, that was insane. <laughs> Oh, a nice little twirl by Swag Mountains. Looking great, He's man. very fond of those. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I go say hello to him, he's on top of the stand. He does a little twirl when he comes down. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. World's most likable longsword user. <laughs> yeah, the monk sure. Erica, baby. <laughs> he looks great. He's looking... He's rocking it. Look at this guy. Yeah, he really does. <laughs> yeah, he's looking solid. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. What a quick axel. Right to start. Right away. All right, so now we're gonna probably just get back into this defensive fight for a little while until one of them runs lower on stamina and decide to take a bit risk. Oh, he gets, he gets around him, him there. It's a great hit. Excellent wow. footwork. Excellent footwork by Cryptic. He's playing defensively against that uh, longsword. That is the way to go. And your when your opponent's weapon is faster than yours, you really want to just focus to those to that defenseless fundamentals. Great axe. So mm -hmm. And you're going to be able to catch him off guard sometimes. Oh, he's going for the jab. He manages to get that repost off of it though. Gonna try and probably get a rainbow drag. Here's what it looks like. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it's now pretty... that one person is dragged, somebody's going to be dragging for a while. Exactly. But now they're back to axles. There's, there's, it really is a rhythm game. It, yeah, uh, you know, 100%. You get into that rhythm, then you try to break that rhythm. Oh, wow! Two drag. Oh, oh drag. man, I thought that the axle punish was going to come out. Uh, oh, but he gets a stab though. That was a stab drag, though. I do think I do think Swag tried to overhead counter that one. Yeah, I think he may have put a uh, <sighs> missing foot there. Cryptic two, Swag one. Wow. Okay. Close fights again, man. These guys are so well matched. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. Uh, my god. Here we go. If it's Cryptic and Quasi again. <laughs> oh, boy. Alright, here we are, everyone. Yeah, everyone, keep score. This is going to be an exciting match. All right, so yeah, they're just gonna be testing each other out. Wow. Oh, great, great slash right there. Right off the bat. Oh, oh. and again, Cryptic. He's bringing, he's bringing the pain. Oh, he, he's Cryptic. Stop that regen, but Swag answers back. Yeah, Cryptic. Get momentum. Get another jab. Oh man. Oh, he doesn't follow it up. That could have been his opportunity. That's a yeah. shame. He was too nervous, too nervous about getting around him. Yeah, and unfortunately, Cryptic gave up the opportunity to get that jab kill, that jab kick kill. Yep. So Cryptic is low on stamina here. That's why he's not pursuing Swag Mountain a little more aggressively, though. With that he's Messer... We're getting him some stuff here, get some counters, get his stamina fill. For sure. With that Messer, he should be able to take on Swag Mountains. Oh, man, that was a really sick overhead counter. That's really cool. There we go. That's it. Oh! Oh, huh. what a quick punish. He, he should have been able to... He should have been able to block that one there, but... Uh, and perhaps Cryptic got around his parry. Did he try to attack? I, I think I think he gambled. Yeah, I see. That's the risk. That's the risk. You know. Yeah. Uh, if I were in his position, I'd just try to counter, dodge counter, or at least at least it may, block. it may it may have been something like I've done this before. Well, I, I try to counter and I don't input the right mouse button, so I just go for an attack. You know. Oh, yeah, Could be absolutely. Like that. Yeah, absolutely. So what is that? Cryptic three swag one. Swag's falling a little bit behind, but he he's not out of the match yet. Not at all. Yeah, still got still got up to seven. So yeah. Oh boy. Wow. Well, yeah. Swag is really bringing the pain now. He's keeping that rhythm up, making Cryptic work for every counter. Yeah. Oh, oh what a shame! Wow. Literally a great inches off. Swag. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. 
Oh, uh -oh and an that was an heavy, stab. heavy stab. Really and a follow up with a, a horizontal acceleration. That's the kind of mix up you need to do to be fighting Cryptic. That was that was a really excellent combo. I think Cryptic's low on stab. At the end, that would have been insane. Oh! Wow, a great Axel. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy oh, shit! Swag Mountain coming back hard. three to two. God damn, my beloved. <laughs> Yeah, man, Swag is doing excellent tonight, and Cryptic is in great form as well. Oh, uh, best form, honestly. Everyone's at their tip-top shape, even oh, hours yeah. in, hours into the tournament, everyone's still fighting this well. Still fighting at the top <laughs> of their abilities. So That's better than I've ever seen them fight. Seriously, and, and like I bet, you know, I bet when we go, since we didn't participate this, well, I didn't. We're gonna go into the dual tournament or the dual yard tomorrow and get our asses kicked. <laughs> they, they all like re they broke their limits tonight, right? Yeah, they like they reached new heights today, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Over 9,000 for sure. 100. percent Well, it'll be exciting. It'll be exciting getting my butt kicked a bit and then. Oh to man, I'm surprised he was able to parry that special. That he, was he's got no stamina. Shit. He's got no stamina. Though. Swag keeps it up. Oh shit! Ow. Swag should still get aggressive. Cryptic stamina is low. If he can just get aggr aggressive enough, Cryptic's weapon is out. We're matching strikes here. This is where yeah. you get back into the rhythm of defense. Exactly, until one of them can find. Oh, and then, he gambles yeah, it, right? Breaks he out of it and he steals that very initiative. Very good strik, though. Yeah, yeah, but he stole initiative, and it, it, it paid off. It, it paid absolutely off paid off. Cryptic is solo. If Swag can, yes. Oh, what a kick! What a great low kick. <laughs> that oh, was about that was to say. Excellent. The counter to low kick. What a move! If you save it for the right moment, man, right that there. is game changing. Yeah, man. absolutely, absolutely. Wow. God damn, three to three, tight. It's it gonna up. be another another like six to six deal, man. It's just happening every night. Everybody, one person will get a nasty kill, and the other person will come back, adjust their gameplay, and, and, and be able to take them out the next round. Like, That's it's been the difference of these top players. They will adapt. They will adjust. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Wow. Excellent work all around. God damn. It's been, it's been insane. It's, it's insane. just been crazy tonight. Okay. Wow. Great hit right off the bat. A nice, yeah, a nice rainbow drag. Flag here. Yeah. So they're already messing up with the rhythm. I think they're trying to avoid that sort of. Oh, and it's around drag. Is very, that yeah. was a very good stab drag. That was like textbook. He's really good at that. That, that is yeah. one of his biggest talents. Uh, I'm telling you, man. He's one, one of, I think, the best longsword player we've got in the game. Well, he just he, he he might masters have, that weapon. He might actually have it at 200. He might be the only player in the game with less than 200, you know? Yeah, that's all he plays. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you know, he knows the weapon in and out. So yeah, he's 100%. very, very good at exploiting the range and the animations of it. Oof, oh. Cryptic comes back with some strong strikes. Almost he's punished that here, but he's not a. He, you don't, you don't want a corner dog like that. He's vicious. I think we'll Swag is you. almost out of stamina here. If Cryptic can take advantage of that with some maybe heavies or just kind of focusing on taking that weapon out. So he's trying to get around his parry window, but Swag Swag is a master of those stab drags. He knows yeah, he knows that parry window. That so he snakes that thing around. That's gonna be tough for Cryptic. I, if I were Cryptic, I would really focus hard on on tr getting that weapon disarmed. Mm -hmm. He's got that. He's got the stamina. He's got a huge stamina advantage here. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh Swag's got him on the ropes now. Cryptic's low. He's oh. jab away. Oh, oh, but he's able to parry. Wow, oh. an excellent stab. Wow, well, so he stab. whiffed, then he comboed into the stab, hoping for Cryptic to whiff. Cryptic whiffs, and he lands. Incredible. Oh, wow, uh, all of that decision making, that's like, that is a decision made. Moment by moment. Half, moment by moment. Half a second a second for you to decide if that's what you're going to do and mm -hmm. it could it could just easily have backfired on swag but uh he you, managed to pull it out holy shit you have a very good uh way of explaining this as he said it was like a cost benefit analysis yeah right? exactly oh all right here we go oh, wow wow yeah cryptic's gotta watch out swag is going to try and take that initiative from him he's doing swag a really is... good job of it Oh, wow, he's so on Swag point right is now. doing a very, very good job of, of adapting to, to Cryptic's playstyle here and trying to exploit some stuff. He's coming out of the woodwork here, Swag Mountains! Let's Cryptic go. kind of seems on the back foot here, he's got the rhythm against him right now. Swag has the control. But he's able to res respond now, oh, twice, right. and now he can take the fight back. Absolutely! Now he can have the momentum again. Swag is still playing that aggressively, but I'm sure Cryptic has gained some confidence Somebody's from those two Somebody's low on stamina. It must be Swag Mountain. He just took two hits. Oh, if he oh, wouldn't have fainted that. If he that. didn't have fainted, I know. Oh, shit, he punished the kick. 
There we go. Cryptic is solo. Oh, Probably a kick Cryptic or a jab. Nail. Oh, oh my god, he whoa. misses. He's just whoa. out of range, man. That oh, was so wow. close. Oh, wow! Cryptic. What an excellent oh, overhead. Oh, oh, Swag tried to heavy it. Swag tried to heavy it. That's four to four. They're tied up again. Wow, dude, the crowd <laughs> goes wild. The crowd is going banane haze. This everywhere. is insane, dude. <laughs> Everyone is just fucking losing their shit for this incredible fight. Well, guess what? This is not even the finals. It's not even the finals. <laughs> we got one more to go, everyone. There's still one more fight after this one, baby. Don't yeah, soil your diapers yet, everybody. We got a We're little bit of time. Yet. Not quite finished. Oh, man. The crowd's reaction was a fantastic. The energy is just palpable. It you can really feel is. the electricity in the air. Everybody is like, so excited about these fights. <laughs> yeah, you could, you could cut the tension. And the excitement with the knife right now. With a mess. You gotta get those those casterisms in. Oh, yeah, exactly, dude. All right, so Slag is coming up very strong this fight so far. Cryptic doing his best to keep up with it, but Slag, he's just this so aggressive. Really he's at oh, regen they're already. both low. They're both at region level. Wow. Yeah, this, this could be anyway. Fight. Absolutely. They're both making a few more mistakes here, playing a little more aggressively. Cryptic's able to kind of kick him to push him away, but Jab... Is yeah, responded. absolutely. I, so they're, they're both just sort of playing each other out, trying to figure yeah. out what the right move is. They, no yeah, one wants to take the risk. Out. Yeah, Nobody exactly. wants to take the, the real, real big hit here. Playing a little bit safely. Oh, oh but swag is low if, cryptic. if Cryptic follows up with these kick jabs. This is what Cryptic... Oh, oh, it didn't even need it. Didn't even need to. Didn't, didn't even need, need it. It's a wow. Great stab for Cryptic. Incredible. 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 So that's now, five to four. I mean, the tempo of these fights has been so tumultuous. It's like every time I think that Swag has, has Cryptic downloaded, Cryptic adapts. Yeah. And then when Cryptic thinks he has Swag downloaded, <laughs> Swag adapts. he adapts. That's and it's just so this funny. back and forth, back and forth, and they're both changing their play styles just to match and be able to figure this out. Yeah. It is so incredible. I know. It's, is... uh, it's It fills my heart with such joy to see how how amazing these fighters have performed and a, tonight. A, an amazing expression of skill. Some of the most talented fighters in the game. You can tell they're hype right now, too. They're having a great time. <laughs> Everyone's really, everyone wants this win. You can Every feel that. You want they they have that passion. They have that drive to you really know they the respect best. each other too. You know that they can make a mistake at any point and they can have victories taken from the jaws. Like, oh, no one who lost tonight is gonna be leaving home angry. I'm sure everyone is like just super happy that they got to be a part of this incredible tournament. You know, Absolutely. I'm I'm envious. I I wish I don't wish I did this and casted. <laughs> I don't I'm not envious of you, Bennett. But I do well, I, I do wish I got the chance to, to cast you fighting one of these times, man. I think you should participate in a few. Oh, I, you know, someday maybe we'll see. We'll see. I, I'd maybe like in to. the future. Yeah, maybe in the future. <laughs> oh, I'll come out of retirement. Great overhead from Cryptic. And that's six to four. Cryptic only needs one more. Holy shit. Yeah, Cryptic has been pretty dominant these last couple of fights there. We've kind of been glossing over it, but he's been doing a very, very good job of, uh, of keeping uh, Swag at bay. Swag's going to have to play very, very hard to adapt here and be able to uh, take uh, take victory. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Swag comeback. You heard it here first. We got a couple of swag. Swag comeback. <laughs> yeah, fans of the we, crowd. Yeah, the well, chat. Who do we, we have we in got, the crowd, guys? Who yeah, we got chat, here? chat. Who do you want, everyone? Like, like put in your bet. Who's going to win? Cryptic swag. Who's Who, going to win here? Cryptic or swag, guys? Uh, put your yeah. bet in the chat. Yeah, absolutely. Swag has lost his momentum a little bit. He's no longer playing quite as aggressive. He's let Cryptic take control. A lot. We we. It looks like we're even for swag oh, and cryptic in wow. chat so far. A lot of people are saying cryptic. A couple swags, but mostly cryptic. There we go. All right, swag is keeping it up. He's putting cryptic on the back line here. He's accelerating every one of these attacks expertly. Cryptic is having a hard time. I, I haven't seen many counters. Again, not a counter from cryptic. Oh wow! An excellent axel. I think. Oh, well, but cryptic re responds. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, but if Swag just keeps it up, he will knock Cryptic's weapon out of his hand. Cryptic is really having a hard time. He can't be red. <laughs> <laughs> he can't be red, dude. Yeah, yeah, he's right, right, right. He is a Cryptic. Absolutely. <laughs> That's great. I love that. I love that. <laughs> That's great, man. But you can't climb the Swag Mountain unless you got Swag yourself, so we'll That's see. That's true. That's too true. I mean, uh, and Swag is making him climb a mountain right now. He he's really putting Cryptic on the back foot. He, 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 call this guy Sisyphus. He's rolling this rock up high <laughs> but i think wow i thought I that know, was gonna be it I right know. there they, the both of their hearts are probably in their throats right there <laughs> oh man a great stab he's not able to land it though cryptic is ready oh, oh my god they one of them whips and one of them gets a big hit all right here we go oh, oh I thought that what was an excellent land. counter i thought that was gonna be it right uh, there holy shit same yo same 
He's got to take advantage of this extra longsword speed, you know? He really yeah. got to get more aggressive when Cryptic is low on stamina. Will a heavy stab be enough to kill Cryptic at this health? I don't think so. Uh, God, it'll be close. If it's not, it'll be jab, jab after. Yeah. Oh, oh the a regular stab, stab yeah. though. He's low. I'm still probably he's jab. Low. He's low. Right? I don't think he's jab health. I think he's two jab. But a great... Oh, what a amazing so, kick! The win! He, Six to wow. five. He's still in the game. He it's fights not over so yet. hard. It is it's not over yet. Over it is yet. never over. If he has the will to win in his heart, it is never <laughs> over. My God, what an excellent showing from both these oh fighters today. Oh Lord! Oh my God! Wow, so dude. Unbelievable. Oh, oh, six to five. Is he gonna be able to pull it out again? All right, here we go. Here we go. It's not six to six yet, but we'll see. Hopefully, Here he can we get there. Go. All right. <laughs> the whole crowd just quiets. Everyone. Wow, <laughs> man, it's been great. It's been oh, truly incredible. Whoa, oh, this swag's in a lot of trouble right now. Oh, that I, that was so close. Swag is low on stamina. Swag yeah. has no weapon. Oh crap! He's gonna he try and get the long sword without getting punished. He's okay. able to. He he's, he crouched there, so he's still low on stamina. He's got to watch out. He's very low. Cryptic he finally the using. Longsword. He managed oh to get the sword. Oh, oh my god! And the drag. All right. Wow. Congratulations oh, to Swag Mountains for reaching third place in the trial by blood. Congrats, Swag, Swag. Mountains. You put up an excellent, excellent. Fight. Third best player in the game. He's now earned himself a one hundred dollar win. Good work, Swag Mountains. Excellent job. Cryptic goes on to fight Quasi once again. Again, once we can. Once again. <laughs> Who will become the Chivalry 2 champion? Will it be the man with 4,000 hours in the genre? Or will it be Cryptic Perfect Defense Mystery Man? <laughs> we will find out in just a moment. <laughs> All right, unbelievable. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. All right, we're gonna reset the map. I'm just gonna quickly go to the bathroom, everybody. Stick around. One more fight for the grand finale. We've got this, everyone. Don't go anywhere. Tournament grounds. I am shocked, honestly, guys. The amount of skill that we have seen tonight is unprecedented. That is not an overstatement. I have never seen these fighters play at the level that they have played tonight. I know Ziggy, but Quasi doesn't want his, his his frames are bad on it, so we're not gonna we're not gonna force it. He's made it this far; he deserves the the, the opportunity to pick. Here we go. I'd like to wait for Monty to come back before we oh, start shit, this fight. I spawned in. Here we go. You're fighting? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Whew. Okay. All right, they are just about to start right now. Here it is, grand okay, I'm here. I'm finals. Here. I'm here. Let's do it, dude. Here we go. Okay, <laughs> I got cryptic. You got quasi. Yep, I got quasi. Oh, an excellent, excellent slash from cryptic there. Here we are once again. Last fight of the tournament tonight. Two of the strongest fighters in the game. Everyone, put your bets in chat. Who's gonna win, cryptic or quasi? Let's see. Here we go. This is cryptic's second chance to take the lead from quasi. <laughs> All right, both excellent fight. Cryptic ready to go. Quasi refresh. So Cryptic really is a bit of an underdog here. Just been fighting. Yeah. Quasi at least got a bit of a break. That could be could be taken either way. You know, some might say that Cryptic has been still fighting. He's he's you know he's, he's been he's training in that more. same mindset. Yeah, you know, yeah that's a good and, point. And Quasi might have had a little bit of a break, so maybe Cryptic thinks he has the momentum after that big win he just had. So Qua he Cryptic manages to stop the regeneration on Quasi. If you can do it again, Quasi's going down here, but he's really got to be quick with that repo. Oh, oh a quick stab takes Quasi out in the first round of the final round of the tournament. First to seven. Cryptic needs to win six more times. Quasi is by no means, by no means, out of the fight. 
Get hype for your participants here, these two fighters. Show your love in the chat for who you think is going to win this fight. Yeah. Who you want to win this fight, boys. Everyone, everyone, answer that poll. Cryptic or quasi? Cryptic or quasi, everybody. You know what? I will make a prediction. Oh, can't, never mind. Yeah, who's going who's gonna to win? Everyone vote. Let's go. Let's see who's got it. <laughs> I, whoever whoever wins the poll, I'm going to be rooting for the opposite. <laughs> That's how I'm doing it. Alright, everyone, answer in the poll. Let's see. Alright, here we are. Back again. New round has begun. Just going to be trading some volleys back and forth. Cryptic gets a quick... Oh, Cryptic gets another kill! Oh, wow, he, he that starts, was incredibly quick. Yeah, he starts with that overhead drag, then immediately follows it up with... Immediately, immediately follows it up with an acceleration. That is how you do it. So far, Quasi and Cryptic are tied in my poll. <laughs> now Cryptic <laughs> is starting to gain the lead. Two to zero so far. Maybe you were right. Maybe that extra practice is exactly where Cryptic needed. But you know... Yeah. Yeah, as we've been saying, Quasi's going to adapt to Cryptic here. He's going to figure yeah. out what Cryptic's doing. Exactly. That's the thing. You really can't count Quasi out. He's probably the most adaptable player in this game, and that's yeah. why he's gotten so far. The experience that he has is on the You can't. Nobody nobody no one has, has that experience. Yeah, absolutely. That, that's him. why. He, he really. And a lot of people that do have those hours in the previous games, they didn't migrate to Chivalry 2. He's really exactly. dedicated to the genre. So he, that that is just an advantage he's always going to have against someone. But Cryptic, he, he's been ready. He's been practicing, putting in the hours. This is still Chivalry 2. It's not Vikings versus Pirates versus Ninjas. It's not Mordhau. It's not Chivalry. It's true. Shiv 2. There we go. He gets an excellent toe drag. One more overhead should take him out. What's what's Quasi's health at currently? Quasi's well, at about half right now. For yeah, Vanguard, one more overhead for taking out. No, it's not. It's really low. Oh, he's trying, oh, he's trying to do the smack wow. to him, but still. Quick wow. Decap. I was Three to zero. So Holy shit, what's happening, yo? Qu Cryptic lost against Quasi in the semifinals. He's coming back in the grand finale. So far, three to zero versus Quasi. I Is think, this going to I be an upset? Is Cryptic going to come back? I think that Cryptic has the momentum right now. I think he's feeling the crowd behind him. I think he's feeling, <laughs> he's the, feeling the wind momentum, yeah, behind him. Right. <laughs> And I Quasi think got Quasi cold in the slow. meantime. Yeah, he wasn't able to practice. I think yeah, I think he might be a little bit so a little bit cold right now. But I think uh, after a couple of fights here, he might be able to change the tune here. I think he's gonna come back. So so far, it seems that Cryptic is winning my poll. And get yeah, your last votes here. in now, everybody. Get your last votes in. Who's gonna win? You definitely cannot count Quasi out. No, I'd never count Quasi out. I'd never count him out. Wow! Wow! wow. Jump. I know. I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know where that came from. Oh, both of them? Oh my god, I thought... Man, I, I don't know. Very yeah. last second reads. Oh, the crouch dodge. The first Man, person, has been hitting those so many times first tonight. First person perspective crouch dodge. That is... In, oh, wow, but Quasi comes him. in with a quick Axel. He says, not today. Not today. Even Cryptic was so on point there. An incredible showing from Cryptic. And this just shows how good Quasi is. He was still... He still fell for a crouch dodge and then followed up to get that win that is just incredible 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 stuff man. <laughs> so, oh, hello guys God damn hey hello, garden boat how's it going man hey just for um for both of your guys information and for any of the people that don't know exactly how double elimination works cryptic here has to win two first to seven he has to if win he two? the first one, that will be the reset. Because uh, look at He's it this from way. Losers, right? Yeah, yeah. Double elimination gives everybody one loss that they're allowed to have, and Quasi hasn't lost. So I see. If Quasi, yeah, if Cryptic wins this first one, then it'll be the second set of grand finals. Wow. But if he wins this now, he wins. Yeah, if Quasi wins, it's over. I see. But okay. if Cryptic wins, then we got to do another wow. seven. Wow. I mean, wow. Holy then there crap. Will be, yeah, then it will be essentially a first to 14. Yeah, it'll Jesus. it'll reset again, and it'll be a grand finals too. Jesus. Okay. Wow. Yep. Well, yeah. Quasi's then... got a lot of time to download Cryptic's playstyle. Oh, yeah. He already has Seriously. it. As you can tell. In, Three in to the two now. We were just talking about that. Quasi just had a very dominant win against Cryptic. It was a very very. He hasn't even lost any health. I don't, I don't think he does. Yes. I'll leave it to you guys now. All, All right. Thank you, my man. Adios. No yeah, Kyle, I don't know how you beat Quasi two times best of seven in a row. At that point, Quasi's got you downloaded, man. I think that's going to be a tough, tough fight from Cryptic. He still can win this. He's a crowd favorite right now. A lot of people are 
think a Crimson's going to win, but he's going to have to win twice in a row. He's going to have to twice to in a that. row. I, that's a lot. I mean, it'll be both of them, of course. They'll both need that stamina, but and that will give that is just going to advantage quasi with that experience Absolutely. you know he's he, think i mean he, he's sitting comfortable right now because he thinks even if i lose this i have another shot to turn it around exactly. and i've already learned how to play against this guy he doesn't need to put all of his effort already in right him. now he's already beat him. exactly so so he really just needs to he just needs to chill a little bit learn cryptic's moves again and then come back from behind so he's Absolutely. already got him disarmed so <gasps> oh quick excellent kick, but not a great weapon selection here from no, Cryptic. He's unfortunately using the star against the Vanguard. Cryptic is not taking the opportunity to get his Messer, even though he could right now. He, he must he have lost away. track of him. And and it's gone. gone. Now it's gone. It's oh, well. Oh, yeah. he's looking for it now. <laughs> he's looking for it. He says, shit. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he's probably kicking himself in the butt right, right yeah, about he, now. He realized, he realized too late that he should have picked it up. Yeah, yeah. Always got to go for that weapon. First thing, that is your priority if it gets if it gets knocked down. Yeah. All right. But he's, he's keeping up with this one-hander. This, this is rough. This is, this is rough and tumble. Yeah. Oh, and he gets Ooh, another hit. Quick overhead. Wow. Not I mean, bad. He's actually quite low, but he's gonna he's gonna reach in unless unless uh unless cryptic does follows it up it. with some jab kick here. And he's still gonna be uh, fine. Yeah. He's he's gonna be okay now. He's already regen. So unless he gets a heavy off, he's not gonna kill him. Yeah. And and uh, all Quasi needs to do is get an overhead. Oh. Wow. And yeah, again, again, bummer. Regen, right? He's really got to focus on these jab kicks here. He needs to oh, oh a quick stab off the morning star. Oh, wow. wow, you don't see that very often. Excellent. It's quite quick. Yeah, it's tough. It's tough. Here he's killing himself to get that messer back. Getting ready. <laughs> yeah, this is grand finale one. We if Cryptic wins this, which I'm now rooting for because he has to win it again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> imagine. Yeah, and fucking imagine, Beard Bandit. We'll see. We'll see. We'll be here all night. It's past midnight what are we already. At right now, I think this is three Cryptic, two Quasi. I think now? it's four. Four Cryptic, two Quasi. Is that right? I think so. Could be wrong. I think so. I don't know. What's the here, score? Yeah, you score? Gotta, you gotta. Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Incredible. Incredible fights uh, all around. Oh, yeah, I thought so. Right. Four cryptic, two quasi. Okay, here we go. All right, Quasi, stop letting all these youngins on your lawn. Yeah, Quasi, go. you've been here longer than anybody. Let's see what you can do, my man. Throw all these young whippersnappers your skills, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Wow, excellent drags by Quasi, but oh, Cryptic's right. defense is ready. Oh, and that overhead Score acceleration. On top is accurate. That's great. So we can just use that because nobody else is fighting right now. Oh, that's a great point. That's a great point. That's actually really nice. Um, so yeah, so uh, unfortunately, Cryptic unable to punish Quasi's whiff there. Oof, crazy good heavy drag there. Every time. Oh, he, yeah, now he's putting low. the pressure he's on. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's putting good. the pressure on with a regen, so Cryptic really just needs to back up a little bit. Take the he's time. He's still attacking, but uh, he's going to get the regen back. You know, quasi, is, is quasi is giving him openings here. If Cryptic... Yeah. They, oh, there yeah. we go. Oh, not quite enough no, to punish, enough but to punish, he's going to get the regen. He's good on the regen. Oh, cool. And enough to land and now that drag. Quasi is at regen health, essentially. Uh, oh, oh my shit. god, what a oh, swing. Shit. <laughs> Unbelievable. Five to two. We are gonna see. We might see another grand finale fight. We might see another I grand finale it's fight. Certainly possible. It's think, possible. It's Quasi possible. can come back. It's not done yet. It's not done yet. But let's see what happens. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my god. Oh man. It's such a great <laughs> fight for both these fighters, man. It's been oh amazing. Every fight. The whole night, man. So, yeah, so holy happy shit. To be to cast these fights. It's yeah, amazing. Absolutely. Really incredible. Great showing on everyone. We're going we're gonna to need some recovery time after this, Beard Ben. <laughs> yeah, 100%. A lot of cryptic love in the chat right now. Yeah, I am too. We'll people are loving it. Yeah, he's quasi. The a little bit, a little bit less hours, so people are uh, excited to see him take this back from the uh, jaws of defeat. Yeah, well, he's already lost against Quasi, so I can That's absolutely understand. Right, oh, wow, a quick swing from Quasi, <gasps> but he gets low kicked. Oh, he's only one overhead away from death here. Crypto can pull it around oh. if he manages to keep that defense oh. long enough. Wow, oh. they were just oh. testing each other's ranges out. Oh, Six man. Six to two. Cryptic is one victory away from resetting and getting a go. second chance at the $400. Oh, 
Here we go, oh, everyone. Oh, and here we go. We see a class change from Quasi. He's going to go ahead and start oh. playing Night Messer. Give so. himself more opportunities. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. yeah he's going to go ahead and go for the mirror match. He's actually running the Falchion instead. But uh, Slightly this is different. Be a little bit more health. A him. little different. I wonder if this was his plan all along. I, I, I feel like this is a better matchup for Quasi. Only because. Oh, good hit from Crypto. Yeah, Crypto. Great. I agree. I agree. Because well, neither of them are losing stamina anyway. That's what I was just about to say. They're countering enough that nobody's really just getting disarmed. So, like, it's not going to matter that he has the extra 20. The extra 20 uh, oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Cryptic does it. And there is Cryptic the reset. Pulls it out. He beat his opponent that he initially lost to. Here we go. This is it, everyone. Wow. This is it. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. The amount of tension right now is yeah. insane. Holy shit. Okay, so it could really be anyone's game. Here it is. The final first to seven. Unbelievable. Resetting the score. Zero to zero. There is nothing after this, chat. This is it. These next... Seven fights. Or f seven to 14 fights. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. However long they last, these next fights. This is the end of the it. tournament here, everyone. Oh my god, it's been an incredible ride. What an experience this has been. Absolutely. For everyone involved, especially for us here in the caster's cabin. <laughs> the caster's coach. <laughs> this has been the caster's cubby. This has been such a good time. This has been truly, Absolutely. truly, maybe the best time I've had in Chivalry 2 in a long time. Absolutely, man. I haven't had more fun playing this game or even watching this game in, in a long time. So. Yeah, uh, just the best. Thank you, everyone, for coming out. This has just been really good. But not, it's not over yet, baby! Not time to get sentimental. We've got one more fight in the first <laughs> trial by blood. Woo! <laughs> My neighbors are gonna be mad at me tomorrow. Oh, what no. a <laughs> worth it. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, so they're both equal right now. Both same amount of health. Both at that regen level. Both at that same amount of stamina. So it really could be anyone's game here. Quasi really pulling out these wild Cita drags, looking straight at the ground, making those horizontals look like verticals. You can never know. You can never know which one's gonna come out. Cryptic is quite low. I mean, he's actually a little bit lower than Quasi is. On health at the moment? Yes. Oh, oh well, not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> you beard banded. You're jinxing him, man. I know. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> wow. All right, here we go. Crypt Cryptic really needs to stop that region. Oh! Wow! <laughs> Unbelievable. What a great... Uh, uh, overhead there. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Cryptic deciding to go for the overhead faint to overhead instead of just attacking. <laughs> Quasi pulls it out with that initiative steal. Excellent work. Excellent work. You know, who would have thought that at the end of the tournament we'd be seeing two Messers fight? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know lots of people in Discord tomorrow will certainly be pretty, pretty malding, I think. <laughs> well, that's a good, yeah. Oh my god, oh. wow! Holy crap, Quasi taking a really, really big risk there and getting some great damage in. Cryptic is extremely low. We'll see. Cryptic can pull it back. A nice overhead for Cryptic. Oh, but he's not able to punish the whip. Oh back. my god, and another two attacks, man. These guys are both knocking each other low. Neck and neck. Absolutely <laughs> anyone's fight. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh my god, here we go. Neither of them are going for those jabber kicks. Oh, but he missed. It does not connect. Does not connect. Good attempt. Oh, oh my there god. it is! <gasps> wow! He crouch touches it after getting kicked. He's not out of the fight. Oh, they're still going hard. Oh my wow, god. Wow, unbelievable. So oh. many missed opportunities from both players Holy here. Holy shit! Oh, he's out of the He doesn't follow it through. The wow, but he's able to report. What are you fucking. This is insane. This is absolutely the best fight. This is an incredible... Oh, unbelievable. unbelievable. Quasi is able to clinch the victory there now. Wow. I mean, wow. Two, I think this is 2-0 for this set now. Yeah. Unbelievable. Quasi is really, really gives some clutch oh, plays here. Oh, holy shit. Holy shit. Two to Quasi, zero to Cryptic. Cryptic has to come back from this if he wants to take it. I'm sure he's going to now adapt to Quasi's new night night fighting style so we will see but god damn getting kicked and then crouch dodging in first person again i, I am know, so man. impressed with cryptic skill impressed with cryptic tonight man wow absolutely incredible absolutely incredible this will determine who is finally once and for all the chivalry 2 champion all right once again quasi's up by two 
Quasi's using default knight, which makes him about 20% stronger than Drip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. He doesn't care about Drip. Drip doesn't matter. Oh no, but remember, Beard Bandit, he's using a he's using a skin that's OP. This is an OP oh, Messer skin. Oh, that's right. Yeah. That, that does more damage as well. It, so. does, it does more damage. Yeah, it does psychological damage. So. <laughs> All right, here we are. Here we Man, are. Man, I was sure that that was going to land, but Cryptic's able to counter it. No, their defense is so strong. You oh, always think. Yeah, it, it, seems, it certainly seems. Wow, and then an amazing overhead, heavy overhead against Cryptic there. Oh, and a quick and slash. Cryptic's got to be very low, but he responds with his own attack. Okay. Wow. He, he can pull it out. If, as long as he can take the time to regenerate, at least he can survive any jab or kick that comes his way. Wow. Is he getting ready for these insane drags? Just trying to make sure Cryptic's stamina goes down here. A great stab around the parry there. Cryptic is going to be very low. Oh! Oh, oh my god! He whips the jump, but he's able to disarm. Can he get the kill? No, he can't. Oh, oh he the gets the kill, kill! At the very edge of the range. That could not have been the farthest he could have done that kick. <laughs> Wow! It literally, he, he, he like stretched his toes out, like yeah, going for the tippy toes. Dude, man, that it was, was a, it was a toe kick for sure. Oh my god! Three to quasi Three zero. zero to cryptic in the last round, the grand finals of the tournament. Yeah, all right. Who who who? Who do you guys think is gonna win this one, huh? Everyone said cryptic before, but we'll see. Hey, eh? we'll see. Cryptic quasi is up by three still. Yeah. Could, turn, to start. could be turned around by Cryptic here if he gets some momentum. I mean, we've seen that happen multiple times across the night here. Absolutely. Fighters will have a pretty strong, dominant lead, and then the opponent will figure something out and uh, be able to take it back and start getting some rhythm. They both whiff, whiff there. They're still still trying to feel each other out. Equal damage here, probably equal stamina as well. Neither feels particularly in control. They're each just backing up after they yeah. make their attack. Yeah, nobody's really committing to a specific attack right now. They're kind of just going to go for counters. Uh, mm. Let's see who's going to break the... Uh, somebody goes for a heavy overhead drag, but it's still not going to land. These guys are just really, really too good for that. Oh, they're so strong. They're so strong. Yeah, they're, ju they're just playing out each other's defense, seeing who can maintain that defense longer so they run um, out of stamina. I have a feeling we're going to see uh, a splashy move here shortly soon. Quasi somebody's just barely combo faints the parry there. Cryptic very well may have hit him. Quasi's reaction time with that is incredible. Wow, and again. It's another, another well done overhead oh, counter. Oh, and Quasi's Cryptic out of wins. Right now. Yeah, Cryptic's defense. That's really his his uh, his strength there. And who can counter more right now? Yeah. Is going to be the deciding factor in this fight? Oh, well, and Cryptic steals his initiative with a messer. That is rare oh, to see. Wow. wow. Excellent. Excellent. Cryptic. That was Excellent. Textbook, textbook disarmed. Yeah, he just beautiful. won on straight up. He on defense. Yep. His his defense was so strong there. Quasi just couldn't keep up. That's gonna happen. That's that's Cryptic's talent, really. Uh, well, aside from everything else he's good at, his defense is so so solid. Did Absolutely. you see someone with a battle axe just get kicked out of the lobby? <laughs> I did not see that, unfortunately. I wish They're I would have. They were running straight towards Cryptic with battle axe and handed them. <laughs> <laughs> I will kill him! That's right, that's right. <laughs> I will become the victim! Uh, it is my trial, my blood! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Here we go. Oh, holy crap. Fundamentals over Flash. That's Cryptic for sure. Oh, great work by Quasi. Stealing Cryptic's initiative again. Cryptic just unable to punish that kick, unfortunately. Alright, here we are. Oh, and a great drag by Cryptic. No longer just focusing on that defense. Trying to also pull out these fancy moves. He's got the advantage now. Oh my god, did you see this? Holy shit, they both missed that overhead. <laughs> they hit just on the side of each other. That was incredible. Oh god damn. Quasi coming in for that another hit. Cryptic's very low. Cryptic just has to maintain that distance. He's got to maintain that rhythm long enough so that Quasi cannot land a jab or a kick here. Oh, I thought that was going for a jab. I think Cryptic must have as well. Holy shit. Excellent work. I, 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 Beard Bandit is still here with me. Not sure if he's muted or not, but just to let you know, Beard Bandit, we're not, we're not catching you in. Oh, he crashed. Gotcha. Oh, his stream died. That's a shame. That's a shame. Well, everyone in Beard stream, hop into here. We'll get Beard back in in no time. 
All right, it's it's not over yet. I believe his uh, stream crash. I'm not exactly sure. Gotcha. I, I saw what you said in chat. Yeah, we'll we'll just keep going. We'll keep going. So, did Quasi just win that last one? Sorry, I was looking for Beard. I think he did. All right. Cryptic can pull this back. Quasi's got four wins, but it is far, far from over. Absolutely. All right, they're sort of just playing their defense again, making sure, making sure they don't, they aren't the ones to lose stamina here. <laughs> Everyone bet all their gold on Cryptic, I guess. We'll see. We'll find out how this goes. Excellent defense. Nail biting. Oh, uh, incredible! Absolutely incredible. Here we go. Perfect defense on both of their parts. Oh, he jumps over the overhead drag! What an incredible show of skill by Quasi! Truly amazing! He has just perfect control over his body. Heading that excellent overhead drag onto Cryptic there. Wow. Just, just excellent showing back and forth here. Uh, Quasi currently at four, Cryptic at one, first to seven for the $400 and title as Chivalry 2 champion. Both fighters playing excellently at the moment. Perfect defenses on each side. They both have equal damage. Probably both at equal stamina here. Looking like no one is going to be losing their weapon anytime soon. This fight could go on for quite some time. Oh, he gets an overhead drag. I and Cryptic falls for the faints. Oh my god. Quasi back up at 5 to 1. 5 to 1. He only needs two more wins to take home those $400. Cryptic can do it. He can pull it back here. Absolutely. He's far from lost. We've seen we've seen all night. All night we've seen people come from zero losses all the way to win into these duels. So don't don't lose hope on Cryptic yet, everybody. The underdog may come out here. Wow. Again, excellent defense. Cryptic going for those kicks. He should probably be going for more kicks against Quasi. Seems to be a very, very effective move, especially when used sparingly. Oh, and Quasi steals Cryptic's initiative. Or, or rather, I think Quasi just reposted there while Cryptic tried to combo. Excellent move by Cryptic. Or, or excellent move by Quasi. He knew. He was ready and waiting. Oh! Oh my god. A jump over the drag to land an overhead against Cryptic. An incredible read by Quasi. And that is just truly a unique, a unique experience and knowledge that Quasi is bringing to this. Wow. And he gets one more win. That is one more. That is game point for Quasi, everybody. We might have the champion of the night. This very well may be it. One for... Uh, six for Cryptic, one for Quasi. Uh, six for Quasi, one for Cryptic. Yeah, Cryptic is, uh, Cryptic is probably in his head a bit. Probably coaching just a little bit. But he can take out Quasi here. It is far from over. It is not over, everybody. Do not lose hope. Cryptic has got this. All right, they're just he, Cryptic is probably going to be playing a bit more defensively here, getting ready for for Quasi's wacky, wild drags. <laughs> here we are, Quasi coming in hard. Excellent work, Quasi. Cryptic still maintaining that defense. He is not out of the game. He's still fainting a bit, but he's not. He's not going to lose his stamina. He's ready. He's just trying to get any hit he can on Quasi. Oh, excellent. Excellent hit by Quasi. Jabs on both sides. Cryptic unable to follow it up. Cannot land that kick, unfortunately. Quasi just playing perfectly at the moment. Quasi trying to do that jump again. Unfortunately, can't quite make it out of there. But he does manage to block it. Once again, just back to this volley of defense. Both trying to get in any cheeky feint they can. Any kind of drag to land an attack. Cryptic on the ropes. Quasi in control. Cryptic stamina must be lower. So if Quasi can maintain it. Yeah, Cryptic stamina is low here. Cryptic takes another hit. He's low. Is this going to be it? Is Quasi going to take the victory here? Cryptic loses his weapon. And Quasi does it. Quasi goes home with the $400. Quasi is the Chivalry 2 champion. Quasi has won the very first trial by Quasi. Quasi is the champion! He's a default knight! He's a default knight! Quasi wins! Quasi is the winner! <laughs>
Ah, yes, everyone, kill Quasi now! Murder him! Quasi! Wow! 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 Quasi, yeah, I was a little too loud there. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> A little too loud. Quasi. Quasi indeed. All right, everyone. That was the first trial by blood. Very first one. First of many to come. Quasi first place with a $400 grand prize. Cryptic second place with a $200 grand prize. And Swag Mountains with third for a $100 grand prize. Unfortunately, Beard Bandit's computer crashed before he could be here for the end that is i'm sure it, i'm sure it's devastating to him but quasi wins excellent job everybody truly truly incredible fights here tonight i am going i've recorded this entire thing i'll be putting it up on youtube edited so you can all relive the epic highs from tonight I cannot believe I just missed uh, the end of the Beard fights. Bandit, I'm so sorry, man. <laughs> so you missed it. Right now, quasi dude. wound up taking it. It was Quasi. Oh, wow. It was I'm Quasi. I'm so mad that I missed it, man. That was so unfortunate. Usually, my internet, when, sometimes my internet will come down. It'll come right back up. Not today. Uh, not today. Uh, with 95 course. people watching the, uh, I know. <laughs> the grand finals. I know. I know, man. <laughs> well, hey. Right. Thank you so much, everyone, for coming out. This is just the first. Make sure to join the trial by blood discord make sure to stick around with beard bandit and my streams we'll still be doing chivalry 2 throughout the weeks um and i hope to see everyone in the next trial by blood holy shit beard bandit Absolutely. thank you man thank you this was a really incredible experience you made Absolutely, it so much brother. easy for me so much easier for me and uh I, I we should really do this again yo i had a really I, good time i, I would be I would I would love to do this again, my man. I thought I think we had a really good uh, session doing this. I think it worked out. I think we were vibing with each other. We got a great I rapport. A, yeah. I, I think it was I think it was really awesome. So I I am absolutely down to do this again. I think we're gonna be just casting this next time. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so too. I think so too. I'm excited about this, man. I think it was probably one of the most fun, you know, times best I've night had of chivalry two I've had. Uh, you know, absolutely. in maybe ever, probably ever. Truly, so thank truly you so much ever. for doing this with me, brother. I'm gonna go try and get my stream back up and say at least goodbye to chat before I bounce. But thank you so much again brother and i'll catch of you course. later right yeah and hey chat i am of course heading off tonight i guess i guess we should use this momentum and make someone's and night somebody. we should raid the yeah. same person dude like fucking let make me, their let me, night let me get it right back up and try and okay raid yeah and absolutely everyone stick around for hot sec okay we're gonna try and raid some chivalry 2 streamer we're gonna make their day all right yeah absolutely. we're gonna be doing more tournaments don't you even worry don't you even worry um, let's see. So we've got, <laughs> we've got, I don't even know, man. You just let me know when you get your stream up and then we'll decide. Yeah, okay? we're back up right now. I think everything is good. Let me know if anybody's still in chat here, if uh, you can see it and we're all up. We're going to try and use a little bit of the momentum we had to try and raid somebody in the ship. Yeah, you want to really do, we, right we have sexy and sensual Saturdays. That's a pretty good title. <laughs> <laughs> Duelist, ship to the duelist, sub goal 18 to oh. 25. Chivalry is not dead. That's a pretty good title. Hmm. What are you partial do to? Do we know anybody? Do we no, know anybody? I don't know anyone here. Now? I don't Let know anyone. See, but I haven't. I have to get on Twitch and try and see. Okay. Everyone, stick around, please. Let's let's make someone's night with a with a double raid of just a bunch of people. Let's yeah, really let's really show can, right? let's show the Chivalry Two community some solidarity. We're all here in this together, right? Yeah, absolutely. What's up, guys? Hey, Thank Garden so Boat. Hey, GB. Thank it's you, been awesome, man. Brother. This was incredible. An incredible experience all around. Absolutely. absolutely. I, I, I'm stunned. Uh, I'm absolutely stunned. Yeah, just, just, just what a showing. Such support from Torn Banner Studios. A great effort by the Duel Masters of North America. Just a really good team effort all around. Hey, look, we've got somebody who's in a watch party named Dialank, and somebody bashes for him in chat. Why don't we go raid him? What's his name? Uh, Dialank, Dialank 30. 30. Yeah, let's do yeah. it, yo. Let's do it. All right, everybody, that. stick around for the raid. We're going to be raiding Dialank 30. Let's give him some viewers. And uh, one before we go, one last time, thank you all, everyone, for hopping in. This was an incredible experience, transcendent for me in Chivalry 2. I hope you all had a great time. We're going to be doing this again, more tournaments in the future. So make sure you all stay tuned. Absolutely. And None with that, going away. 
thank yeah. you guys too for your work and i just want to give a quick shout out to everybody who worked on the, the management side um in particular weaponized punk who covered at the last second for ref and jub our main ref but everybody who helped on the tournament side has just been amazing thank you thank you everyone and with that away we go Bye bye Holy shit. Holy.